All right, guys, I think it's about time we settle our differences. Shut up, piss boy. You're going to lose to my new MTG Cascade deck. Joe, you just learned how to play MTG a couple days ago. There is no way that deck is going to be any good. Just fucking watch. Shut it, gank boy. Hey, guys. Obama, tell Joe that his commander deck sucks. Come on, man. I don't even know what type of deck it is. It's Cascades. Your deck fucking sucks, Joe. Shut up, Obama. Go back to drone striking some poor Middle Eastern village. Guys, my counterspell deck is going to win. Oh, come on, Ben. Running a fucking counterspell deck. I don't know what that is. Oh, come on, man, Ben. Can you please use a different deck? Nope, this is the only one I brought. Okay, fine. You can't win against my goblin deck anyway. Oh, come on, Trump. Are you running Krenko? Since no one asked, I'm running a... Guys, have you seen my play, Matt? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? They both have a point. Whatever, man. Let's get this show on the road. Is everyone ready? Yes. Yes. Yep. Is that Emoti? Is that your fucking commander? Well, no shit, dumbass. Fuck you, Joe. That commander is horrible for a cascade deck. Guys, guys, can we just get the game started? Okay, fine. Let's all roll the highest number to see who goes first. Looks like I rolled the highest. I'm going to play an island and pass my turn. I'm going to draw for turn, play an island and pass turn. Okay, I'll- Wait. I'll, what? I forgot to play my ornithopter. You can't. You passed your turn. This is bullshit. Come on, guys. Just let Ben play the ornithopter. It's just a zero, two. Okay, okay, whatever. I'll draw for turn, play a mountain, tap that mountain to then place a soul ring. He's cheating. And then I will tap that soul ring to play an arcane signet and pass turn. He's cheating. Statistically, that is a one in 99 chance of getting either of those cards. I'm just a fucking legend. You're cheating. Skill issue. Joe, are you going? <laughs> Joe, wake the fuck up. It's your turn. Oh, oh shit. I am. Hmm. I am going to. Uh. Come on, Joe. Play a land or something. Oh, right. I'll play a forest and pass turn. I'll draw for turn. I'll play a mountain. I'll tap two to play a fell war stone and pass turn. I'll draw for turn. Play a basic island and pass turn. I'll draw for turn. Play a mountain and tap four to summon Krenko. While you are summoning Krenko, I will tap two to play Essence Shatter, which in fact counters your creature spell. Fuck you, Ben. Using a counter spell on my commander so early in the game, you must be so fucking bad at this game that you couldn't even play against the people you harass at those colleges. Lamau. Statistically speaking, your commander deck is indeed a tribal deck, therefore. If we, your opponents, prevent you from summoning Krenko, your game-winning strategy will lose. Shut up, loser. Lamau get fucked, kid. I'll pass turn, I guess. I'll draw for turn, play Reliquary Tower. Wow, use fucking Metal Land bullshit. Donald, please shut the fuck up. You are annoying everyone. I'll tap two mana to play Mind Stone and pass turn. I'll then pay seven to transform Nicol Bolas the Ravager into Nicol Bolas the Arisen. Goddamn, guys. Obama has been beating our booties black and blue. Wow. He never said he brought a power-scaled eight deck. I tried telling you guys, but... Guys, why haven't I drawn any creatures yet? I'm going to plus two my planeswalker and draw two cards. Sheoldred, the apocalypse's ability will trigger and you guys lose four life and I gain four life. I'll pass turn. Guys, if we don't team up and try to defeat Obama, the probability that we will lose is around 99 in 100 chance. All right, don't fucking counterspell Krenko and we will have a chance. I'll draw and play a land for turn. I will then tap one island and return Nicole Bolas to your hand using Void Snare. I will then tap one blue mana to play Telepathy. What the fuck that card is banned? Oh, I was not aware of that. It should be fine. All it does is... Holy fuck, that card is OP and meta. Play with our hands revealed? Are you fucking kidding me? It doesn't even provide that large of an advantage. I'll remove it if you don't like it. Who cares? You all will lose to me anyway. Well then, I'll pass turn. I'll draw for turn and then tap 10 fucking mana to play Krenko. I have a response. No. I will play Force of Will by exiling a blue card from my hand and paying one life to counter target spell. You guys fucking suck, I am conceding. Not my fault you are playing a tribal deck. Fuck you, Joe. You probably rigged my deck just like how you rigged the election. Hey now, Jack. It's not my fault you are a little shit kid that can't play MTG. L. L plus ratio. Fuck you guys, I'm done. I'll draw for turn, play a basic land, and cast Time Walk. What the fuck? No way. What? What's wrong? That is a power nine card. Your deck is more illegal than mine. It's not that good. Take another turn after this one. So? Take another fucking turn after this one. Let me see your deck. Black Lotus, Ancestral Recall. Stop. Why the fuck do you have planes in this deck? You're playing Simic. I don't know what that is. Whatever, I'm out. And then I'll pass turn and go again. Fuck, no fucking creatures. I am done with this bullshit game. I'm out too. Obama's deck is too good. Damn guys, I was about to win anyway, Omao. I had an infinite combo. Next time I'm bringing a better deck. 
Same here, dude. You guys got lucky. I was getting ready to pop off. Looks like I get a big W today. Take that, you losers. Game two? Yes. Yes. I think players that main counter spell decks are stupid pussies that are too scared to play big creatures. Shut up, Donald. You literally own the worst decks on the planet. Like, actually, who uses goblins and wall decks? Get his ass, Benny. Joe, did you get time to look over the banned cards list that is listed on the Wizards of the Coast website? Yes, I did. And while we are on the subject, I don't understand why they banned Emrakul, the Eons Torn. Shit, here Joe, we go. Joe, what do you mean you don't understand? That card is severely busted. Combo that card with Animar, and you can skip the 15 CMC. There is nothing anyone can do once that creature is casted. It's only banned because wizards are trying to appease their counterspell players since they are too pussy to play anything else. You know what, fuck it, big creatures are just for try-hard caveman players that can't play strategically. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I think it is time that we do another game. I know the last game went quite wrong because of a lack of communication, understanding of the game, and sportsmanship. Let's all please just be kind and play how the creators of this game intended for us to play. This time we should absolutely try to have fun. You guys are so fucked. The deck God I am going to play will make you wish I was clown. still the president. Shut up, orange dick face. I'm going to ruin the rest of your career with this new deck I am playing. Joe, the last deck you played had the most powerful cards this game has ever seen, and you still lost, along with the fact those cards are banned. Also, guys, telepathy is not banned. Bullshit. Go check Wizards' Lies, website. It was never news, banned. Cap, I have no bullshit, fucking clue up, where you blah, idiots blah, blah, got blah. the idea that Skill it was banned. Skill issue. Whatever, it's not cool how you guys cheated the last game, but this time I am going to take the dub. Before we start, Obama, what type of deck did you bring this time? Yeah, you didn't tell us what type of deck you even brought. Joe, you kept on... It's dragons. Let's just get started. Is everyone ready? I am, but I have a quick question. What? Donald, is that your fucking commander? You fucking better believe your sweet and sweaty bippy it is. Arcades, really? A fucking wall deck? Do you really need to fill your ego up that much? I fill my ego up just like how much I fill up your mom from last night. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not cool, man. What the fuck? Joe, your commander is Chatterfang. Are you really running squirrels? Absolutely. Why? That hardly suits you. I don't know. I just really like those little guys running around and looking mighty cute. This is getting weird. Obama, why is your playmat still Pokemon? I just really like Pokemon. It is both a fun video game series and card game. Statistically speaking, Pokemon has the worst fucking card game to ever grace this planet. There is hardly any variety in its gameplay. The trainer cards are quite inconvenient to get, and the competitive cards are worthless in value unless they look prettier than the others. That game is fucking dog water. I don't know, man. I just really enjoy the simplicity and variety of different Pokemon. The card arts look amazing, and it is a kid's card game after all. I really like that water dog Vaporeon. It's just so sexy. Dude, that's, that's no way. up. Let's just roll dice. Whoever gets the highest number gets to go first. I rolled the highest, so I'm going first. I'm going to play a forest and tap that forest to play Chatter of the Squirrel, which lets me create a 1-1 one, one green squirrel. I will also play a Black Lotus. Joe, I am going to throw hands if you actually put that shit in there. It's just a prank, bro. Are you done with your turn, Joe? Yes. I will draw for turn. Play unclaimed territory for my land. You know all about unclaimed territory, don't you? Shut up, Donald. I'll name dragons. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn. Then I will play overgrown tomb. I will pay two life so that it comes in untapped and pass turn. Only tryhards put shock lands in their deck. It's just the game, Joe. No cap. I will draw for turn. Play a planes and tap that planes to play perimeter captain. Whenever a defender creature I control blocks, I gain two life. I'll pass turn. It looks like Donald will finally get to live his fantasy, building walls. Really, Joe? You already have more squirrels than you actually have people who politically support you. Damn, that implies Joe has literally zero followers in his political campaign. Ben, please don't explain the joke. That ruins it. I'll take all of you. I will draw for turn. Play a forest and tap two to play squirrel sovereign. All my troopers get plus one, plus one. I'll pass turn. L tribal. What did you say, you little bitch? I'll draw for turn, play Path of Ancestry. I still wonder about your ancestry. Shut the hell up. I'm about ready to swing IRL damage at you. I'll pass turn. Before you end your turn, Obama, I will pay one black mana to play Vampiric Tutor and lose two life because of its effects. Jesus Christ, you put fucking tutors in your deck? Yes. Only tryhards put tutors in their decks. What a loser. I'll take. Guys, guys, maybe it was a mistake to let Ben bring his own deck, but just let him play it out. L President. Wow. I'll draw for turn, play Sliver Hive, and tap two mana to play Muscle Sliver, which gives all of my slivers plus one plus one, I will then pass turn. 
Wall time. Here we go. I will draw, play a forest, tap two mana to play Wall of Blossoms, draw a card, cause of its effects, and pass turn. And then I'm going to tap three to play Horn Sliver, which gives all of my slivers trample. I will then declare attackers. Guys, this isn't looking good. Ben has a very flexible board that could start popping off at any moment. Nothing will get past my walls, nothing. I forgot to attack last turn. If we don't do something, Ben will win with damage. Logically speaking, Obama also has his commander on the field, and that is a huge problem for us because he can cheat large creatures into play. It doesn't matter, walls reign supreme. My squirrels are so cool, they are double jointed. I think it is funny we are all using tribal decks. Actually, El Mao, I didn't realize that. My walls are unique, strong, and made in the USA. Nothing can penetrate these babies. That's what your mom said. Good one, Joe. Joke was Liddy on a stack. Thanks, guys. Fuck you, Joe. At least I'm not running Trash Squirrel Tribal. Guys, I'm supposed to be declaring attackers. Oh, yeah, All I right. forgot. Obama, I'm going to swing a 3-3 Siphon Sliver and a 3-3 Shifting Sliver, which they are both unblockable. They gain the extra plus one, plus one, thanks to Muscle Sliver. Well, it looks like I cannot block, so I will take six damage. I will gain six life due to lifelink. I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, play forest, and then tap five to play wave of reckoning. Each creature deals damage to itself based off of its power. Shit, I am tapped out. Damn, me too. I will tap two to play heroic intervention, which gives my little guys indestructible and hexproof. Doesn't matter, Sleepy Joe. I keep all of my walls because they have no power. I am then going to tap four to play Death Sprout and target Donald's commander. I will then go get a swamp from my library and put it on the field. Bullshit. I pass turn. Mad cuz bet. I will draw for turn, play a forest, and tap two to play Chatterstorm and put two squirrels on the field. The card says create one squirrel Joe. Joe's capping. What a loser. Fucking cheater. Guys, his commander allows him to create extra squirrel tokens based off of the amount of tokens that come into play. Bullshit. All tribal meta normie loser deck that requires no skill. Keep crying. I will then tap five to play Parallel Evolution, which lets me create a copy of all of my creatures as tokens. And since token creatures are being created, I get to create double the amount. So that is, holy shit, Joe has 39 squirrels. Still not enough to beat my walls. You're coping, Donald. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn. Damn. Looks like I will miss my land drop. I will tap all of my mana to play a Tarka, world render, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Drowned Catacomb, which enters in tapped, and tap five to play Sliver Hive Lord. I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Plains, tap six to play Towering Titan, which will gain 19 plus one plus one counters. I will pass turn. You just fucking blundered, Donald. No, I didn't. That was the best play I could do. You could have summoned your commander and have been able to attack with your walls. It doesn't matter. Sleepy Joe is too scared to take it to the Trumpster. More like Dumpster. Fuck you. I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a forest. I will tap two to play Sylvan Anthem, which is an enchantment that gives my creatures plus one, plus one, and then I will tap six to play Obelisk of Erd, choose squirrels, and they gain plus two, plus two. I will then go to combat and attack everyone with my squirrels. I am dead. I just died. I will block it. I will... Fuck, this is bullshit. El tribal, El tribal. Why don't you cry some more? I just schooled your ass, you little piss boy. Hey guys, this was quite a fun game. I think we should play like this more often. This is definitely what the creators of this game intended for us to have fun. I'm bringing my counterspell deck next time. Slivers suck. Skill issue. You guys want to do this again next Saturday? Absolutely. Yes, very. Fuck this. I'm going to go eat pizza rolls with Michelle. And that's why I don't trade cards with the president of the IRS anymore. That's ridiculous. The fact they tried to scam a veteran player out of money. Did they think you didn't know the value of those cards? I'm certain of it. Wait, I'm pretty sure I sold my force of will to them for $5. Joe, you took a fat fucking L. That card is worth $70 easily. Wow, they scammed me out of $65 then. Massive IRS L. Wait, I found my force of will. Where the fuck did the $5 come from? I think Joe just fucking scammed the IRS somehow. Speaking of scamming people out of their money, Ben usually shows up around this time. Is he not coming today? I messaged him on Discord, but he hasn't responded. He told me he's got chores or else his mother would, and I quote, beat his ass. Wow. So are we doing three-player commander today? Well, no. I invited someone to fill in for him. I wonder who. I swear to God if you invited any of the Clintons. What is up, bitches? Hi, Billy. What's going on, Bill? Sorry I was late, guys. The old wife wouldn't let me out of the house. I might fucking leave. Well, wait, Donald, the game hasn't even started yet. I can't believe you invited one of the Clintons.
Come on, Donald, I came here to beat you in a game of magic. All right, let's go. You are going to get smeared. Let's run it. What decks did you guys bring? Thopters. Walls. My walls will never taste defeat again. I brought a snake deck. Perfectly suits you. You guys are going to fall over when you see my deck. Joe, I think you are the one who will fall over since you are a fossil. Jesus, Donald, chill out, bro. Well, then, why don't we get started? I have one thing to say before we get started. Oh, what is it? I have left my old ways behind, and frankly, I am done cheating. I think having such poor faith and lack of compassion has led to many poor choices in my life. From this day onward, I'm through with cheating. Wow, so you are done cheating on your wife. What? No, I'm not going to cheat in this game of magic. Oh, okay, let's get started. All right, is everyone done shuffling? Yep. Yeah. Hold on a second. He better actually be shuffling his deck instead of stacking it. Don't worry, Donald. I am certain he is not going to cheat this game. I don't know, Barack. He's been kind of acting sus. There is no way you actually just said sus. Well, we do have freedom of speech after all. I remember when I played Among Us with the boys and they kept on calling me the imposter, so I kept chasing them around. It got hot. Joe. That, 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 that blonde son. Joe. And they came up and reached in the pool and started Joe. touching my legs. My legs are very hairy and they kept on touching them. Joe. Oh, well, what were we talking about? Anyway, are you done shuffling, Bill? Mm, yes, let's roll for the highest number and see who goes first. I've got the hugest number, just like how I have the hugest bank account here. I'm going to draw for turn, play Mystic Monastery, which enters in tapped and past turn. I'll draw for turn, play Terramorphic Expanse and past turn. Wow, not going to crack your fetch land. Not yet, Donnie, not yet. I will draw for turn, play an island and pass turn. I'll draw for turn, play a forest and tap that forest to play Veteran Explorer. When this creature dies, everyone can go search their library for up to two basic lands. Put them on the battlefield and then shuffle. I will pass turn. What a surprise, a card that helps everyone. I never would have guessed that from Clinton. Donald, please just let Bill play. I know you two have a grudge against each other, but let's just set it aside and have some fun playing magic. Yeah, come on, Donald. We can smoke some doobies after this. Ain't no way you actually got some doobies. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap two to play electrostatic field. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, this card deals one damage to each opponent. I'll pass turn. Before the end of your turn, I will crack my terramorphic expanse to go search for a basic land and put it on the battlefield tapped. Wow, Joe, I am surprised you remembered to do that. Shut up, Jack. Go back to being bankrupt. Fuck you, Joe. I will draw for turn, play scalding turn, and sack it. I will lose one life and go search for a basic land and put it on the field. I will then tap two to play shape sharer and pass turn. I thought you didn't like shock lands. First off, I said shock lands are for tryhards, and secondly, how the hell did you know? I watch your guys' YouTube channel. Don't be tripping. Guys, stop breaking the immersion and selling out. Subscribe, I will please. draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap two to play goblin electromancer. Now my instant and sorcery spells cost one less to cast. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn. Hold your horny ass shoes. How the fuck do you have two basic lands? What? Wait a minute. Did you cast a mana ramp spell without telling us, or what? Uh-oh, um... Oh, it was just an honest mistake. I will just count that as my land for turn. I will tap two to play Humble Defector and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap three to summon my commander. I will choose left, so players can only attack their opponent on their left side. I'll pass turn. Any particular reason why you chose left? I'm just draining the swamps in Congress. Hell, Joe. <laughs> I know all Good one, Donald. Swamps. I will draw for turn, play Sulphur Falls. I will... Tap three to play Galectrode, I can tap it. To deal one damage to any target, I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap three to play Aviation Pioneer. When this card enters the battlefield, I get to make a 1-1 Thopter token. I will then pass turn. I'll draw for turn, play a Rugged Highlands. When it enters the battlefield, I gain one life. I will then tap three mana. Hold on, President, that gets accused of doing the plane and large buildings thing. I might be kind of new to this game, but that land comes in tapped. Wrong president and wrong controversy, Joe. Oh, that's right. I just keep on forgetting. Bill, I know this has only happened twice, but if this continues, I will have no choice. What, Obama? What are you going to do? I will call Michelle down here, and she will beat your ass. Stop, stop, fuck! I will just call Hillary instead. Oh, shit, my bad. I will stop cheating this time. I will tap two to play Bloodthirsty Blade, and I will attack Donald with a 1-1. One, one. Big mistake, buddy. I will block your creature with my commander. All right, so since that card died, everyone gets to go get two basic lands. 
and put them on the battlefield untapped, I will pass turn. Good move, guys. I now have more mana. It appears we all have more mana. Maybe this game will go quicker, and thank God. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap five to summon Azor's Allocutors. It's a 3-5, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I get to place a filibuster counter on this card. Whenever I have five or more of these counters on this card, I win the game. If I take any damage from any source, I have to remove one of these counters. Holy shit, paired with his commander, and we are in quite the situation. This is whack. Donald might win the game with walls even. I'm into Vor and NTR. Just like Bro, that was completely uncalled taste. for. You might try to distract me and throw me off course, but nothing will get in the way of my victory now. I pass turn, by the way. We'll draw for turn, play a command tower, and tap six to summon my commander. My big dude lets me play with the top card of my library revealed. I can cast instant or sorcery spells, and whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, I can copy it and choose new targets for its copy. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a rogue's passage, and tap six to summon my commander. Creature tokens I control now have haste, and when it is combat on my turn, I get to create a 2-1 blue Phyrexian Mire token. After I do that, other tokens I control become a copy of that token. I will begin combat, make one of these, and swing two two ones at Bill. Wow, targeting me, I thought Donnie was the only one with a grudge against me. Fuck you, cooch boy. Not gonna lie, I kinda miss Ben, and I bet I'm not the only one. Ben was so cool because he would never shut the fuck up. I will block one of your mirror tokens with my humble defector and take two damage. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a forbidden orchard, and I will tap five to summon my commander. Whenever a player draws a card besides their draw step card, I get to create a one-to-one green snake for each card drawn. And whenever this card deals combat damage to a player, we both draw cards equal to its damage dealt. Donald, do you mind? I'm trying to read the card. With the education policies you put in this country, I'm surprised you even know how to read. Boom roasted. L, the office reference. Fuck you, Donnie, I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I will tap my creature to deal one damage to you. Fuck you, Joe, never mind then. I'm going to tap seven to play shifting wall and pass turn. I'm going to draw for turn, play a mood vault. More like food of vault. Shut up, Bill. I don't want to hear about your base tastes. I am then going to tap four to play fact or fiction. Sounds like Fox News or CNN. Of course, you would say that, Donald. Here you go, Obama. Separate those five cards into two piles, and I have to choose which one to keep. Hmm. Hmm. Here you go, Joe. Wow. Thanks, Barack. You're the bomb. Please don't say that. I'll pass turn. I'll draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap three to play Chief of the Foundry. All of my artifact creatures get plus one, plus one. I will then go into combat phase, create my token, and end combat phase without attacking. No way, you aren't allowed to do that. I don't think you have any right to tell people if they are cheating or not. Chill out, guys. You can declare your combat phase without attacking to trigger certain abilities on cards. Go check the wiki. It's all on there, no cap. I'll in turn. I'll draw for turn, play an island, and tap three mana to play Days Undoing. Each player shuffles their hand into either their graveyard or deck and draws seven cards. My turn ends after that. I will also get 21 one one green snakes. Before the end of your turn, I'm going to tap my creature to deal one damage to you. Jesus Christ, why is everyone attacking me? I don't know, man. It just felt right. Shit. Bill has a lot of snakes now. I will draw for turn and gain a filibuster counter, tap five to play an exorable tide. Every time I cast a spell, I proliferate. Oh, shit. I will play a plains, but most hugely, I will then play ghostly prison. Opponents who attack me now have to pay two mana for each attacking creature. I will proliferate again. What kind of loser puts ghostly prison in their deck? Can we just skip Joe and go to you, Obama? Bitch, you wish I will draw for turn, play a Siobhan Reef. I wish I could reef right now. I'm going to tap seven to play Sphinx Bone Wand. That was my college nickname. Each time I play an instant or sorcery, I get to put a charge counter on this card, and then this card deals damage to target creature or player based on how many charge counters there are. Do you have any instants or sorceries you would play to start swinging damage? Nope. I'm doing one damage to Bill because I don't like him. Wow. Get his ass, Joey. I will draw for turn, play a Is It Guildgate, and tap five to play Maverick Thopterist. When this card hits the field, create two one-one colorless Thopter tokens with flying. I will go to combat to get another token and attack Bill with three three twos. Wow, you guys just don't like me, huh? Well, not to be like Ben or anything, but logically speaking, we can't do any damage to Trump because of his commander, and it seems none of us can remove it from the field. 
So we will have to do this the government way. And that is? With violence. I will block one with my commander and block the other two with my snakes. One token dies and the others are tapped. I pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a reflecting pool and tap five to play mnemonic wall. And I will return an instant or sorcery card to my hand from the graveyard. I will then attack Trump with all of my creatures. Hold on there, mister, I just got that dog in me. You have to pay two mana for each creature that's attacking me. Fuck, that card is fucking stupid bullshit game. Fuck it, I'll pass turn. Yeah, that's right. Get impeached, you little bitch. I will draw for turn, go up a filibuster counter, play a mountain, tap two mana to play contentious plan, which lets me proliferate and draw a card. And you guys know what's up next? No you are fun. going to shit your conceding. pants. I am going to tap five to play Alchemist Gambit which lets me take another fucking turn after this one. At the end of turn, I would lose the game, but because I played a spell, I get to proliferate. I now have five filibuster counters, and the card says if I have five or more, I win the game, so is no one gonna fuck with my perfect plan? I have a response. Bullshit proliferate. Yes, yes, I El fucking won. El garbage deck with no skill. Shut up, Joe, you're mad I actually won. Congrats, Donald, you finally won a game of Commander. Even though Joe basically was the reason why you won, and the fact it took literally the world's best hand in card draw for you to get those cards. Whatever, good job. Well, guys, it was a good game. Maybe I should have played more honestly, and you guys probably would have had more fun. Will you give me another chance? No. I'm sorry, but I prefer my fourth president being Ben. Ben's not a president, but don't come back unless we see you change your ways. Fuck this. I'm going to hang out with Michelle. Never mind. I'm going to go home. I don't know why, but I get the feeling that I shouldn't have let Bill borrow my snake deck. Oh, well. And that's why I don't post a couple pictures of me and Michelle on Twitter anymore. You know, I used to be on Twitter, but then I got banned. And it was kind of bullshit because I just spoke the truth so much. Um, Donald, I thought you got banned because of the whole capital thing. Oh, I guess that had something to do with it. Guys, guys, have you seen my snake deck? Bill stopped by last week and borrowed it, but he hasn't returned with it. I also think I had seen my sister leave with him. R.I.P. to Ben's sister. Oh yeah, have you guys heard from Joe? He is late. I wonder if he's sleepy. Hey, he's sleepy, Joe. I found them! I found the presidents! What Holy the shit! What the hell? Who are you and what are you doing here? Did you invite this fucking guy, Ben? No, I have no clue who this is. Uh, I smelled two things that go together perfectly. Magic and political figures. I want to play a game of magic! All right. All right. Did you bring a deck then? No, but I had seen some important looking dude sleeping on a bench I on the way right. here, so I took his stuff. Logically speaking, I don't know if we can play a game of magic with you. You literally busted down Obama's basement door, and without even making a sound upstairs, which is weird and creepy, why should we even play with you? I don't know, guys. The government, they have a horde of gay frogs. They are going to release them any moment. First off, I think we should be the last people you claim this stuff to. And secondly, we will let you play with us. Oh, God. Astronomically L idea. Only under the condition you don't do anything physically violent. Oh, oh, okay. I can be civil, guys. Don't worry. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of worried. Obama, are you sure this is a good idea? We don't even know who this dude is. Let's give him the chance to introduce himself. My, my name is... Wait. I can't reveal my identity to you guys. I'm going to call my Secret Service. It's, uh, Maurice. Obama, he has to be lying. This man is very sus right now. Let's just take his word for it. I don't want him to beat us up and take our stuff, like what he did to Joe. Plus, let's not disturb Michelle, otherwise she will beat all of us up. Guys, I just looked at the news and it says on here that a local wild man is on the loose, and this does not look fake. Here is his name, Obama. Hmm, best not to say that on YouTube. All right then, did you look through Joe's stuff then, Maurice? There should be a magic deck in there. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I found something. A magic deck? No, just a bunch of hair for some reason. Joe, what the hell? Here we go. I found a deck. All right, well, I guess we should get this show on the road. My walls need a break from all of this battle. So this time, I'm going to fire you guys. Your show was a hoax. The fuck did you just say, you fat bastard? I brought my counterspell deck back. I don't plan on losing. I don't really know who you are. Massive L. I brought my Thopter deck back. This time, I'm drone striking all of you. Guys, drones, they're always watching. Like, look outside and keep your Jesus, eyes on the Jesus, let's North just Star. get started. And All right, guys, is everyone ready? Let's get it. 100, 100. I have been ready for this my whole life. All right, then, let's roll for highest number, and then... Wait! Oh, what? 
I don't trust Shit. dice. They Here have microchips implanted into them, and they listen and track our every move. That is completely illogical. Why would we have dice that have such odd capabilities? Ben, let's just find another way to go first. Let's do rock, paper, scissors. What the fuck? This is an old school Yu-Gi-Oh. It's fine. This will work. Why don't you and Maurice go first? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. This shit's rigged. I'll go next. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Fuck. How did I lose? I was a state champ at rock, paper, scissors. Weird thing to be a state champ in, but it is my turn now. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. Damn it. All right, Maurice, you go first. I will draw for turn, play a waste, and pass turn. He's playing a fucking Eldrazi deck. Those are busted. Statistically speaking, if Joe built that deck, we still might have a chance at winning. Donald, it's fine. Just let him play. I will draw for turn, play a snow-covered island, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap one to play Soul Ring and pass turn. Good play, Ben. Uh, thanks. Turn one Soul Ring bullshit cheater. Sorry, Donald, but I've got the magic fingers today. Please, don't say that out loud ever again. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play Urza's Mine, and pass turn. I will draw for turn. Play a snow-covered island and tap two to play Steel Overseer. When I tap this creature, I get to put a plus one, plus one counter on each artifact creature I control. I will pass turn. That's a good-ass card. I really like that card. Yes, that creature is pretty good to get my Thopters buffed up, so long as it stays on the board, that is. I will draw for turn, play an island, tap one island, and my Soul Ring to summon my commander. He makes my instant or sorcery spells one less to cast. And whenever a spell of mine counters a spell, I may draw a card, and then I have to discard one card. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Kazandu Refuge. This land enters in tapped, and I gain one life. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Zalfir in Void, and scry one. Okay, okay, I don't like that. I am going to put this card at the bottom of my library, just like how the government puts important information at the bottom of its library. That was the farthest stretch for a joke I have ever seen. You should see Trump's presidency. Fuck you, Obama. I am going to tap three to play Matter Reshaper and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap three to summon my commander. Whenever I cast an artifact spell, I get to make a 1-1 Thopter token with flying. I will tap my Steel Overseer to give my artifact creatures a 1-1 counter and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap three to play Ristic Study and pass turn. Jesus Christ, met a bullshit card. Obama and I won't be able to play this game. That's too damn true, Donald, on God. I will draw for turn, play a forest, and tap two to play Farseek. Are you going to pay one? Yes, Ben, and just to ruin your day. Wow. I'll search my Try library hard. for a mountain and put it on the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. I will pass turn. And that's why I am in full belief that this government is run by lizards. Somebody end me. Donald, that is very depressing. Maurice, are you going to draw for turn? Or better yet, are you going to play the damn game? Oh, that's right. I will now gain two additional Thopters thanks to my commander and my enchantment. I will then tap Steel Overseer to give every artifact creature their plus one, plus one counters and go to combat. You better not divide your damage like a Chad player would. I will divide out the damage. So Maurice, you get two Trump, you get one. And Ben, you get one. I will never let the drones take over. Maurice, are you fucking blocking or not? Oh, I won't block my bad guys. No blocks. No blocks. Okay then, I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and pass turn. Wow, that's totally not a blue player leaving his lands untapped so he can make the game not fun. Shut up, Donald. I practically have no board, so statistically speaking, I'm more likely to lose. Yeah, yeah, I will draw for turn, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I get to create a 5-5 dragon since I control more than six lands. I will play a forest and go to combat. Xenagos' ability will trigger and I get to choose another creature I control, and it will gain plus X plus X until end of turn. Where X is the creature's power and toughness, I will attack with Mana Charge Dragon and target that creature with Xenagos' ability. Each player may pay any amount of mana, starting with me, of course. I will pay 10 of my mana to give my dragon plus 10 plus zero, and I will attack Obama with it. Okay, so Donald is attacking me with a 2010 with flying and trample. So in response, I will block with all of my thopters. Guys, you're actually reciting the conflict in- Maurice, we are not doing that joke. So both will trade and you will lose most of your thopters, and I will lose my dragon and pass turn. Guys, the day of reckoning has come. I will play a waste and tap 10 to summon my commander. I also tap my Hall of the Bandit Lord, which makes me pay three life to give my creature haste. Oh, guys, I think this is GG. I'm not giving up yet. Let's see what this fool does. Using Ulamog's effects, I will target two permanents to be exiled. I will target Donald's commander and Obama's commander. I will attack Ben with my commander. 
Shit, I will take 10 commander damage and exile 20 cards from my library thanks to your creature's abilities. Shit, I have no cards left in my library. Well, guys, it looks like Ben will lose on his draw step. Are you done, Morris? Yes, I pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap everything to play Hangerback Walker and pass turn. Oh no, whatever will I... Psych! Whoa. What? No fucking way, dog. Before the end of your turn, Obama, I will tap three to play Laboratory Maniac, and on my draw step, if I have no cards in my library, instead of losing, I win. Hold on, Ben Euler Joseph. Excuse you me, can't what? can't play that creature because it does not have flash. Wait, Donald, Ben has Vidalcan Orrery, which lets his non-land cards have flash. Well... Shit. Oh my god. Ben, you legend, you managed to defeat me. I am a fucking I champ. Can't. Let's go. Good job, Ben. I didn't know your deck had a win condition. Thanks, guys. This was one epic game. Hey, you. You were told to wait outside to see the presidents. Wait, guys, it's not what you think. We need to go and take this guy back to the slammer. See ya. No, don't take me back there. Bye, guys. Did Maurice just seriously leave behind Joe's deck but took his playmat? Oh man, Joe's not going to be happy. Hey guys, did I make it on time? By make it on time, you mean being an hour and 10 minutes late? Oh man, I must have overslept. Oh, there is my stuff. Where is my play mat? Game two? Yes. 100%. For me, game one, but yes. Obama, it has been really exhausting having all of these new people play Commander with us. Yeah, I kind of thought the previous two would be more fun and not psychotic. <sighs> But I messaged the group chat to see who was coming today, and it seems like our usual group will be here. Thank God I still need to tell Bill to bring my deck back. And my sister, too. Sheesh! That traffic was ridiculous. Oh, hi, Donald. Is that why you were later than usual today? No, I was modifying the deck I wanted to play. I just had the Air Force drop me off here through a helicopter. Very unnecessary, but okay. Joe should be here at any moment. Wait, Donald, what do you mean by traffic? The aliens are coming. Not God damn, I swear. Ben. Oh, sorry about that. I just got done watching my favorite episode of Urusei Yatsura before I got here. Joe, what the fuck? Don't scare us like that. Of course you'd watch that normie show. It looks like everyone is here, and no bullshit is going to happen, right? I think we are in the clear. All right, guys. You are all going to get wrecked by my new Boros Voltron deck. This win is going to be so free, I'm going to sacrifice my soldiers in the, uh, game thing. I have a new deck I want to try out. I'm not going to say anything. Let's just start. Okay, is everyone ready? Yep. They call him Mr. Bombastic. Epic joke. Please don't sing that joke. Uh, let's roll to see who goes first. Wait! What? No one has said anything about my new playmat. Yeah, yeah, Joe. It looks like you would sniff her hair. Let's just roll. It looks like I rolled the highest. I will draw for turn, play a plains, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a plains, and pass turn. Wow, it looks like we all might have balanced decks this time around. Yeah, no turn one bullshit. Y'all just mad I've been popping off. If you mean by popping off, you mean getting the worst fucking win condition I have ever seen in Magic. Yeah, that win con was pretty garbage. I watched that video. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Fuck you guys. I will draw for turn, play a plains, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a forest, and tap two to play trailblazer boots and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play academy ruins, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a rogue's passage, and tap two to play bloodforge battle axe and commander's plate. I'll pass turn. Uh, I will draw for turn, play a plains, and tap three to play phyrexian vault and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a opal palace, and tap two to play lotus cobra. This creature has landfall. Whenever I play a land, I get to add one mana of any color and end my turn. I'm going to name my pet goldfish after you, Obama. Uh, thanks, Joe. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap two to summon my commander. This commander better not be fucking busted. He has haste, and I can pay a blue and red mana to tap my commander, and he can copy target activated triggered ability I control from an artifact source. I can choose new targets for its copy, and I end my turn. Wow, that's not so bad. Not going to lie, this deck might be mid, I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap three to summon my commander. He has trample, and whenever I attack with him, I get to draw cards equal to the number of equipments and enchantment auras on him. I pass turn. That was a good play, Donald. Well, thanks, Joe. That was actually kind of neat. <sighs> for a piss boy. Fuck you, brains for shit. Get turn. I will draw for turn, pay two to discard Drifting Meadow and draw an extra card. I will play a Plains and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Vivid Grove, which enters in tapped with two charge counters on it, and gain one floating mana thanks to Lotus Cobra. 
I will tap four to play Spellbreaker Behemoth. This spell cannot be countered. And creature spells I cast with power five or greater cannot be countered. I will pass turn. Thanks, Obama. Now I probably can't counter anything that's in your deck. Don't worry, Ben. I put that card in this deck just for you. I will draw for turn, play Steam Vents, and pay two life Cringe. so it doesn't enter in tapped. Fuck you, Donald. You know what? I am going to tap two to play Folio of Fancies. Bad. So now all players have no maximum hand size. I will pass turn. Wait a minute. This card helps everyone. You will see. You will see in due time. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap two mana to equip my Bloodforge battle axe on my commander. He will gain plus two plus zero, and whenever I deal combat damage to a player, I get to create a token that is a copy of this artifact and go to combat. Let's see, Trump probably doesn't want any of this smoke. He could kill my commander if he attacks me, although I wouldn't block with it. I have a dog named Champ. I'm gonna swing a 4-2 at you, Ben. Damn, I will take four commander damage and go down to 34 life. I get to draw a card and make a token copy of my artifact. I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap three mana to play Doom Traveler and use the two remaining to tap Phyrexian Vault to sacrifice my Doom Traveler to draw a card. Doom Traveler will then turn into a 1-1 spirit with flying. I will now pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Carplusen Forest, and tap four to summon my commander. I can tap my boy to add four colorless mana to my pool and I can only use that mana to add to spell costs that contain X. I'm also going to tap my mountain to enchant my commander with messenger speed, which gives my creature haste and trample. Holy shit, what the hell just happened? The Obamining Donald. I'm then going to attack Donald with Spellbreaker, Behemoth, and Roshin Meanderer. Fuck you, Obama. I will take four normal damage and four commander damage. At least they aren't really targeting us, right, Joe? Ben, I am naming my snake after you. I don't know whether to be excited or offended, my turn is over. I will draw for turn, play Urza's Mine, and tap four mana to play Urza, Lord High Artificer. When this card enters the battlefield, I get to create a zero zero colorless construct artifact creature token, and it gets plus one plus one for each artifact I control, so it is currently a two two. I can tap an untapped artifact I control to add one blue mana, and I can pay five to shuffle my library and exile the top card and play it until end of turn without paying its mana cost. I will pass turn. I just like that card. Yeah, Ben, that card is too cool. Rad, even. Ben's just running a try-hard bullshit wizard deck. Whatever, guys, I am just vibing. I will draw for turn, play a command tower, and tap five to equip the token copy of Bloodforged Battle Axe and Commander Plates. My commander is now a 9-5 with Trample. He also has protection from colors that are not white and red. I will now go to combat. I don't know, Donald, this deck is very unwall like I just figured my hard-working walls needed a break from all of the battle. That's what his mom said. Career end. Oh, God shit. Damn. Fuck you, Joe. At least I'm not a running a DN deck. Huh? What is a DN deck? What is that? Wait, Donald, don't do it. Donald, come on, man. I know what Joe said was uncalled for, but this might be too far. You cross my borders, you get the ice treatment. Donald, what the fuck? A D's nuts deck. Yeah, that was quite underwhelming. Not gonna lie, the delivery on that one was kind of botched. Shut the fuck up, at least I tried. I need to declare attackers, Joe. I will swing a 9-5 at you with trample. I will block one of that damage with my flying spirit and take eight commander damage. I will draw three cards and make another Bloodforge battle axe and pass turn. Oh, Donald, you need to go down an extra life because Spellbreaker Behemoth is a 5-5, not a 4-4. Oh, my bad, man. Are you good, dog? I will draw for turn, play a plane. Hold on a minute, Joe. What the fuck? What is it, Ben? This planes is from the new Lord of the Rings set. It isn't even out yet. How the fuck do you even have that card, Joe? I forgot to mention I found this deck in a landfill. Uh, go on, Joe. Continue your turn. I will tap six to summon my commander whenever I am dealt damage. I get to put that many 1-1 one, one white soldier tokens on the battlefield. I will pass turn. Damn, Joe, that card is pretty great. This is my first time reading that card. Yeah, that is pretty good. I will draw for turn, play Rootbound Crag, and tap 11 mana to play Savageborn Hydra. It enters the battlefield with X11 counters on it, where in this case, X is nine. I will pass turn. Wow, Obama, no attacks? Not yet, Benny boy, not yet. This is getting weird. I will draw for turn and tap my two artifacts and three lands to activate Urza's ability. I will shuffle my library and exile the top card and play it without paying its mana cost. And it is. Holy fucking shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Great. What is it, guys? I get to play Ugin the Spirit Dragon for free. I will plus two to do three damage to any target. I choose Joe just to help him out. Okay, I will go down three health and gain three 1-1 one, one soldiers. I pass turn. 
Guys, this isn't looking good. If he ultimates Ugin, there is no guarantee for survival. Just watch, I can take care of this. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap five mana to play and equip Black Blade reforged on my commander. I can't even- Oh God. I feel left out. I will then attack Ben's Planeswalker with a 1511. I will tap one blue mana to pongify your commander, which destroys it and turns it into a 3-3 green ape token. You just fucking blundered, Ben. What? How? How could I have... Shit. Protection from colors that isn't a part of its identity. Are you sure you want to commit to that? You certainly don't have to. No, no, it would only be right. Ha, loser. Fuck you, Donald. I will not block and Ugin will die. Damn, solid play, Donald. I know, right? I guess I pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a planes and tap two mana to sacrifice one of my soldiers and draw a card. Then I will play an equip skull clamp to a 1-1 one, one soldier and it will die. I will draw two cards. I will tap two to play raise the alarm, create two 1-1 one, one soldiers and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Nykthos, shrine to Nyx, and choose green. I will tap 13 mana, one floating because of Lotus Cobra, and four because of my devotion to green is four, to play vast wood hydra, which enters the battlefield, with 11 one, one counters. If this creature dies, I get to distribute these 1-1 one, one counters to any number of my creatures. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play Urza's Power Plant, tap four to play Sad Robo, tap my commander to copy its effect, and go search my library for two basic lands and put them on the field tapped and pass turn. Iron Man time. Oh boy. I will draw for turn, play Emergence Zone, and tap four to play Slagworm Armor and equip it to my commander. I will also tap two to equip my Blood Battle Axe copy to my commander. So let's see, Donald's commander is now a good God almighty, it's 1818. You better believe my creature is that bigly huge. I am swinging it at you, Obama. Welp, because your commander has protection from colors that are not a part of its identity, I cannot block any of your attacks, so I will have to take all of the damage. I will draw six fucking cards and pass turn. Guys, watch out. Donald's got that dog in him. Yes, he needs to die. In the game, Ben. In the game. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap four to play dusk, and destroy all creatures with power greater than three. Are you fucking kidding me, Sleepy Joe? Had a bullshit board wipe the whole time. Damn it, Joe, I was going to kill Trump on my turn. Great play, Joe. We have a chance now. Thanks, Ben, and sorry, guys, but I think it's time for the most ghetto whooping one has ever seen. I will tap another four to play Ajani, adversary of tyrants, and plus one him to put a one-one counter on two target creatures I control. I will put them on my soldiers and pass turn. And I will draw for turn, play a forest, and tap six to resummon my commander, and tap two to play Rada, heir to Keld, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a wastes, and tap two artifacts and three lands to activate Urza's ability. Now let's exile the top card and see if I can play it for free. Fucking ornithopter. Bruh, skill issue. Goddamn Ben, rip. Bro, that ornithopter looks so fucking cool. I guess my construct is a 3-3 now. Fuck it, I pass turn. I draw for turn, play a planes, and tap five to resummon my commander, pay three to re-equip my commander plates to my commander, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap eight to resummon my commander, use a Johnny's plus one ability, and give two of my soldiers plus one counters, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and go to my combat phase and attack Joe with my Rada. I will not block and the two damage gives me two more soldiers. When Rada attacks, I get to add two red mana to my mana pool. Since a land enters the battlefield, I have one floating mana, thanks to my Lotus Cobra. I will use two of this mana to tap my Nyx Shrine to get mana equal to my devotion to green, which is three. So now I have four floating mana. I will now tap everything, which totals out to 16 mana to play Apocalypse Hydra, which enters in with 14 one, one counters. Okay. A-14-14 isn't bad. My commander can get bigger than that on my turn. Oh, Donald. Oh, Donald. You don't realize it is actually a 28-28. What in the fuck? Big chonk. I surprisingly don't have any counter spells. If X is greater than five, it enters in with the additional X, which in this case is another 14. I pass turn. Shit, this could be GG. I draw for turn, play a Sulphur Falls, and tap three of my artifacts, and two lands to activate Urza's ability. Ben has a gambling addiction. Unrelated. I will exile the top card, and it is no fucking way. After this game, I'm gonna retire. I swear to God, Ben. Can I go to bed? Blightsteel Colossus. It is a 11-11 with trample, infect, and indestructible. I have no damn clue who's supposed to win this game. Oh shit! Combo time! I will tap five mana to play Echo Storm. For each time I summon my commander, I get to copy this spell. 
This spell lets me make copies of target artifacts I control, so I will make a copy of Blightsteel Colossus and now have two. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap three mana to equip Black Blade Reforged to my commander, and tap four mana to tap Rogue's Passage to make my commander unblockable. It is now a 14-14 and I attack. I know, I know, it will be enough commander damage to- Ben with my commander. Haul up, huh? Wow, Donald, that's straight fucked. You are impeding my rights, Ben, my rights to having fun in this game. Statistically speaking, your chances of winning would be much higher if you hadn't attacked me. Now you have pissed me off. Wow, Donald, thanks for not killing me. We can continue fighting after Ben gets dunked on. I will draw two cards because of my commander's effect and end my turn. St. Patrick's Day time. That was quite a stretch there, Joe. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap seven mana to play Angel of Serenity. Fuck this shit. L plus my life is ruined. I can exile up to three creatures on the battlefield, and when this creature leaves the battlefield, they return to their owner's hand. Ben, I am exiling your blight steel thing, Donald, your commander, and Obama, your doomsday lizard. Apocalypse Hydra. Yeah, that. I will use a Johnny's ability and put a 1-1 counter on the angel and my commander. I will then tap three to play Phyrexian Altar and pass turn. Guys, Joe isn't even winning. He's just ruining our setups. Well, I was quite the average Apex player back in my day. L game. I will draw for turn, play a forest, and tap 17 mana to play Primordial Hydra. It will enter in with 15 1-1 counters on it. And at the beginning of my upkeep, I get to double the amount of counters on this creature and it has trample. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play Ancient Tomb, tap four to play one with the machine, and draw cards equal to the highest CMC card on my board. It looks like I get to draw 12 cards thanks to my one Blightsteel Colossus. I will then attack Donald with my Colossus. Fuck you, Ben. Bullshit deck. Couldn't win cry, without cry, cry, playing cry, the most cry, bitch cards boy. this game has ever seen. Whatever, Donald. Not my fault you were playing fucking Boros. Who even plays that color combo? I thought Boros was that one alien dude from One Punch Man. That's Lord Boros, Joe. I can't block, so I will take 11 infect damage and not win. Holy shit, why does Donald lose so quickly? Because Blightsteel Colossus has infect. And if a creature with infect does combat damage to a player, they gain that many poison counters. And if a player has 10 or more, they lose. Wow, Joe, I figured you knew that already. Well, damn, Ben is not nice. Anyway, I pass turn. I will draw for turn, hmm, no plane sad. I will tap six to play Nomad's Assembly and put one one white core soldier tokens equal to the number of creatures I control. I will also use a Johnny's ultimate, which will kill him. But I get an emblem. At the beginning of my end step, I get to create three one one cat creatures with lifelink. I now have 17 creatures. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn. Miss my land, drop two. And double the counters on my primordial Hydra, making it a 30-30 with trample. I will then tap 17 mana because now my devotion to green is five, to play Clan Defiance and deal 15 damage to Ben. While you are casting that spell, I will tap two to play Mana Drain. It counters your spell, and at the beginning of my next main phase, I get to add two colorless mana to my mana pool? Well, shit. No matter. I will tap two to equip Trailblazer Boots to my Hydra, and I'll attack you, Ben, with a 30-30 Primordial Hydra with Trample. Trailblazer Boots? What does that do? It has non-basic land walk. And you have non-basic lands, young man. Are you fucking kidding me? You had that the whole game and only used it now? Quite precisely, Ben. You are dead, I passed turn. Holy shit, Ben, you just got served by Obamba. Please don't call me that. This game is fucking whack. I will draw for turn and tap everything and sacrifice all of my creatures with Phyrexian Altar to get mana and play Martial Coup. I get to create X-1-1 soldiers, and if X is greater than five, then destroy all other creatures. God damn it. Holy shit. Well, fuck. I will make... 27 soldiers. I pass turn. It's I will draw for turn and I will concede. Holy Let's shit, go. Joe, Let's you go. did it. I need to stop playing spell slinging decks. What an amazing game, everyone. Now this. This was great. I hope we can play like this more. To be fair, Joe only won because no one targeted him the whole game. It's not my fault my deck was found in an actual dumpster. Yes, it is. Game two. No, my head hurts. <laughs> Fuck that. I am going to go watch more Fist of the North Star with Michelle. And this weekend, I watched this one guy stream MTG Arena, and good Christ, he kept on misplaying cards and would never shut the hell up like a loser. Dang, Donald. Did you shit on him in live chat? Oh, constantly. He may never recover. I harassed him so much, he switched over to Oblivion. Who even plays that game anymore? 
Hold on, Donald. Oblivion is my favorite Elder Scrolls. Guys, I just got done watching this one dude stream, and it was the greatest thing I have ever. Wait, Joe, let's not start another debate between you and Donald. Plus, this is a shameless self-plug-in. No, no, Obama, let him cook. What? You didn't like it? Who the hell misplays werewolves gruel? He has a point. It's not my fault that there's something wrong with him. Guys, guys, let's stop arguing and let's start a new game of magic. Yeah, I brought a deck that would, and statistically speaking, make me win. Shut the fuck up, Ben. I brought a deck that will make everyone vote for me in the next election. If you are not jailed by then. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. What deck did you bring? I'm going to put you guys to sleep with my new deck I built. Why does no one ever ask me what deck I bring? I don't know, Barack. Let's just commence with the game. Is everyone ready? I have something to say. Oh, what is it? I can't believe Trump is running Tibbet for his commander. This motherfucker is going to make us vote. It's literally genius. I don't understand how you have shit taste this early in the game. For once, Donald is playing something creative. Fuck you, Joe. You're playing a deck that's all about sleeping. There's nothing wrong with getting 10 hours of sleep. I think 10 hours might be too much. Wait, you stop at 10? I'm sorry I said anything. Let's just roll highest for first. It's been a while since I last went first. I will draw for turn, play a Mana Confluence, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Demir Guildgate, and pass turn. I'll draw for turn, play a Glacial Fortress, and pass turn. It looks like Donald finally moved his fat ass out of the way. People can finally watch his board. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. Go back to bed. Fuck you, Donald. I will draw for turn, play a Forest, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an Island, and tap two to play Talisman of Progress and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap two to play Watcher for tomorrow. It is a 2-1, and it has Hideaway. It enters in tapped, and I get to look at the top four cards in my library. I can exile one of the four face down. When this creature dies, the exiled card goes to my hand. I will pass turn. I'll draw for turn, play an Ancient Tomb, and play Mana Crypt. Wow, Donald put a Mana Crypt in his shitty voting deck. Shut up, Ben. You look like you're playing another generic spell-slinging deck. Oh, Donald, you blubbering fool. This is not your typical spell-slinging deck, but... Yeah, yeah, something about facts and feelings. I will tap all of my lands and my mana crypt to play Tamiyo's Journal. At the beginning of my upkeep, I get to investigate, which is a sackable artifact that lets me draw a card. I can tap this artifact to sack three clues to search my library for a card and put it into my hand. I'll pass turn. Hmm, tutors too. What a tryhard. I will draw for turn, play an island, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap four to summon my commander. I can pay one to tap my commander. Draw two cards, discard a card, and create a 1-1 one -one pilot token that can crew as if its power was two. My commander also has crew eight. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a reliquary tower, and tap two to play apprentice necromancer. I can pay one swamp to sacrifice it and return target creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield. That creature gains haste, and I have to sacrifice it at my end step. I will pass turn. I'll draw for turn, and I will need to do a coin flip for Monocrypt. I have a coin here. Really, Obama? A metallic Pokemon coin? Nothing wrong with enjoying Pokemon, Ben. Bro, the coin isn't even metal. The first coins were made around 2,500 years ago. That's cool, Joe. It is... Fuck! Tails! I will lose three life. Deserved. Preach, brother. Guys, please stop. I'll play an island, tap two to play Swiftfoot Boots, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a forest, and tap three to play spring. I will search my library for a basic land card, put it on the field, tapped, and shuffle. I will pass turn. Hey, Barack, you need to go down a life because of your mana confluence. Ah, uh, thanks for pointing that out, Donald. It's no problem, dog. So wholesome. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap three to create a prodigy's prototype. It has crew two, and whenever one or more vehicles I control attack, I get to make a 1-1 pilot. I will then pay one to tap my commander, draw two cards, discard one, and create a pilot. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap four to play Master of Waves. It has protection from red, and elemental creatures I control get plus one plus one. When it enters the battlefield, I get to create a number of one zero blue elemental creature tokens equal to my devotion to blue, which in this case is two. I will pass turn. Shit, I need to go down a life. I'll draw for turn, do the stupid coin flip, and let's go! It's heads. I will play a swamp and tap six mana to summon my commander. It is a 6-6. Six, six. And when this enters the battlefield or deals combat damage to a player, we all get to vote. You are sure excited for voting, even though you lost the last election. Shut up, Pinhead. I'm running again this year. He will try to run for office. He could be in prison by then. Don't remind me, Obama. We can either vote for evidence or bribery. 
For each evidence vote, I get to create a clue token, and for each bribery vote, I get to create a treasure token. So since it entered the battlefield, I get to go first for voting, and I want a treasure token. Of course he would get the big, shiny money. Guys, we should all vote for evidence since we can make him waste his mana on card draw. I don't know, Ben. That's kind of a huge advantage. What can I do to hurt him? Ideally, we do harm in game. I vote for evidence. I get a clue. I vote for evidence. I don't want Donald to get that mana. I get a clue again. I vote for bribery. Joe, what the fuck? What, Ben? Giving Donald money might make him go bankrupt. Hmm, Joe has a point. Yeah, I think I agree. Screw you guys. I get two treasure tokens and two clue tokens. I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap one to play Soul Ring, and tap four to summon my commander. It is a 12-12, and it enters in tapped with five slumbering counters. As long as this card has slumbering counters on it, it is a land. And when I cast a spell, I get to remove a slumber counter from Eric's Methus. It also taps for forest and island. Good Christ, Joe. I didn't know they made a card about you. Fuck you, Donald. I will tap three to play Garrick's Uprising when this enters in. If I control a creature with power greater than four, I get to draw a card. I control a fat-ass creature, so I will draw a card. Creatures I control have trample. And whenever a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield under my control, I get to draw a card. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap four to play Katsumasa, the animator. It is a 3-3 with flying, and I can pay three mana to make a non-creature artifact, an artifact creature with flying until end of turn. If it is not a vehicle, its base power and toughness is 1-1. And at the beginning of my upkeep, I get to put a 1-1 counter on each up to three target non-creature artifacts. I will tap one to activate my commander's ability and go to combat. Donald, you forgot to make a clue token because of Tamiyo's journal. My bad, man. You good, homie G. I will crew one pilot under my prodigy's prototype and attack Ben with it. I will block with my watcher for tomorrow and get my exiled card. Hold on, guys. How the heck does crewing even work? I haven't heard of it. Maybe if you didn't fall asleep during your time in the Talarian Academy, you would know. Usually vehicle artifacts can't really do much unless they are crewed. And to crew one of these, you need to put creatures with the same power as its crew type. So a 4-4 vehicle with crew 2 just needs a creature with a power of 2, or two one ones to get to that total crew 2? Precisely. That's why the pilots say they can crew as if they have 2 power. It's very handy. All right, guys, stop patronizing the viewers. I was talking to Joe. I will draw for turn, play a storm-carved coast, and tap 5 to summon my commander. Whenever another non-token wizard enters the battlefield under my control, and if my commander is in the command zone or battlefield, I get to pay 1. This will allow me to create a copy of that wizard as a token, and it gains haste. I have to exile it at the beginning of my next end step. I will pass turn. Voting time! Look at this fucking clown. I'll draw for turn, make a clue token, and flip a dumbass coin. Tails. L. Loss. Loser. I'll play Vault of Champions and tap four to play Thassa Deep Dwelling. Here we fucking go. Whoa, mama. She kind of bad, though. Joe, what the hell? Focus up. So long my devotion to blue is less than five. Thassa isn't a creature. And at the beginning of my end step, I get to exile and return one creature I control. I can see where this is going. Ben, you've been annoying today, so I'm attacking you. Six in the air. Ouch. All right, let's vote. I want evidence. That's what the judge is going to say. Can we remove this man? Can we kick him out of the game? No, Donald, I don't remove you when you call me Obamba. Good point. Evidence. Clue token. Evidence. Clue token. Bribery. L, idea. He has the right to vote, Ben. He's the fucking president. L take, treasure token. I'm at my end step, so I'm blinking my commander, and we get to vote again. I vote evidence. I told you guys, this motherfucker is making us vote. Chill, Ben. He can't do shit with those tokens anyway. Get wrecked, Donald. I am baffled you keep choosing card draw, but I am going to treasure since you keep doing clues. Treasure? I'm sticking with my bomb-ass idea. Aw, damn it. Fuck it. Evidence. Clue token? Money. Treasure token? I pass turn. I will draw for turn. Not get a land, but currently I am at four slumbering counters. I will tap one to play Lanawer Elves. I can tap it for one green. Now I'm at three slumber counters. I will tap one to play ponder. I get to look at the top three cards of my library and rearrange them in any order and draw a card. Legal rigging? At least I'm not the one playing a $1,000 deck. I will play a forest. I'm down to two slumber counters. I will tap five to play Merkfiend Liege. Other blue and other green creatures I control get plus one plus one. And I get to untap those creatures at each other player's untapped step. One slumber counter, baby. I'll pass turn. Damn, I keep forgetting my card effects. I get another pilot since I attacked with my prodigy vehicle. Yep, that sounds right. I will draw for turn and tap three to make Shorakai an artifact creature until end of turn. I will attack Donald with my commander and crew my prodigy vehicle with one pilot and attack with it. I will take the damage. 
you bitch. I will make another pilot and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, tap six to play Warstorm Surge, and pass turn. Guys, ready your bank accounts because we are betting it all. Let's see it, Donald. I'll draw for turn, flip the damn coin. Heads, let's go. I'll play an island and tap one to play Illusion of Choice, so now I can choose how people vote this turn. And now that is rigged. I will tap 10 to play Expropriate. Fuck. God damn it. What does that do? Starting with me, each player votes on either time or money. Each time vote gives me an extra fucking turn after this one. And money, I can gain control of people's permanent. Since I played Illusion of Choice, I get to do this the Chinese government style. And what is the Chinese government style? Take control of your free will. I will choose all votes as time and gain four extra turns. What the fuck, Donald? Holy shit. My commander gets blinked at end step, so I will choose four clue tokens. I will then untap and draw for turn and sack three clue tokens and use Tamiyo's journal to search my library for a card and put it into my hand. I'll tap four to play mechanized production. It's over. Shit's over. I will enchant a clue token with mechanized production. And at the beginning of my upkeep, I make a token copy of enchanted artifact. Then if I control eight or more of the same artifact, I win the game. I'll pass turn and win. Well, that was kind of cool, actually. Yeah, Donald, despite having the most busted and expensive deck here, that was pretty cool. More like pretty bullshit. Thanks, guys, except Ben. Fuck you, Donald. That was a pretty solid game. I might play this deck more. We should do another game. I'm getting my sliver deck then. I'm going to find my squirrels and then get my squirrel deck. Fuck that. I'm going to go order dominoes with Michelle. Sir, you got a letter from Obama. What? Why doesn't he just shoot me a text? He has my number. I don't know, sir. I wasn't told anything else. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. I see. It looks like I will have to go there. In person. I really haven't played Magic in a while. Ever since I watched that one dude stream Oblivion, I got nostalgic, so I went ahead and started playing Morrowind again. And I gotta say, it is such an amazing game. That game was made in the Stone Age of RPGs. It looks like mud, and I hate the hit chances. That's why I like Skyrim so much better. I remember playing Arena when it first came out. Oh, that's cool, Joe. Do you remember what computer you played it on? Computer? I mean, like, uh, fighting with swords and shields? What a dinosaur. And speaking of a dinosaur, where's Donald? Is he not coming today? Well, he's a little busy. And by busy, you mean being behind bars. Oh, shit. What did he do? Well, I think we should not have to remind our viewers of all of that stressful political stuff. Oh, good point, Barack. Sorry, guys. You're good, Holmes. It's just conversation material. Well, anyway... I decided to sub in someone else for the time being. I wonder who. Obama, who is that behind you? Ah! George, you can't sneak up on people like that. Hey, Barack. <laughs> Long time no see. Yeah, I was talking to Michelle upstairs, and she said you were down here playing Magic with your buddies. Uh, uh, you remember when we first played Magic? Oh, yeah, those were the days. That's right, amigo. I remember when Magic was first made. Oh, did you get to play during Alpha and Beta? Those are the best sets in Magic history. What? No, I mean when magical powers were made back in my time. Just how fucking old are you? I can't wait to play. I haven't played Commander yet, so you guys will just have to teach me. We can do that. I know a thing or two. I taught these guys, so don't worry about it, old friend. Awesome, let's get started. Is everyone ready? I need to finish up shuffling. I'm not used to these 100 card decks. I don't blame you. The game has changed quite a bit from the last time we played. It's going to be weird since Trump is not playing with us today. He was always trying to one-up us and be better than everyone here. Oh, that's what it was. I thought he had dementia. That is not very nice, Joe. That, that joke was awesome. Uh, uh, and plenty of people laughed. And mm, The people struggle, and, and I'm one of them. What? I don't understand what you are saying, George. That was less coherent. Uh, understand than me. Forget it, I am done shuffling. How do we determine who is going first? We each roll a d20, and whoever has the highest number gets to go first. Okay, let's do that. Wow, it looks like I will go first. I will draw for turn, play a godless shrine, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a verdant catacombs, pay one life to sack it, and go find a godless shrine, put it on the field, and pass turn. Huh, you both need to start going to church. It's time to get this W. L joke. I will draw for turn, play a Rogren triome, and pass turn. 
I will draw for turn, play, and crack my evolving wilds. Wow, I can't believe you put an evolving wilds in your deck. What? What's wrong with it? I don't know. I felt like we needed some Trumpisms in here. I will go get a snow-covered forest and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Graven Cairns, and tap two to play Blood Artist. Whenever this card or another creature dies, target player loses one life and I gain one life. I will then make a 1-1 vampire token thanks to my commander's ability. It still triggers, even in the command zone. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a command tower, and tap two to play Demir Signet and pass turn. It's time to unleash my weapons of mass destruction. Oh shit, we're fucked. I will draw for turn, play a blood crypt, and pass turn. Wait, that's all? <laughs> Your ass fell for it. Damn, he got me good. Obama, is he usually like this? Be careful, Ben. He's a prankster. He's always like this. I will draw for turn, play a breeding pool, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a swamp, and tap one to play Viscera Seer. I can sacrifice a creature and scry one. I will then tap two to play Cruel Celebrant. Whenever this card, another creature, or planeswalker dies, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Casting these two creatures will cause my commander to trigger twice. I will pass turn. E equals MC squared. What? Statistically speaking, huh? Yeah, Joe, why did you say that? Oh, sorry, I have been re-watching Dr. Stone, and I wondered if anyone would catch on. That show is mid. Fuck you, Ben, that show is great. I should really watch that one. L, taste. Wait, this is off topic, guys. I will draw for turn. Tap two to play an Arcane Signet, and tap two to play Plague Stinger. It has flying and infect. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and play Cavern of Souls. When this hits the field, I'll need to name a creature type, and it will be gods. God tribal? Huh, what a weird tribal. You see, this mad lad probably goes to church. Listen, guys, don't misunderestimate this deck. That's not a word. There is logically no fucking way. I will tap three to play Ronas the Indomitable. This bad boy has death touch and indestructible, and this creature can't uh, attack or block unless I control another creature with power four or greater. I can also pay three mana to give another creature plus two, plus zero, and trample until end of turn. I pass turn... I don't understand. That deck hardly suits you, W. And Joe has already gotten used to him. You will learn, just like all of our great America of children do. I think I'm going to have a stroke. Please don't. I will draw for turn, play a Cephalid Coliseum, and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap one to play Duskborn Marcher. My commander will trigger, and I will go to combat. It's uh, time to see that. Obama. Military. Uh, uh, might. I think Donald not being here, constantly harassing Joe, has thrown him off of his game. Don't worry, I got this. Joe, if you win this game, Donald owes you $20. It is game fucking on. You're all going to become one hot dog. Yeah, we need to get Donald back. Anyway, I will swing one. One, one vampire at each of you. Are there any blockers declared? None from me. I, uh, uh, have no blocky doohickeys. I will not block. All right, so one damage to each of you. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and go straight to combat. I will swing Plague Stinger at you, Bush. Oh, damn, Ben doesn't like me. I I wouldn't say that. I would say you confuse me. Any responses? Nope. You will get a poison counter because of Infect. I will then tap three to play Evolution Sage. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, proliferate. I will then play Mana Confluence, and you will get another poison counter. I will pass turn. There's an old saying in Tennessee. I, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, Oh, boy, here we go again. Fool me once. Shame on, shame on you. Fool me You can't get fooled again. That was, and statistically speaking, not the right quote. I don't know, Ben. I hear that one all of the time. Besides the intrusive thoughts, they won't win, I swear. This is getting scary. I'll draw for turn, play a Ketria Trium, and tap two to play Haka Whispering Raven. It has flying, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a uh, player, return it to its owner's hand, then scry the two. Uh, I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, play Flooded Grove, and tap four to summon my commander, just like last time. It's a 12-12, and it has five slumber counters on it. Every time I cast a spell, I remove one of the counter dudes, and if all of the counters are gone, it is a creature instead of a land. That's right, Joe. The last time, you played Garrick's Uprising and drew that card, when in reality, you did an illegal move. Now, now, Ben, these eyes are old, and my brain's a little softer than most people's. The hell does that even mean? We all make mistakes since we are uh, all under the thing. It got hot, so I went to the pool and they kept rubbing my legs. Joe, we are not doing that bit again. We have George for that now. Oh, right, I will pass turn. At your end step, Joe, I will sacrifice a vampire to scry. 
I will keep this on top because a vampire died, cruel celebrant will trigger, and blood artist will trigger. I will target you, Joe. Ow. I will draw for turn and tap three to play black market connections. Obama, do you have any explanation on why you are playing such a busted deck right now? Sorry, Ben, but today we are doing things the Obama care style. And that is uh... by slowly killing all of you. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap four to play Atraxa, Praetor's voice. Wow, I suppose that's not busted, Ben. Only I'm allowed to play the best decks here. That's because you're bad. Awesome joke, your holiness. I didn't know Joe was playing fire breathing since he's spitting all of this fire. Fuck you guys. You go up a poison counter, W. And Ben's gotten used to George. I will pass turn. I'll draw for turn, tap one to play a soul ring, and tap two to play Sylvan Scrying. I get to search my library for a land card, show it, and pop it into my hand, then shuffle. I'm getting command tower. I am going to combat and attack Joe with Haka. Damn, well, it looks like I will have to take that then. Epic. Haka goes back to my hand, and I get to scry two. I am sending both of those suckers to the bottom. I will tap two to play Haka again and pass turn. I will draw for turn and wait, Ben, you proliferated, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Your commander gets another slumber counter. It looks like Ben is innovative and resourceful, but so are we. Stop quoting yourself, George. Wow, fuck you, Ben. I will tap five to play Tatyova, Benthic Druid. When a land enters the battlefield under my control, I gain one life and draw a card. I will then play Dreamroot Cascade and Tatyova triggers. I am currently at five slumber counters. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and black market connections will trigger. I will choose sell contraband. I will create a treasure token and lose one life. I will then tap three to play veto. Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Whenever I gain life, target opponent loses that much life. I can also pay five mana to give creatures I control lifelink until end of turn. My commander will trigger and I get a 1-1 vampire. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn. Tap two to play Grateful Apparition. It has flying and whenever this card deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, proliferate. I will then tap three to play Steady Progress. This sorcery allows me to proliferate and draw a card. Damn, these uh, poison counters are a problem. You said it, Big G. I will tap one planes to plow your commander. Phrasing, George. Wow. I guess my commander goes back to the command zone. I will attack Joe with Plague Stinger. I'll take all the pounding. Phrasing, Joe. I will play Concealed Courtyard, and Evolution Sage will cause proliferation. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn. Tap three to play Altar of the Pantheon. My devotion to each color and each combination of colors is increased by one. I can tap it to add one mana of any color. If I control a god, a demigod, or a legendary enchantment, I gain one life. The hell kind of artifact is that? The type of artifact that goes to church, Ben. I don't know. That artifact seems kind of mid. I'll tap four to play a Phara, god of the polis. Uh, it has indestructible, and as long as my uh, commitment to white and blue is less than seven, this isn't a creature. At the beginning of each upkeep, if I had another creature hit the field under my control last turn, I draw a card. I will go to my combat phase and attack Ben with my Haka. Wow, I guess I will take the damage. I'll scry two. This one will go to the bottom and this one will go to the top. Uh, I'll then pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap two to play Ice Fant Kotal. It has flying and flash. When this enters the battlefield, draw a card. This creature also has death touch so long as I control three other snow permanents. L Tribal. This isn't Tribal, Ben. Even I know that. I know, Joe. We just need some Trump in here. I will then tap two to play Growth Spiral. I get to draw a card, and I can put a land card from my hand onto the field. I will then put a snow-covered forest off of Growth Spiral and then play Rhymewood Falls. Tatiova will trigger. I will then foretell a card. I can cast this spell later for its foretell cost. I will pass turn. All right, well, guys, I have a shit ton of triggers I need to get through here, so I apologize in advance. I'm still getting that $20. I will draw for turn, black market connections will trigger, and I will choose sell contraband and get a treasure token. For my land, I will play Sulphurous Springs and sack a treasure to summon my commander. He's got first strike and haste, and whenever this creature attacks, I get to put a 1-1 counter on each vampire I control. Yep, that's busted. Obama over here, uh, doing the pop thing. Popping off W, he's popping off. Wow, George, you are so clueless. Down, boy, down. I will go to combat and attack you, Ben, with my commander. The combat effect will trigger and my vampires get a 1-1 counter. I will just take the damage. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap two to play Eladomri's Call. I get to search my library for a creature card, reveal it, put it in my hand, and shuffle. I got Shalai, Voice of Plenty. I will then play Smothering Tithe. 
Ben hates fun. Shut up, George. Go back to being the king of being a goober. I, I thought I was the king. I will draw for turn and not pay for smothering tithe because that shit's stupid. Fuck you, George. I'll tap three to summon my commander and then tap five to turn it into the prismatic bridge. At the beginning of my upkeep, uh, uh, show cards from the top of my library until I find a creature or planeswalker. I get to pop it on the field and put the rest of the cards on the bottom of my library in any order. I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, not pay smothering tithe. Uh, my Afara triggered. That's cool, W. I will play a Rejuvenating Springs, Tatiova, and Benthic triggers. I will tap three to play Kefnet the Mindful. It is a 5-5 five five with Indestructible. I can't attack or block with it unless I have seven or more cards in my hand. And I can pay four to draw a card and return a land to my hand. I will then tap six to play Spawning Kraken. Whenever a sea critter I control deals combat damage to a player, I get to make a 9-9 blue Kraken token. Will you pay the other smothering tithe trigger? Hell no, I pass turn. I will draw for turn, and black market connections will happen. I will buy information, lose two life, and draw a card. I also won't pay the two mana for either of the smothering tithe triggers. I will play a swamp, tap one to play quag vampires, and kick it twice. I will get a vampire token and attack Ben with my commander. Yeesh. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and I will sacrifice six treasures to resummon my commander. I will pass turn. Uh, I'll draw for turn. Did you pay? No, Ben, fuck you. Prismatic bridge will trigger and I will reveal uh, uh, Xenagos God revels. God, help us. Maybe if you went to church, you wouldn't have that problem. I'll then tap five to summon God Eternal Oketra. When I cast a creature spell, I get to create a 4-4 black zombie warrior token with vigilance. When this card dies or gets put into exile, I may put it into my library third from the top. I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, not pay smothering tithe, and tap five to play Traverse the Outlands. I will search my library for X basic lands where X is the greatest power among creatures I control. I will get nine basic lands and put them on the battlefield tapped. God damn. Holy shit. This is why human beings and fish can coexist peacefully. Is that even related? I think he is referring to the creature that allowed him to get all of those lands. Okay, W, you win this round. Let's fucking go. I will then get 10 Tatyova triggers and I won't pay any of that extra smothering tithe shit. Fuck you, Joe. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, not pay smothering tithe and choose sell contraband. I will then activate Vito's ability and all of my vampires will gain lifelink. I will attack everybody with my boys and girls. And to top it off, I will tap three to play Ambitious Assault which gives all of my creatures plus two plus zero until end of turn. Well, I will block. I wouldn't even try it, Joe. When Obama gains life, he gets to choose an opponent and they lose life equal to what was gained. And statistically speaking, we have a 0% chance of winning after that. Well, damn, that was a great game, Barack. Let's go, I haven't won in quite a while. It feels great. It's too bad that these moments can't last forever. Damn, Obama, that was emotional. Yeah, Obama, that was such an epic sentence. Hey, 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 well done, buddy. It looks like it is time for us to go. Wait, you and Obama are both leaving? Yeah, George, why don't you head upstairs? I need to take a second and talk to these two before I leave. I'll be waiting upstairs, chatting with my other good friend, Michelle. Just hold on there, President. That is responsible for gating the water. Wrong president and wrong controversy, Joe. All right, guys, I will be gone on a business trip. So, Ben, you are in charge of hosting the games here. Wait, what? This is so sudden, Obama. Why haven't you said anything about this sooner? Well, it is pretty private. Uh... Okay, I can do that, I guess. Where are you going? I am going to some place. Some place that I should have returned to a long time ago. Obama's a lizard, Maurice was right. You weren't there for that. Goodbye, guys. Well, that was weird and kind of cringy. Game two? I guess... Oh shit, we should probably go visit Donald soon. This is fucking stupid. At least they gave me one of the nice cells. And that's why they banned me from going to public swimming pools. That story was great and all, Joe, but where the hell is Obama? Shouldn't he be back by now from his business trip? Oh, yeah. And Donald's ass is still in jail. As far as I know, Obama doesn't really leave this house. Hey, guys. Hey, it's Obama's wife. Hi, Mrs. Obama. Are you having a good day today? Not really. Barack still isn't back from his vacation. He didn't even tell me where he was going. Vacation? He said he was going on a business trip. Man can't keep his story straight. 
I'm getting really worried. Can you guys help me out? We need to find out what my husband is doing. He said he would only be gone for a couple days, but it's been a whole week. Don't worry, Mrs. Obama. Let's go search his room and find something that will help us. Obama has some real bangers in his manga collection. There's so many fucking drones in here. Mm, nothing. I have not found anything either. Yeah, nothing from me. Let's keep searching. There's got to be something. I found something. What, what is, is it? it? Mm, wait, it's just some weird card. Huh, it looks cringe. Wait, let me see it. It is a 12 cost 1212 enchantment that says, Free Donald, go to the place where wizards gather and you shall find the truth. Really? That's all it says? I knew we should have checked the kitchen instead. No, Joe. This is Barack telling us what we need to do. Okay, we first need to go meet with Donald and then... Bust him out of there. That sounds incredibly illegal. It's an emergency. I bet Joe can just explain to the police that we need Trump for this. It seems like Obama is in trouble. As much as I would like to go, I feel like I would just get in the way. So take this with you and save my husband. It's a deck box? Do you play magic? I used to, but I beat my husband so bad that I had to stop playing so I wouldn't hurt him anymore. What are we waiting for, Ben? Let's commit a felony. So the plan is, I use my facts and logic to convince the security guard to free Trump, and you stay quiet so you don't mess anything up. But I brought C4 just for this occasion. You fucking have? Never mind, just follow my lead. There you assholes are. How long were you going to keep me waiting? Donald? Where's the security guard? Never mind that. Why is your cell so fucking nice? I don't know if you paid my bond or not, but I'm not leaving. This place is kind of awesome. Wow, look at this little bitch. The fuck did you say, you shithead? I sure bet you like walls now. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. Guys, guys, that's enough. Barack is in trouble and we really need to help him. Only on one condition. What, what is, is it? it? Both of you say that I am the greatest MTG player that has ever existed. Ben, Obama is cool and all, but I don't know if this is worth it. Donald. Anything else? My whole character is based around elitism. You can't make me do this. Oh, yes, I can. You fuckers played a game without me. The least you could do is this. Fuck it. Fine. This is for Obama's safety. I don't like it, but I guess we have to fill Trump's ego. Just like how we filled up his mom from last night. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Joe, that wasn't funny. Fuck you. You are the you greatest, are the MTG, greatest player MTG player to ever, player walk, to the ever earth. walk the earth. That was out of sync as fuck, but it's still music to my ears. Oh, by the way, the security guard is going to be a real pain in the ass. Now, just what are you boys doing? Fuck! Holy shit, is that Chuck Norris? The hell is a Chuck Norris? I see you boys are trying to break your friend out of here. Please leave both of you or else I will have to use force. Wait, we really need Donald to... Uh, fuck! I just realized my facts and logic have no facts. I can't prove that Obama's been kidnapped. We need old bitch boy fuck over off, here to help Joe. save our friend. Well, how about this? You three will fight your way out. Well, Obama's screwed. Shit! I only did one year of Taekwondo as a kid. Don't worry, guys, I got this. In a game of magic. You're fucked. You will never beat me. Perfect. I brought my magic decks just in case. Huh, weird. I brought mine as well. What are we waiting for? Let's pull up a table and get started. Are we ready, boys? We are not boys. We are, uh, political figures. He has a point. Guys, I wouldn't fuck with Chuck. There are some crazy stories about him. Now, now, Donald. There is no need to- Fuck you, Donald. You're just trying to get his favor. Like I said, bitch boy. Fuck you guys. You two aren't the ones that are still stuck in this cell. Chuck, what are those big cards on the table? No way. Are we playing arch enemy? We are playing arch enemy. I thought if you three team up against me, you would have a better chance at beating me. Team up with Sleepy Joe. Yeah, fucking right. I can't team up with someone who is that orange. Guys, let's all put our differences aside. Obama isn't here to keep us from fighting. So statistically speaking, we need to take responsibility and work together to save him. Let's extort Obama for money after all of this is over. I like the head on this fella. Welp, I'm glad you all got that sorted out since we are playing arch enemy. I will go first. Yep, that's what the rules are. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap one to play a soul ring. Fucking cheater. He's just awesome. Ben's right, he's just scared to lose. Did you say something, guys? No, no dad. dad. What in the fuck? I will tap two to play Talisman of Progress, and then tap it for blue, which will deal one damage to me to play Brainstorm. I will draw three cards, and put two cards from my hand on the top of my deck. I will end my turn. Okay, guys, since we all go at once, let's take turns describing what each of us have done on our turn. Let's start with Joe. I will draw for turn, play a forest, and I am done. I will draw for turn, play a Cavern of Souls. 
I will name slivers and finish my turn. I'll draw for turn, play a forest and pass turn. I will draw for turn and now reveal the top card of my scheme deck. Oh shit, here we go. This man's gonna pulverize us. What the hell are scheme cards? Scheme cards are only used in Arch Enemy. And once during the opponent's pre-combat main phase, they reveal the top card of their scheme deck and set that scheme in motion. Those cards have effects that benefit the Arch Enemy whilst increasing our probability of losing. Did you get that, Joe? Only three of it. This card is a display of my dark power. Until my next turn, whenever a player taps a land for mana, that player adds one mana to their mana pool of any type that land produced. Wow, Chuck is so good at this game, he is giving us an advantage to make it more interesting. Donald's orange nose is now brown. That's fucking gross, Ben. I will play a planes and tap three to play Frantic Search. I get to draw two cards and then discard two cards. I also get to untap up to three lands. I will then tap three to summon my commander. Wow, Chun-Li, trash commander. L take, it perfectly suits him. Oh, Lord almighty, where do I get one of those cards with shoddy on the front? But Joe, Joe, what the hell? Now it's is sold not out the time. currently. Chun-Li has multi-kicker. When this card hits the field, exile up to X target instant cards from my graveyard, where X is the number of times Chun-Li was kicked. And then I put a kick counter on each of them. When this card attacks, copy each exile card you own with a kick counter on it. I then have the option to cast the copies. I will exile three cards in my graveyard, tap one to play Esper Sentinel, and pass turn. All right, guys, we are up. I will draw for turn, play a swamp, and tap three to play Kodama's Reach. Are you going to pay the Esper Sentinel cost? Yes. I can search my library for two basic lands, put one on the field tapped and the other in my hand. I will go get two swamps and pass it to Ben. I will draw for turn, play Breeding Pool, and pay two life so it comes Try in hard. untapped. Donald, whose team are you on? The one who's going to win. Ben, he has a change of heart. He's on our side now. Joe's ignorance might make this show a lot shorter than expected. Don't worry, Ben. I understand I'm a pretty humble guy. Preach, brother. Anyway, I will tap two to play Mana Weft Sliver. This gives all of my slivers the ability to tap for mana. I will then tap two to play Dark Heart Sliver. All of my slivers can now be sacrificed, and I can gain three life. I pass turn. I'll draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap two to play Inquisitor's Flail. It is an equipment, and if equipped creature deals combat damage, it deals double that damage instead. If another creature would deal combat damage to equipped creature, it deals double that damage to equipped creature instead. I'm also not paying the Esper Sentinel cost. I'll also play Strionic Resonator. I can pay two and tap this artifact to copy target triggered ability I control, and I can choose new targets for its copy. I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn and reveal the top card of my scheme card deck. It is, your fate is thrice sealed. When I set the scheme into motion, reveal the top three cards of my library. Put all land cards revealed this way onto the battlefield and the rest into my hand. Holy shit, that's really good. I don't know, Ben. I think it's really his commander that is um, pulling through here. Mommy Lee. It's Chun Lee Joe. Chun Lee. Right, right. I will get a planes and tap four to play Sentinel Tower. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell during my turn, this card deals one damage equal to one plus the number of instant and sorcery spells casted before that spell this turn. I will then go to combat. Oh, come on, Chuck. There's no reason to attack us. Well, what I usually say here is I don't initiate violence. I retaliate. Excuse me? Logically speaking, you are initiating violence. Shut the fuck up, Ben. You're being annoying. What? How am I? What? I'm going to swing my commander at you, Joe. I would take that all fucking day. Jesus Christ, this man is down horrendous. I think I agree with you for once. You will go down three life and get three commander damage. I will now cast Frantic Search, Brainstorm, and Soul Partition. I will exile Donald's Flail and Sentinel Tower will trigger. I choose one damage to Joe, two damage to Ben, and three damage to Donald. I will pass turn. Guys, this is bad. He can do a ton of damage with his board state. I just noticed that Chun-Li has multi-kicker and her whole thing is she kicks multiple times. Oh, I didn't, wow, I didn't know that. that How funny. That is Good eye, funny. Donald. I bet that's not the only thing she... Joe, we are not doing that joke. That is very vulgar. I mean, sh she is kind of bad, though. Ben, I think we are surrounded. That's funny coming from you, Mr. Hush Money. Fuck Obama, this shit's too much work. Yeah, yeah, you're just mad Ben actually made a good joke. I will draw for turn, play a swamp, and tap three to summon my commander. You all know about this little guy, but if you haven't, it has forest walk, and I can make double the amount of tokens, but instead of those being copies, they are just 1-1 one -one squirrels. 
He also has an ability where I can pay one swamp and sack creatures and give a target creature plus X minus X until end of turn. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a swamp, and tap three to summon Blur Sliver. This gives all of my slivers haste. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and God damn it, I will play a mountain and pass turn. Don't worry, Donald, you will pop off soon. Oh, thanks, Joe. That means a lot. The fuck is that deck worth anyway? $200? Fuck off, Joe. This is the only deck they had for me in these prison cells. They have MTG decks in prison? I will draw for turn and do that six scheme deck reveal. I will use drench the soil in their blood. After this main phase, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Creatures I control gain vigilance until end of turn. I will play a command tower and then, what the hell is that noise? Yeah, what is that? Joe, what the fuck are you doing? I was trying to play snake on this and accidentally put in the code and now it's starting to beep. What started to beep? Joe, you need fuck. to turn that thing off right now. I am trying. That is, is going up in flames and what the hell is wrong okay, with you ben. two? Now let's see, it should be this. Thank God, Joe, give me that. Okay, sorry, Benny. Uh, anyway, I will tap four to play Grand Arbiter Augustine four. White spells cost one less to cast, Blue spells cost one less to cast, and spells my opponents cast cost one more to cast. I will go to combat and attack Donald with my commander. I don't know why you are attacking me. Those two tried to blow us up. That implies there's a chance I could have gotten hurt. Good point. I will take three damage. My commander will trigger, and I will cast Frantic Search, Brainstorm, and Soul Partition again. With Soul Partition, I will target Ben's Dark Heart Sliver this time. Damn! Sentinel Tower will trigger, and I will deal one damage to Donald, two damage to Joe, and three damage to Ben. I will tap one to play Blind Obedience. Artifacts and creatures my opponents control enter and tapped, and I will go to my next combat phase and attack Donald again with my commander. Same thing as last time, buddy. I will only be able to cast Brainstorm. Sentinel Tower will trigger again, and I will deal four damage to Ben. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a swamp, and tap four to play parallel lives. If an effect would put one or more tokens on the battlefield, it puts twice as many instead. I will pass it over to Ben. Damn, Joe, that's a pretty good enchantment. I only hope to see my cute little troopers conquering the board soon. I will draw for turn, play unclaimed territory, and choose slivers. I will then tap five to summon my commander. It is a 7-7, and I can pay two and put a sliver into play. It is a 1-1 colorless token. I will pass it to Donald. I will draw for turn. Play a forest and pass. Jesus, Donald, fucking do something. I would love to, but someone didn't even bring my decks. You refused to play what I offered you. That's because your decks are garbage. It's okay, Ben. Donald was going to the psychiatric ward anyway. Fuck off, Sleepy Joe. I will draw for turn and reveal the scheme card. Your puny minds cannot fathom. This allows me to draw four cards, and I have no maximum hand size until my next turn. I will play a planes and tap three to play Ursa, Lord Protector. Artifact, instant, and sorcery spells cost one less to cast. I can pay seven. If I control Urza, might stone and weak stone, exile them. Then I meld them into Urza Planeswalker. I can activate only as a sorcery. I will go to combat and attack Donald with my commander. Still a true American. My three spells will cast, and I will exile parallel lives. Shit. I will tap two to play Faithful Mending. I gain two life and draw two cards then discard two cards. I will then tap one to play Thought Scour. Target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Then I draw a card. I target myself. I will also tap one to play Leap, and I will give my commander flying and draw a card. I will then tap one to play Brain Freeze. Target player puts top three cards from their library to their graveyard, and it also has Storm where I can copy it for each time I casted a spell before this one this turn. I can choose new targets for its copy. I am very lost. Yeah, how many fucking spells has this man played? In short, he's going to do a ton of damage. I also feel like he might have forgotten some of his mana discounts, but it's no big deal. I will target all three of you for its storm copies. Sentinel Tower will trigger, and I will give damage out to you guys. Bring it. Please don't. Anything, my lord? One damage to Donald, two to Ben, three to Joe, four to Joe, five to Donald, seven to Joe. I will pass turn. I get the feeling you don't like me. Actually, I greatly respect you as an opponent, Joe. Well, damn, this guy's kind of cool. Is there anyone here that wants to even rescue Obama? I will draw for turn, play a Cabal Coffers, and tap two to tap that land to float four black mana. I will tap three to play Croissant Grip and target Chuck's Blind Obedience. I will then tap three to summon Ruthless Knave. 
I can pay three to sack a creature and create two treasure tokens. I will also tap two to play Verdant Command and create four tapped green troopers. I also get four more thanks to my commander. Oh shit, I think I have an infinite combo. What? No fucking way. Wow, Joe. Way to go. I will use Ruthless Knave's ability to sack a squirrel and get two treasure tokens. But since one or more tokens were created on my turn, I get to make that many squirrel tokens. I now have two treasure tokens and two squirrels. I will sack the treasure tokens and... Damn it, I don't have enough mana to make that work. Not to mention, I forgot that spells are more expensive because of Chuck's Augustine. Wait, Joe, let me do something real quick. Go for it. Let's say instead I do my stuff first before Joe and Trump play their spells. That's perfectly fine with me. I will draw for turn and tap one to play swords to plowshare and target Chuck's Augustine. I will then tap three to play Hearthstone. The cost of each creature's ability now costs one less colorless to activate. Now give it a shot, Joe. I have what I need. I can now sacrifice one squirrel to get two treasure tokens and two squirrels. If I keep on repeating this, I get infinite squirrels. I also have an infinite combo. I wish I could do something cool. My slivers have haste, and they can tap for one mana. I will pay one mana to create a 1-1 one, one sliver, tap it for mana, and repeat this cycle infinitely. Let's fucking go. Fuck yeah, I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap three to play mana flare. Whenever a player taps a land, it produces one additional mana of the same type. I will end my turn. Well, guys, this sure isn't looking good for me. Two of you have infinite creatures, while one is there for emotional support. Fuck you guys for not bringing Tivit. I will draw for turn. Reveal the scheme card. It is evil comes to fruition. Put 701 green plant tokens onto the battlefield. If I control 10 or more lands, they are instead 3-3 three, three elementals. I'll tap 2 to play Fabricate and get Aetherflux Reservoir. I will then tap three to play that card. Whenever I cast a spell, I gain one life for each spell I have cast this turn. I can also pay 50 life to deal 50 damage to any target. Shit, guys. This might be bad. This is going to be awesome. I think it's almost time for a nap. I will tap three to play fact or fiction, take the top five cards of my library, give them to an opponent, and that opponent separates them into two piles. I put one pile in my hand and the other in my graveyard. Here you go, Donald. Hold on, Donald. Let me see. No, Ben, I got this. Here you go. Donald is so out of character right now. He probably has a celebrity crush on Chuck. I will then tap one to play rapid hybridization and target Ben's commander. He gets a 3-3 frog lizard token. I will play flawless maneuver and my creatures gain indestructible. I will also play submerge and target Joe's commander. I'll pay one to play snap and return ruthless knave to your hand, Joe. Play consider and shadow rift targeting my commander. Holy fucking shit, that was so many spells. This is bad. Aetherflux's trigger is going to be huge. Aetherflux triggers, and I will gain 35 life. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Sentinel Tower will trigger. I will focus all the damage on Joe, which will kill him, and I will pay 50 life to do 50 damage to Ben, and then another 50 life to... Oh, hold on, fellas. I need to answer this. Hello? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I'm on guard duty. Uh, wait, Bruce Lee, he's back. Shit, hang on. Sorry, guys, but I need to go, so see you later. Oh, shit, holy fuck, what was that? Well, the stories about Chuck are true. Did we win? Uh, you better believe I did. He was so scared to get mauled by my squirrels, he ran away. Shit, well, now what? The guard is gone. So how the hell will we unlock this cell? Well, we still have C4. I guess we logically have no choice. Maybe they won't hear it. Well, Donald, why don't you stand in that corner, away from the bars? Gotcha. I would like to not be exploded. Are we ready, guys? Yeah. All right. Three, two. It looks like the Trumpster is back. Sadly. Fuck you, Joe. What are we waiting for? Let's go find Obama. Great job today, guys. Let's go solve this. How soon will it be ready, George? Soon, Barack. We need more time. It's currently really weak right now. If we push it, we could cause a major catastro, uh, issue America. Uh, I see. I guess I will wait. I hope the guys are doing all right. What are you going to do if they come looking for you? Well, we might just need for them to do the dirty work for us. Otherwise, things could get a little... magical. All right, guys, a place where wizards gather, where could that be? A swimming pool. 
No, that doesn't feel wizardy. The stock market. I'm unsure if that's a place, Donald. Well, that's the best I got. You said it. I'm all out of opinions. Damn it. Logically speaking, we live in the lamest city on the planet, so there are no castles or ancient magical places around. So where could be a place where wizards gather? <laughs> Fuck off, Donald. Whoever threw that paper at me, your mom's a... Oh, wait a second. This paper looks important. How the fuck does the door even blow open? We are inside the house. Like, that doesn't even make sense. I think it is hilarious that Joe got hit in the face with paper. Shut up, Donald. You're awfully happy for such stormy weather outside. Does that sound familiar? Stormy? Fuck you, Joe. You just made it personal now. Fight me in a game of magic. Wait, guys. Let me read that paper. Let's see. Come sign up for your local MTG tournament. A place where wizards gather. An MTG tournament. Of course Obama would be there. Let's go and maybe we can find him there. Let me look at that paper. You always gotta look at the fine print. I'm surprised you can see the fine print, old ass. Oh, I didn't read too far into it. Let's see. Wait a minute. Did you see the tournament prize? It says, first place winner of the tournament will receive $50 and any wish they have ever wanted in life granted. No way. Holy shit. I know, guys. $50 is great for investing. No, the wish thing. It's really sus. We have to go to this tournament now. I don't know, Ben. You could buy one of the new March of the Machines Commander decks for $50. That's not important right now. Let's get moving. Man, that was pretty easy. Who knew signing up for tournaments was so simple? Yeah, that was surprisingly quick. We got pretty lucky thanks to the storm. Otherwise, we would have missed out on this. Obama isn't here, guys. I knew we should have checked that ancient Nordic dungeon that is five blocks from here. I bet his bitch ass is hiding from us. Let's go look at the brackets and see who goes first. I am going to win this tournament harder than when I won the presidential election. I'm going to win this tournament harder than when I beat Donnie during the presidential election. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. I get the feeling people vote for me more than they vote for anyone else, like 46% more. YouTube polls are rigged as fuck. Guys, let's focus up. Here's the plan. All right, I'm listening. Did you guys know that horseshoe crabs predate dinosaurs? That's cool, Joe. Anyway, one of us needs to win this tournament. We are basically a team of three, so if we get matched up with each other, one of us just needs to throw the match and we will be fine for the next round. If I get paired against Joe, I ain't throwing shit. I'm not about to lose to a man who looks like he fell from a tree. Whatever, just one of you win. The best case scenario is we each get a match so we can gauge what kind of decks our opponents are running. Oh, here's the brackets. Let's see. Biden versus Rogan. No fucking way. I know, there's no way he's here. Who? Who's here? Have you ever heard of Joe Rogan? I listen to his podcast every day. He uh, talks about monkeys and shit. It's great. I was on there once. Huh, sounds fucking lame and cringe. Holy shit, the U.S. presidents and Ben. Holy shit, Joe Rogan. Are these two really fangirling over each other? It's been a while, Joe. How are you? Good. Good. I guess I will start using last names then. I just came over here to see the brackets. I play a fuck ton of magic, so I should be able to stomp this pussy. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. I know, that is pretty funny. Fuck off, guys. Oh, I play against Biden. Well, good luck to you. May the best man win. Yeah, may the, uh, man do the thing. I... Damn it, this is fucked up, guys. Just beat his ass, Joe. Yeah, Joe, we need to save Obama, so let's do what's necessary. It's fucked up because this man is going to get negged. Atta boy. Let's fucking go. It looks like Donald has Kennedy. I wonder who that could be. Wouldn't it be wild if it was the original JFK? That's impossible, Donald. The only way you could play against JFK is if he was resurrected or something. There's just no way that could happen. I don't know, Ben. You clearly don't go to church. Unrelated? It looks like I have somebody named Carlson. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Maybe I will get to meet him soon. Joe Biden and Joe Rogan, please report to the ring. Joe Biden and Joe Rogan, please report to the ring. Ring? What ring? The fuck is that person talking about? I think they mean that ring. The fuck? Holy shit, what kind of MTG tournament did we go to? Don't worry, guys. There's a table in the middle of the ring. Oh, I see it now. This setup is just really over the top and weird. Oh, well, another way for me to get more famous. All right, Joe, you have your MTG deck? Yep. I brought five, just to be sure. What deck are you running? You will see Donald. Fair enough. This is it, Joe. Good luck, and let's get that W. Hey, Joe. Oh, hey, Chuck. Oh, my God, Chuck Norris is back. Oh, shit. Donald Hyde. He might drag your ass back to prison. I'm here. Holy shit, it's Chuck Norris. Hey, other Joe. All right, boys, do you two have your decks? Yep. Yep. 
All right, let's pull up chairs and get started. Oh, wait. All right, everyone, please be quiet. This man strikes primal fear in everyone, I guess. I think it's admiration. Now we can get started. Is everyone ready? Let's fucking rumble. Since we are in front of a massive crowd of people, I think we should discuss with Joe about his political goals. Sorry, Rogan, but that's not why we are here. Are you done shuffling? Oh yeah, let's do this shit. All right, I am both the judge and referee for these matches, so I will be keeping a close eye on everyone. Now I will flip a coin, heads for Biden, and tails for Rogan. It looks like Rogan will go first. That coin is fucking rigged. Hush, Donald, that man will beat your ass. I will play a war room and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap one to play weathered wayfarer. I can pay one planes and tap this creature to search my library for a planes, reveal it, put it into my hand, and shuffle. I can only use that ability if my opponent controls more lands than me. I pass turn. So you're playing a soldier deck? That's right. I will be sacrificing my soldiers again to uh, win the thing. Joe, you dumbass, don't tell him your strategy. Statistically speaking, that's the second time he's made this joke. While we are on this topic, how do you feel about sacrificing your soldiers? He's stalling. Fucking staller. Calm down, guys. It's your turn, Rogan. I will draw for turn, play a Mossfire Valley, and tap two to play Sylvan Library. It is an enchantment. And at the beginning of my draw step, I may draw two additional cards. If I do, I have to choose two cards in my hand that were drawn this turn. For each of those cards, I can either pay four life each to keep them or put them on the top of my library. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play Castle Ardenvale, and tap two to play an Arcane Signet. I will pass turn. Okay, so far Joe hasn't died yet, which is good. I'm surprised you said that, Donald. Not that I am worried about him or anything. I, I was just commentating. I will draw for turn and Sylvan Library will trigger. I will draw an additional two cards and put two on the top of my library. I'll play a mountain and tap three to summon my commander. I can tap my Kibo to make each player create a colorless artifact token that is named Banana. Bananas can be sacrificed to add red or green mana and gain two life. Whenever an opponent puts an artifact into a graveyard from the battlefield, I put a 1-1 counter on each monkey or ape I control. And when this card attacks, the defending player sacrifices an artifact. I will pass turn. Wow, he really is running a monkey tribal then. What a weird fucking tribal. No one would ever want to play such an L deck. Holy fucking shit, I really want a monkey ape tribal deck. Those little guys look so fun and epic. What the hell, Joe? I will draw for turn play a myriad landscape and tap three to play Archaeomancer's map. When this card hits the field, I can search for two planes, put them into my hand and shuffle. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, I get to play a land from my hand onto the field. I will pass turn. You know, this really brings me to discuss another part of evolution. I mean, isn't it crazy we came from monkeys? Young man, you need to go to church. I think you are misinformed. I can't tell if Rogan is baiting him into getting distracted. Or if he thinks he's running his podcast right now. This shit's weird. The judge needs to stop him. All right, Joe, let's keep the match going. Gotcha. Shit, I forgot. I will draw for turn. Sylvan Library will trigger, and I will put two cards back. I will tap my commander so everyone gets bananas. You don't know how much this means to me. I will tap three to play Rhythm of the Wild. Creature spells I control can't be countered, and non-token creatures I control enter the battlefield with my choice of a 1-1 counter or haste. I will sacrifice a banana, which will let me gain two life, to play Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer. When this card deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token and exile the top card of that player's library. Until end of turn, I may cast that card. Rhythm of the Wild will trigger, and I will put a 1-1 counter on that creature and pass turn. Damn, those are some really good cards. It's good Joe isn't running any counter spells in his deck, otherwise that enchantment kind of shuts that shit down. Shows you how shit counterspell decks are. Fuck off, Donald. Counterspell decks are still good. You just need enchantment removal. Sounds like a bunch of coping to me. I will draw for turn, play a planes, tap five, and sadly sacrifice my banana, which will gain me two health to play Elspeth's son's champion. Now that sounds really good. It absolutely is, Donald. Our Joe can start getting soldiers out there. Rogan's commander's ability will trigger since your artifact went to the graveyard. I will plus one my planeswalker and gain three one-one soldiers. After that, I pass turn. 
I will draw for turn, my trigger will happen, I will put two cards back and put one card on the top of my library, I will then tap my commander and tap three and sack a banana to play Red Sun's Twilight. I get to destroy up to X target artifacts. I can only put in two mana, so I will destroy two of Joe's artifacts, which would be Arcane Signet and his whatever map. Shit, losing Arcane Signet is bad. Don't worry, Ben. I bet Joe will find some weird way to work with that. Damn, losing my arcane signet is bad, but I think I have a weird way to work with that. Kibo will trigger twice, and I will put 1-1 one, one counters on my monkeys. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a planes, tap five, and sacrifice a banana to summon my commander. You guys have seen this shit before. Anytime I am dealt damage, I get to create 1-1 one, one soldiers equal to the amount of damage that was dealt. I will then plus one my planes walker and pass turn. Once again, Rogan's commander will trigger, and he will distribute 1-1 one, one counters. I will draw for turn. My trigger happens again, but this time I will pay eight life to keep the two cards. That's not good. His ass could be bluffing, Ben. I guess. Did you know I was on this man's podcast? Yep, you said that. He would never shut the fuck up about elk meat, mushrooms, weed. We get it, Ben. That was the only time you ever got famous. I will tap Kibo to make bananas, play a forest, and tap three to play Sword of Truth and Justice. It is an artifact equipment that gives my creature plus two plus two. It also gives my creature protection from white and blue. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, I get to put a 1-1 counter on that creature and then proliferate. I will pay two to equip my artifact to Ragvan. I will go to combat and attack your planeswalker with Ragvan. I can't block it since it has protection from white, so I will have to let my Elspeth die. I will pass turn. This isn't looking good, Donald. Rogan's board seems to be popping off. Come on, Joe, get his ass. I will draw for turn, tap one to play Skull Clamp, and tap one to equip it to a soldier. Whenever the equipped creature dies, I get to draw two cards. I will equip this artifact to another soldier to draw two more cards. I will tap one to play Soul Warden. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, I gain one life. I will also tap one to play Soul's Attendant, which does the same thing as the last card. I will tap one and sack a banana to play Ankh of Mishra whenever a player puts a land into play. This card deals two damage to that player. I will play Windbrisk Heights, and Ankh of Mishra will deal two damage to me, but my commander will allow me to make two 1-1 one, one soldiers. Solid play, Joe. I would have done better, but that was pretty good. Hideaway will take effect, and I will exile the top card of my library. Since two soldiers entered the battlefield and Soul Warden was played before Soul Attendant, I will gain five more life. I will then pass turn. I will draw for turn, that Sylvan thing will happen, and I will put two cards back. I will tap Kibo, and then tap four to play Jolene, the Plunder Queen. Whenever a player attacks one or more of your opponents, that player creates a treasure token. If I would create one or more treasure tokens, I create an additional one. I can then sacrifice five treasure tokens to put a 1-1 one, one counter on this creature. I will then go to combat and attack you with my Ragvan, which is a 10-9 that has protection from white. You need to put your 1-1 one, one counters on your monkeys from last turn. Oh shit, that's right. Jolene will also trigger and I get two treasure tokens. I will take 10 damage. This is getting bad. I guess if worse comes to worse, Joe losing would just leave us out one team member. Don't say that, Ben. Joey is gonna win. Okay, okay. Sorry I said anything. Ragvan will trigger because of the combat damage. I will create two more treasure tokens and exile the top card of your library. Huh, I will not play that card. Now hang on just a minute there, Buster. Oh right, since Joe took damage, he gets to make soldiers equal to the amount of damage he took, which in this case is 10. Oh, I see. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Oh yes, it does, because my soul warden and attendant also triggers. Holy fuck, I totally forgot about those. Not going to lie, I almost did too. Well, Sword of Truth and Justice will trigger, and I will put a 1-1 one, one counter on Jolene and then proliferate. I pass turn. I will draw for turn, equip Skull Clamp to two soldiers, and draw four cards. I will then tap three to play Welcoming Vampire. Whenever a creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under my control, I get to draw a card, but this effect can only happen once each turn. I will then play a Plains, and my artifact will deal two damage to me, but my Soul Warden and Attendant will trigger, gaining me four life. Finally, my Welcoming Vampire will trigger, and I get to draw a card. I will then attack with 14 of my soldiers. I will block one of those soldiers with Jolene. After that, I will pass turn. Well, damn, Donald, for the first time ever, I might be wrong about something. Shut up, Ben. You keep on disrupting everyone's focus on the match. Right, right, sorry. I will draw for turn. Sylvan Library exists. And I will keep one card by paying four life, while the other one will go back to the top of my library. I will tap Kibo and sacrifice two of my banana tokens, which gains me four life, 
while also tapping four to play Mycosynth Lattice. All permanents are now artifacts in addition to their other types. All cards that are not on the battlefield, spells and permanents are colorless and players may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. Uh, that kind of sounds fucking awesome. No Biden, this is bad. Keep it down, you don't want to disrupt the game. That's what I've been saying. I will attack you with Jolene. I will not block and get five soldiers while also gaining 10 life, along with drawing a card thanks to my welcoming vampire. Shit, that's a lot of triggers. I will gain two more treasure tokens and sacrifice all six of those to summon Hellkite Tyrant. It is a 6-5 with flying and trample, and when this creature deals combat damage to a player, gain control of all artifacts that player controls. At the beginning of my upkeep, if I control 20 or more artifacts, I win the game. I pass turn. Holy fuck. If Joe doesn't get rid of that dragon, he's gonna lose. Now look who's disrupting the game. That voice. I have heard it from somewhere. Shit, I will stay quiet. I will draw for turn, play a planes, get two damage, make two soldiers, get four health, and then draw a card. I will tap one to equip Skull Clamp to a soldier to draw two more cards. I will then tap three to play Halo Fountain, and then tap three to play Blasting Station. Do you guys know what happens next? Wait a minute, is this a... Infinite combo? Yes, this shit is. I will tap Blasting Station to sacrifice a soldier and deal one damage to me. Since one damage was dealt to me, I get to create a soldier. Two life is gained from this, and I get to untap Blasting Station since a creature enters the battlefield. So, uh, infinite life then? Yes, I will attack you with 21-1 soldiers. I will block with Ragavan and Hellkite Tyrant. I will tap Windbrisk Heights to cast swords to plowshare targeting your Hellkite Tyrant before you block with it. I will go down 19 life. I will pass turn. Hold on, guys. Your soldiers are artifacts in addition to their other types and Rogan's commander triggers. When an artifact card is put into a graveyard, each of his monkeys get a 1-1 counter. So his monkeys should be plus infinity plus infinity. Tokens still go to the graveyard. Well, damn, that's no good. Wait, that's good. I don't understand how this could be good, Ben. Whenever Joe takes any damage, he gets to make that many soldiers. And when that many soldiers enter the battlefield, he gains that much life. Holy fucking shit, I think Joe won. Although Joe did blunder by not using Halo Fountain, this might still make Rogan give up. I will draw for turn, and hmm, if I attack you, crazy bad shit is going to happen. I will concede. Let's fucking go. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. I mean, let's go, Joe. Well, man, it was a great game. I'm kind of bummed I lost, but whatever. It was an honor to lose to such an amazing opponent. Oh, shit. Are you all right, Biden? Sorry, we will get him out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I remember you guys. Shit, look, I... It's all water under the bridge, guys. Let's forget about that crap and focus on having a great tournament. Thank you so much, Chuck. It means a lot to us. Don't mention it. Just get ready for when you guys are called in here. Well, that was fucking insane. Yeah, I was very uninvested. What a waste of time. Whatever, Donald, after the next two are done, you are up next. Are you ready? You better believe it. I'm going to send this fucker to his grave. That might be too far, Donald. Anyway, do you want to go get some snacks? Yeah, it's been a while since I last had McDonald's. I've got bad news, George. Shit, what is it? The boys are here. They must have figured out where I am. I wonder how. Whatever, they can't stop us now. We are deep in this process. Oh, yeah. At the rate this is going, I might finally get some closure on this. That's right, Barack. That's right. I forgot to mention something. What is it? Just make sure to make your lies better. Mm. Joe! Hmm. I am getting close. Who is that? Joe! I like sleep. Who the hell is that? Why does he sound so... Joe, wake the fuck up! Oh, hi, Donald. Damn, Joe, you were completely out. I didn't know you got so tired from playing Magic. When I play seriously, it makes me more tired. We don't call you Sleepy Joe for nothing. Fuck off, Donald. That was the best Magic game you ever watched. I guarantee, uh, confirm it. Logically speaking, Rogan definitely could have won if he had re-equipped his Sword of Truth and Justice to his commander and then attacked, or if he had given his dragon haste with his enchantment, or... Whatever. You still won, and that's all that matters. He was just too pussy to win. Wait a minute. Is Donald really eating McDonald's? No! We need to keep our energy up for our upcoming matches. Sanders and Ninja are currently playing. Did you get to see what decks they're running? 
Well, I didn't quite understand Sanders, but Ninja is running Gruel Werewolves and greatly fucking it up. I'm surprised it's still going. What a dumbass. Be nice, guys. I bet there's just something missing in his brain. That's besides the point. I didn't get a good look at Sanders either, so I have no fucking clue who it is. Let's go look at the brackets again. There I am, advancing to the next round. Wait a minute. Sanders versus Ninja isn't over. Why is Sanders already advancing? That is fucking hilarious. That's just screwed up. Anyway, Donald, you're up next. Oh yeah, I'm gonna win this fucking game so hard my opponent will wish he was deported. Don't even finish that joke, Donald. I thought it was kind of funny. Donald Trump and JFK, please report to the ring. Donald Trump and JFK, please report to the ring. Oh shit, come on guys. Do you have your deck, Donald? 100%. You better not be running walls. You better believe your small sweaty brain I am. Donald, are you fucking kidding? That deck is straight garbage. Oh, really? You haven't seen how much I've upgraded it? Just watch. I'm here, bitches. Hi, Donald. Are you ready? Absolutely. I don't see my opponent. Did he run away? Nope. I'm here. What the fuck? Excuse me? Human mole. That's John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Who the fuck is that? He's one of the presidents, but he should be dead. Yep. I got resurrected. I was also told I needed to stop you guys. Stop us? Who told you that? I... Uh, uh, can't remember. I was just brought back and told to beat you guys in the tournament. Well, that's not gonna happen. Because I'm gonna place first in this bitch. You're on, motherfucker. Let's rumble. All right, let's get started. Are you guys ready? Let's get this shit. I'm gonna fuck this bitch up. Come on, guys. Let's be a bit more respectful. I'll start with a coin flip. Hold on. All right, everyone. Please quiet down. Yep, we've seen this trick. Pretty sick, not gonna lie. All right, let's flip a coin. Heads for Trump and tails for Kennedy. Trump will go first. I will play a planes and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a watery grave and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a wooded bastion and tap two to play overgrown battlement. This creature is a wall, a motherfucking kick-ass majestic wall. The fuck is your deal with walls? You have a thing for them? Oh shit, that's right. JFK has been dead for a while, so he doesn't know about all of the Donald memes. Can I go down there and show them a couple of memes? I think they are pretty goofy. Don't, Joe. Let's avoid getting Donald disqualified. Wait a minute. These memes are about me falling asleep. This shit's stupid. It is a 0-4 defender, and I can tap to add green to my mana pool for each creature with defender I control. I pass turn. I draw for turn. Play a swamp and pass turn. I will draw for turn. Play an island and tap four to summon my commander. It is a 3-5 with flying and vigilance, and whenever a creature with defender ETBs under my control... The fuck is ETB? ...enters the battlefield. I draw a card. Each creature I control with defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power, and can attack as though it didn't have defender. I pass turn. This wall deck looks very mid. Fuck off, JFK. This deck is gonna blow your mind. Judge! That's a sensitive topic. Get him in trouble! While that was Goofy Donald, please refrain from making those jokes. Not what I was going for, but that shit is pretty goofy. I will draw for turn, play a swamp, and tap one to play Stitcher's Supplier. When this card ETBs or dies, put the top three cards of my library into the graveyard. I pass turn. I will draw for turn, tap two to play Wall of Omens. When it ETBs, I draw a card, and because of arcades, I get to draw an additional card. I will then tap three to summon Carbon Carry added. And when this ETBs, I draw a card, and since it has Defender, I get to draw another card. Lastly, I will play a planes and pass turn. This bitch needs so much Mad card draw, bad. so LDAC, bad at MTG. Oh, Guys, please settle down, otherwise I will start issuing warnings. Donald is doing great, but if he keeps this up, they both might get kicked out. This JFK guy is mean, I don't like him. Wait a minute, what if JFK is trying to get him disqualified? Why would he be trying to do that? I didn't catch what Trump and him were talking about at the beginning of the match, but JFK coming back from the dead, wish granting as the prize. $50, it's starting to add up. Yes, Joe, there's something- Obama is secretly a hot tub Twitch streamer. Logically speaking, you are quite fucking wrong. I will draw for turn, play a Phyrexian tower, and tap four to play Undead War Chief. It is a zombie where it reduces zombie creature spell cost by one, and zombies I control get plus two plus one. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap two to play. Hold on. What? Can't read it? No, this card has a weird ass name. Flump. The fuck is its name? He said, and I quote, Flump. It's fucking name is Flump. 
Joe. <laughs> Joe, chill out. It's not that funny. All right, sorry. Bro is playing the fucking weirdest deck in MTG. Fuck you, JFK. It's just one weirdly named card in this deck. Its effects are completely normal, too. Anyway, it is a 0-4 with Defender and Flying. Whenever this card is dealt damage, we both draw a card. I will then tap two to play Wall of Mulch. I can pay one green to sack a wall and draw a card. I'm going to tap my overgrown battlement to float six mana. I will use two of that mana to play Gate Creeper Vine. When it ETBs, I can search my library for a land or gate card, reveal it, put it in my hand, and then shuffle. Fucking bullshit, Gate Tutor. Keep crying, I'm just getting a Mystic Gate. Last but not least, I will tap two to play Fortified Rampart. It is just a 0-6 with Defender. Arcades will let me draw four cards, and I pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an Unholy Grotto, and tap four to summon my commander. When this card ETBs, put the top four cards from my library into my graveyard. During each of my turns, I may cast a zombie creature card from my graveyard. I will tap my Phyrexian Tower to sacrifice Stitcher's Supplier to float two black mana. I will use that mana to play Phyrexian Ghoul. I can sacrifice creatures to give it plus two plus two until end of turn. I pass turn. I have a bad feeling. I can't believe that card is named Flump. That's not important right now, Joe. The way JFK is playing, it's just really sus for some reason. I will draw for turn and tap three to play Wall of Ice. It is a zero seven. Arcade's card draw will happen. I will then tap two to play Wall of Shards. It is a 1-8 with Defender and Flying and Cumulative Upkeep with the opponent gaining one life. Arcades happens again. I will tap four to play Biden of Thassa. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to an opponent, I may draw a card. I can also tap it to goad your creatures. I will go to combat and attack you with Arcades and Flump. No blocks. I will take three commander damage and a total of seven normal damage. Huh. Okay, then. I will draw two cards and pass turn. As annoying as it is to deal with your walls, Donald, I'm just going to have to give you a piece of my mind. Judge, he shouldn't be able to joke about himself like that. I don't think he meant it like that, Donald. Piece of shit. I will play a secluded graveyard, and zombies will be the creature type. I will then sacrifice all of my creatures to Phyrexian Ghoul. What a fucking blunder. Oh my god. Have you gone nuts? Who the fuck buffs a creature that big without trample? Be nice, Donald. This isn't good. Flump, 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 flump. I am also going to tap my Phyrexian Tower to sacrifice my Phyrexian Ghoul. I will tap five to play Living Death. Each player exiles all the creature cards from their graveyard, then sacrifices each creature that player controls, then put all cards that were exiled this way onto the battlefield. I will pass turn. Fuck! This is really bad. This JFK guy fucking sucks. He killed Flump. Would you drop this Flump bit already? I will draw for turn. Play an island and tap six to resummon my commander. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn. Play an island and tap three to play faces of the past. Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, tap or untap all creatures that share a creature type with it. I will go into combat and attack you, Donald. With my Headless Rider, my Commander, and my Stitcher Supplier. Blunder! I will block your Stitcher Supplier with my Commander. What a dumbass! My Stitcher Supplier will die, and I get to create a 2-2 zombie because of Headless Rider's effect. I will also get to untap my Headless Rider thanks to Faces of the Past, and I will tap one to resummon Stitcher Supplier from my graveyard using my Commander's effects. Shit! Donald needs to get off of his high horse. Statistically speaking, if Donald would set aside his ego and play to win, he would win by now. I don't know, Ben. I always thought Donald wasn't the sharpest tool in the... Uh... I fucking can't with this guy. You will take four commander damage and a total of ten normal damage. In my second main phase, I will tap four to summon Cleaver Scob. I can pay three and tap it to sacrifice another zombie, then create two token copies of that sacrificed zombie. I pass turn. You might have me on the ropes... But this fight isn't over yet. Let's see it, motherfucker. Gentlemen, I am about to start issuing warnings for lack of sportsmanship on both sides. If either or both of you get three, you two will be disqualified. Sorry, Sorry, Dad. Dad. I will draw for turn, play a forest, and tap two to summon Wall of Blossoms. When it ETBs, I draw a card. I will tap two to play Jeske Barricade. It has flash, and when it ETBs, I can return another creature I control to my hand. I won't do its effects. I will tap three to play Glacial Wall. Arcades will trigger, and I get to draw three cards. I will now go to combat and attack JFK with my commander. 
No blocks. You will take three commander damage, and I get to draw another card because of Biden, of Thassa. I passed turn. So they named a card after me. Biden. It's Biden with a T at the end. They spelled it wrong, sons of bitches. I will draw for turn, play a command tower, and tap my cleaver scob while also paying three mana to sacrifice my headless rider. I make two token copies of that creature and a 2-2 zombie. Since a zombie died, I will untap my judge. What's wrong? Cleaver Scab's creature type is both a zombie and horror. Would I still be able to untap it with my faces of the past since it has zombie? Yes, because Cleaver Scab is still a zombie, but it is additionally a horror. So if you had a card that benefits horrors, it would receive those benefits. Bullshit, that's stupid, wrong. Donald gets a warning. Donald, you need to calm down. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot harder to save Obama when you're disqualified. Wait a minute, that's why we are here? I will pay three to tap my Cleaver Scab again and sacrifice my undead war chief. I will get two copies of those. I get another 2-2 two, two zombie. Now my zombies have plus five, plus three, thanks to my undead war chiefs and Lord of the Accursed. I will go to combat and attack you with my Stitcher Supplier, which is a 6-4. I will, I will, damn it, I will take the damage. You will take six normal damage. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Mystic Gate, and tap six to summon Sun Titan. Oh shit. What? What does that card do? Sun Titan will be a game changer. This might be just what Donald needs to survive this. Whenever Sun Titan ETBs or attacks, I get to return a card with CMC three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. And since it ETBs, I will return overgrown battlement to the battlefield. I get to draw a card because a defender I control enters the battlefield. I pass turn. That stupid card isn't gonna do shit for you, dumbass. JFK gets a warning. Yes! Let's fucking go. Ah, uh, shit, I forgot. Whatever, I draw for turn, tap four to resummon undead war chief from the graveyard, and tap three to sacrifice it to make two more of those guys. My zombies will now get a plus nine, plus five bonus because of my cards. I also get a two-two zombie. I will go to combat and attack you with three of my zombies, which are 11-7. I will block one of those zombies with my glacial wall, and both will die. I will take 22 damage. I hope you realize I could kill you but I am having a lot of fun right now. Maybe I'll just toy with you since this is such an easy win. JFK, you get another warning. Shit, I will get two zombies thanks to my two headless riders. I pass turn. I will draw for turn and damn, it looks like you got me. I already know, I'm just wasting time here, but go ahead, just try something. Psych! Oh shit! What? I will tap five to play Wave of Reckoning. I will also tap one to play a Johnny's Presence and target my Sun Titan to give it a 1-1 counter and indestructible until end of turn. Fucking God damn it! Let's fucking go, Donald! Yeah, Donnie, oh, what does that spell do? Each creature deals damage to itself based off of its power. Since Donald's walls have zero power, they will be fine, but JFK's entire board will die. Now hold on! I can make 2-2 two -two zombies with Headless Rider when most of my zombies die. Sorry, but that's not how that works. Typically, board wipes kill everything instantaneously, so death triggers based off of others don't usually work. Damn. I will attack with Sun Titan and return Fortified Rampart to the field. Will you block Sun Titan? The fuck does it look like? Don't make me boot you. I will take seven damage. I will draw two cards and tap my overgrown battlements to play Axe Bane Guardian. I can tap it for X mana, where X is the number of creatures with Defender I control. I pass turn. I will draw for turn and... Are you kidding me? Bush gave me such a shitty deck. Wait, who gave you that deck? Shit. Uh, I play a swamp and tap six to resummon my commander and pass turn. This shit's over. I will draw for turn and tap one to play Skyway Sniper. Judge, he's making fun of me. I don't think so, JFK. He's just playing the card. <laughs> that shit is very humorous. Uh, I don't get it. I will tap one to play Walking Bulwark. I can pay two to give a creature with defender haste and blah, blah, blah. The important part is now I will tap two to play wall of junk and tap two to give it haste. I will now go to combat and... This is fucking bullshit. I am done. You get another warning. You are disqualified. Fucking good. I am out of here. What a dreadful man. I wonder why everyone liked him. It looks like the winner by default is Donald. Wow, JFK does not believe in the heart of the cards. He's kind of a pussy. Definitely a sore loser, but who cares? Donald fucking won. Ha! I won! Yeah, uh, I know you all love me. Donald's gone back to being a shitbag. Let's meet up back in the lobby and discuss the next match.
Did you guys see that awesome match? I had no trouble whatsoever. I hate to break it to you, Donald, but you almost lost just because JFK got like super cocky, even more than you. Like you got extremely lucky fucking plot armor. Whatever, I served his ass, just like how he got served at that grassy no. Donald, don't you fucking dare. Yeah, that match was pretty mid, not gonna lie. Fuck off, Joe. That match was the most riveting thing you have ever seen. This is all irrelevant right now. Did JFK say anything that could be related to Obama being missing? He did say something about Bush giving him a shitty deck, but I don't really know how he ties into this. No fucking way. Did Bush somehow bring JFK back from the dead? I knew it. Bush is a Redditor. Oh my God. Who invited this dork? Don't call me a whale dick. This is dumb. I need to get ready for my match. I failed, W. I am sorry. It's okay. Why don't you rest some more? We might need you in the future. <laughs> How did your match go? It went well, too well. That dude could not play MTG at all. I have heard. So far, Biden and Trump have won their rounds. I have also heard. It's a shame, but it looks like you're going to have to stop them. Wait a minute, where is Obama? Shouldn't he be around during this process? Oh, we decided to move things quicker than planned. Let me show you what he looks like right now. Wow, that is horrible. Well, it's necessary. He is. The key to a better world, after all. Did you guys see him quit, too? And the way I played Gate Creeper Vine, don't get me started. I miss Obama. Donald fucking sucks. Fuck you, Joe. I guess this is routine by now. Donald and Joe arguing? Your dub was hardly that cool anyway, Donald. You played against a zombie dude. Yeah, fucking right, you dipshit. At least my opponent wasn't whacked out on that Mary Jane. Your opponent was 106 years old. That was impressive math, Joe. I just guessed. Whatever, are you ready for your match, Ben? I'm going to be honest, I am nervous. Oh, come on, Ben, don't be a bitch. You are just playing in front of a hugely crowd against a person who you have never met before that could be completely insane. And you are playing in front of one of the strongest beings in this universe. I don't get your nerves. Thanks, Donald. That makes everything better. Not. Fuck you. Donald, give me your wall deck. I want that flump card. Only if you trade your squirrels. Never. None of you will touch my troopers. None of this is relevant right now, guys. Let me focus up. Let's go look at the leaderboard. I want to see my glorious name moving up in the brackets. There I am, on top of everyone else. I don't know Donald. I hear they don't let orange people place first. What? Really? It looks like Clinton and Johnson finished their matches. I hope it's not Bill. He still hasn't returned my sister. Or my snake deck. That's just fucked up. It really is. Oh my God, it's Donald Trump and Ben Shapiro and Biden. I don't like this guy at all. Oh, I know you. It's... Turner? Tucker. It's Tucker Carlson. Tucker? The Tucker Carlson? You play magic? Yes, I even started a new show where I play commander with special guests and famous people. What a shitty idea for a show. I bet no one would watch it. I bet people would watch it if I'm on it. Guys, chill out. Tucker, have you seen the brackets? Yep, you are my opponent. All right, then. Good luck and may the... Best man win. I remember it. Jesus Christ, Joe, that was so long ago. Why the fuck do we keep on getting paired against people we vibe with? I didn't vibe with JFK. I wanted to beat the shit out of him. For once, I agree with this motherfucker. Damn it all. I guess I'm going to have to put this guy away. Let's get that fucking bread. 90%. Ben Shapiro and Tucker Carlson, please report to the ring. Ben Shapiro and Tucker Carlson, please report to the ring. Oh shit, come on guys, let's go. All right, Ben, what deck are you running? I would use Michelle's deck for this tournament, but I feel like I should save that just in case I am up against some real shit. So I am running Slivers. Solid choice. What kind of deck did Michelle give you? It's a secret. If I tell you guys, you both collectively might shit your pants. Please, Ben, I'm not that old. Wait, is that a weird thing? What? Anyway, wish me luck, guys. Hi, Ben. Hi, Chuck. I have a question for you. What is it? During Donald's match, he played Wave of Reckoning, where JFK zombies died, and that led Trump to victory. But I noticed that JFK still had headless riders, where whenever another zombie dies, create a 2-2 black zombie token. I know you don't make mistakes, so why didn't you let JFK create the zombies? To be blunt, I fucking hate that dude. I changed the rules of MTG temporarily so Donald would win. Damn. Could you do that for me? Nope, he was a special case. 
Oh, well. Oh, here comes Tucker. All right, guys, let's get this going. Do you boys both have your decks? Yes. I have a question, Judge. What is it? Are white bordered cards legal for this tournament? I don't see why not. Oh, and another question. Wait, guys, can we get set up first before this continues? Yep, let's get started. All right, guys, is everyone done shuffling? Hold on, can I pile shuffle? Excuse me? That's fucking illegal in a tournament. It only makes it fair. I don't want just lands or spells for a hand. Logically speaking, you should make two thirds of your deck be spells and one third of your deck lands the game that creates a great balance of cards and magic wins just for nostalgia. Come on, guys, this isn't what people came here to watch. This is a fucking nightmare. It could be worse. Ben could be French. Gentlemen, let's set our differences aside and get the game started. But for the sake of this tournament and its rules, I will just shuffle both your decks myself. Don't worry, Chuck. I can get it. Yeah, you don't need to. Done. Never mind. We just got Norsed. Thank God that they got all of that sorted out. Yeah, I was about to take some of my headache medicine because they were so annoying. Joe, that's sleep medication. Oh, really? No wonder I've been so tired. All right, it's time for everyone to quiet down and let's flip a coin to get the match rolling. Heads for Tucker, tails for Ben. Ben will go first. I will play a plateau. Yes, that shit's a dual land. And tap one red to play a striking sliver. This gives all of my slivers first strike. I will pass turn. This fucking dude right here, Jesus Christ, this fucking dude put dual lands in his deck. Statistically speaking, yes. Tucker, I have to win this match. Whatever, you are just a try hard. I will draw for turn, play a city of brass, and tap one. Which city of brass will deal one damage to me to play Birds of Paradise? It has flying, and I can tap it to add one mana of any color. I pass turn. Thank God, Ben isn't dead yet. Come on, Joe, have a little faith in him. I will draw for turn, play a tropical island. Judge! Angrily speaking, for the love of fucking... What is it? He cheated for those cards. No one has two dual lands in their hand like that. Well, Tucker, I did shuffle these decks, and you accused him of cheating. In basic, I don't make mistakes, motherfucker. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, anyway, I will pay two to play Mana Wef Sliver. I can tap my slivers to add one mana of any color to my mana pool. I will pass turn. That was fucking terrifying. Chuck is just an absolute unit. Not gonna lie, it was really satisfying. Uh... Cool to see Tucker get put in his place. Good, that Turner guy is annoying. I will draw for turn, play a Plains, tap one to play Avicin's Pilgrim. I can tap it for Plains and tap two to play Yellow Scarf's Cavalry. It has horsemanship and- I'm sorry, it has what? Wow, some magic player you are. You don't know what this keyword does. I don't know. At least I'm not playing the world's oldest cards in my deck. Gentlemen, please chill out. Horsemanship is simple. Attacking creatures with horsemanship cannot be blocked by creatures without it. Oh, it's kind of like Shadow then. Yep. I didn't finish reading the card, guys. It can't block. I pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Verdant Catacombs, tap it, and pay one life to sacrifice it, and search my library for a forest or swamp card. In this case, I will get a Bayou, which is a dual land, by the way. Fucker. I'm going to start issuing warnings in a second. Never mind. I will tap five to summon my commander. I can pay three to search my library for a sliver card, reveal it, put it into my hand, and then shuffle. I can also pay three to gain control of target sliver. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Carplusen Forest, and tap four to play Vengeful Ancestor. It has flying, and when it hits the field, I get to goad target creature. Whenever a goaded creature attacks, it deals one damage to its controller. I will goad your mana weft sliver and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Scalding Tarn, tap it, and pay one life to sacrifice it to go get a Tundra. I will tap three mana, tapping mana weft sliver amongst the mana. Are you fucking kidding? So try hard, wow! Old deck. I really didn't want to do this after Donald's shit show of a match, but you're getting a warning. This Turner guy is such a bitch. Oh my god. This is not very epic. Anyway, I will spend this mana to go search my library for Cloud Shredder Sliver and tap two to cast it. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Plains, and tap five to play Gahiji Honored One. Whenever a creature attacks one of your opponents or a Plains Walker an opponent controls, that creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. I will then go to combat and attack with Yellow Scarves Cavalry, which is a 3-1. I will take the damage. You have to take the damage. You have nothing with horsemanship. I know, Tucker. I can literally see my board. Well, I'm just saying, you can't block it. Tucker, I fucking know. Fuck you, Ben. I am just letting you, are you playing know that an you awful can't block because of horsemanship. I could win on any turn, You're and you're just being bitch about you everything. Already losing fucking with Tucker, fucking you're awful. You're, you're bad. You're an L player. Bad, 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 I might retire. This is just, this is worse than us during the great presidential election. Uh, yeah, this is pretty bad, even though I won the election. Fuck, Fuck off, you, Donald. Joe, you you can keep coping that you, you lost the election, the election you but I won fair and square, followers. bitch. I'm going to beat everyone's ass. If you all don't shut the hell up, 
Okay, now, how does combat resolve? I will take the damage. I pass turn. I will draw for turn, tap three to use Sliver Overlord's ability, get Sliver Hive Lord, and tap five to cast it. It gives my slivers indestructible. I pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap five to play Karlak, Fury of Avernus. Whenever I attack, and if it's the first combat phase of the turn, untap all attacking creatures. They gain first strike until end of turn. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. I will go to combat and attack with Yellow Scarves Cavalry, which is a 3-1. I will take the damage. Karlak, Fury of Avernus triggers, and I get an additional combat phase, and attack with Yellow Scarves Cavalry again, but it is now 5-1 with first strike. I will take the damage once more. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap five to play Sliver Queen. I can pay two to create a 1-1 Sliver colorless creature token. I will go to combat and attack with Sliver Queen, Sliver Overlord, and Sliver Hive Lord. I will block Sliver Overlord with my Vengeful Ancestor and take the rest of the damage. I pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap three to play Thalia, Heretic Cathar, creatures and non-basic lands your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. I will tap three to play Chaos Warp, owner of target permanent shuffles it into their library, then reveals the top card of their library. If it's a permanent card, they put it on the field. I will target your mana weft sliver. Interesting choice. I will reveal the top card of my library and it is Volcanic Island. Who the fuck puts that many dual lands in their deck? Statistically speaking, they make me win. Whatever. I will do the two combat phases with Yellow Scarves Cavalry. I will take eight damage. I will pass turn. This match is pretty one-sided. I think Ben's winning this shit. I agree. Ben has so many squirrels that do cool things. Slivers, Joe, they are slivers. I will draw for turn, tap four, and use my Sliver Queen's ability twice to make two one-one slivers. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap two to play Kenrith's transformation and- Before you do anything with that card, I will tap one blue to play Swan Song and target your enchantment spell. You get to create a two-two bird with flying. You mother, you, forget it. I will tap four to play Jetmere, Nexus of Rebels. Creatures I control get plus one, plus zero and vigilance if I have three or more creatures. They will also gain an additional plus one, plus zero and trample if I control six or more creatures. Lastly, if I control nine or more creatures, they get plus one, plus zero with double strike. I will go to combat and attack you with my Yellow Scarves Cavalry, which is a five one. Ouch. I will attack again, but this time it's an eight one. Ouch squared. I pass turn. I take back what I said. Tucker is really fucking close to winning. I don't know, Donald. Ben seems pretty calm right now. There's no way. Ben was a nervous wreck before this match. There is no way Ben is calm right now. I should be a nervous wreck right now, but I am calm for some reason. I will draw for turn, play a Savannah, and tap one to play Demonic Tutor. He must be throwing some Hail Mary or whatever. I guess it does make things more interesting. I should quit this job. I will go get Gem Hide Sliver and tap two to play it. I can tap any of my slivers for any mana. I will tap seven to play Cyclonic Rift for its overload cost and return each non-land permanent I don't control to its owner's hand. Fucking God damn it. Never mind, this shit's over. Like what I said, Ben is cool. I will tap three and use Sliver Overlord's ability to get Sliver Legion. I pass turn. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Ben, I need to win this tournament. The $50 will help me a lot since I lost my job at Fox News. Motherfucker, you just said you run an MTG show. You must get paid. I, uh, was lying. Just play your turn. Right, I will draw for turn and tap three mana to play Birds of Paradise, Soltari Foot Soldier, and Avakin's Pilgrim. It doesn't matter what they even do. I pass turn. It's over, Tucker. I will draw for turn, tap five to play Sliver Legion. All of my slivers get plus one, plus one for each sliver on the field. I will go to combat and attack with everything. Any responses, Tucker? Nope, none at all. I fucking lose. Let's go, let's go. I fucking won. I, I guess Ben did good. He should have won a lot sooner than that. Great job, Benny. This is bullshit, but good game, Ben. You won. Thanks, Tucker. You did good despite your deck not having a win condition. Fuck off. When we get Obama back, do you want to play four-player commander with us sometime? I think you would like it better. Nope, I'm going to beat your dumbass sliver deck one day, and I don't care what it takes. Just watch me. Looks like I should regroup with the boys. And the way you played Squirrel Hive Lord. Joe, it's Sliver for the fourth time. It's whatever. I felt like the game went okay. Let's go look at the brackets and see our next matches. Hey guys. Hi Bernie. Look at this psycho. Bernie Sanders, what are you doing here? I'm kind of a legend at magic, you know, so I thought it would be cool if I came by to crush everyone here at the tournament. Where are your mittens, chili boy? Fuck off, Donald. Go back to jail. I have a quick question, Bernie. Have you seen Obama? He's been missing for a little while and we are trying to find him. Well. 
I actually know where he is. Huh? What? Wait, really, please tell us. The only way I am telling you anything is if you beat me in the finals, Ben. Hold on there, dude, who paid a stripper money to keep quiet about weird things. Too soon, man, too soon. We haven't played yet. What do you mean you will see Ben in the finals? He's saying he's going to beat your ass and he should... I need to go get my other deck just for Joe. I've got a feeling he's going to be using something else in this upcoming round. We will see about that, bitch. I can't believe Bernie knows where Obama is. His old ass is either crazy or lying. I would bet on both. I need to catch some shut-eye before my match. Wake me up when they call me to the ring, guys. this place. Joe! Go away, I want sleep. Mm. It's almost done. That voice again, who are you? Joe! Shut up, I'm trying to hear him. It'll all be over soon. I will meet my fated opponents. Who are you? You will find out soon. Now do me a favor and lose this match. Joe, wake up! Oh, oh, I was so close to figuring out who that dude was. The fuck are you talking about, Joe? We thought you keeled over. That guy, uh, damn, I can't remember what I was talking about. What was I dreaming about? I swear, you belong in the unsets in magic. What the hell is an un... Never mind, let's go look at the brackets after you mop the floor with Bernie. The rest of the tournament will be a piece of cake. I don't know, Ben. Have you seen Joe play MTG? Bro is awful. Fuck off, Donald. You run trash wall tribal. Except Flump isn't trash. S-tier card? Leave my walls out of this. Come on, children. We are looking at the brackets now. Look at me. I'm winning. Yeah, yeah, I could have beaten Tucker in my sleep. I could too. It looks like Maurice moved up. I really hope it's not that Maurice. I know. I don't want anything to do with him, especially after that one game. What game? What did I miss? Hey, we might be able to get Joe's playmat back. That would be cool. Oh, by the way, Joe, let's discuss our strategy for beating Bernie. No strategy needed. I'm melting him with my squirrels. No, don't run squirrels. He is clearly expecting that. You literally have a fucking Eldrazi deck that almost obliterated all of us. How the fuck do you know I have an Eldrazi deck? That's supposed to be a secret. Wow, I think Maurice did us a favor by letting us know that fucking thing exists. Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, please report to the ring. Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders, please report to the ring. Oh shit, let's get moving. Come on, Joe, use any other deck. I guarantee you Bernie has a counter to your squirrels. Stand aside, son. I've got this. R.I.P. to Joe. He will not be missed. Shut up, Donald. If you think you are taking my spot in office, you are wrong. Sorry, Joe. The people love me more. They would love if you would shut up more. Roasted. Fuck off, guys. Don't lose too horribly, Joe. All right, Chuck. Let's do this shit. Hold on, Joe. We need to wait for Bernie. Oh, I like this much better. Those lights were brutal. The fuck is happening right now? Wait. Don't tell me. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a player you all give a shit about. Put your hands together for the one and only Bernie Sanders. Hey, bitches, I'm here. Good Christ, I want Joe to win now. I didn't think he would be so arrogant. I know you all love me. I know. What a prick. Ah, uh, I remember when people used to love me. That's just sad, man. And there he is, looking all old and pants shitted. Fuck you. Uh, um, Bernie. Did everyone bring their decks? This man's gonna get beaten alive by my deck. Oh, no. I hope you don't sick your squirrels on me. I fucking knew it. He knew Joe would run squirrels. Joe's got this shit, don't worry. Okay, let's get started. So let me get this straight. You played a game of magic with the boys too. You're goddamn right. Wow, I guess they bullied you too. They were not nice to me. I think it's a conspiracy. Maybe they're planning drones in the tournament and tracking our every move. I don't know about that. Uh, the hell's your name? Oh shit. I can't let Bill know my true name. Oh, can I call you anything? It's Robert. Okay, Robert. Since we are going up against Donald and Ben, let's try to get them to lose the tournament. It's perfect revenge. They must be stopped. They're trying to overthrow the government. That's why they are here. I don't think that's why they are here, Robert. They are literally playing Magic the Gathering. What if, what if they came here to save somebody? What if this tournament is ran by someone important and they are using it to complete some ritual that can destroy the world? 
I might regret teaming up with you. Oh well. Hey boys, I couldn't help but to overhear your conversation. Oh, it's George Bush. I want to accuse you of horrible atrocities. Anyway, I have a request for you two. You will get a nice reward in the end. Women. Your corrupt bribery will never make my convictions for finding the truth waver. Beat Trump and Ben, and I will give you Bill, all the women you could ever desire, and you, uh, what's your name? Shit. Um, James. What the fuck? Okay, James, you will get the most important secret documents that this country has to offer. These fuckers are dead. I'm glad we can work this out. After Biden gets cremated, you two will be up next. Make sure to use these decks here. Oh, thanks. This one is much better. Sorry, W. I am using the snake deck that Ben lent me. Suit yourself. Now keep an eye on this. This may be this country's most important day ever. Is everybody ready? Can we turn the lights back on? Oh, yeah. Let's get those lights back on. Hey, get those lights off. Off. Can you stop with the light bit, please? Can I throw some of my merch out to the audience? I need them to love me more. No, Bernie, we need to get this match started. I didn't think you would be such an ass, uh, um, hat. Fuck you, Joe, that was uncalled for. Shut up, guys. Heads for Joe and tails for Bernie. Joe will go first. I will play a forest and tap one to play a Sol Ring and pass turn. Goddamn! Uh, a turn one Soul Ring, this game is over. I don't know, Donald. I think we need more cards than a Soul Ring to beat Bernie. I will draw for turn, play a forest, and tap one to play Wild Growth. It is an enchantment aura. I enchant a land, and when a player taps that land for mana, it produces an extra green. I will pass turn. Holy shit. A turn one Wild Growth? This shit's wild. Meh, Joe's Soul Ring is lit. I will draw for turn, play a forest, and tap three to play Awakening Zone. It is an enchantment, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I may create a 0-1 colorless Eldrazi spawn token. I can sacrifice it to add one colorless mana. I pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Tranquil Thicket, and tap two to play Rampant Growth. I can search my library for a basic land card, put on the field tapped, and shuffle. I will pass turn. I will create my Eldrazi token, draw for turn, and tap three to summon my commander. This dude right here, he is a 3-3 trooper with forest walk. And if one or more tokens would be created under my control, those tokens plus that many 1-1 squirrels are created instead. I can also pay one black mana to sack X squirrels and target creature gets plus X minus X until end of turn. I pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Gaia Reach Sanitarium, and tap two to summon my commander. It is a 2-2, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, I may put a minus one minus one counter on target creature. Whenever I put one or more minus counters on a creature, Create a 1-1 one, one green snake creature token with death touch. I pass turn. What a garbage, L. Shitty, horrible commander. Complete and utter trash. Joe has got this shit. Donald, I wouldn't be too sure about that. I am pretty sure Bernie is running an anti-token deck. Doesn't matter. If Joe makes more squirrels than Bernie can kill, then Joe will win. Statistically speaking, if Bernie makes more minus one minus one counters than Joe can make squirrels, then Bernie would win. Would you two please quiet down? Sorry, Sorry Dad. Dad. I will draw for turn, play a swamp create an Eldrazi token. And because a token was created, I get a squirrel token. I will tap three to play Growing Rights of Itlamok. When this ETBs, look at the top four cards of my library. I may reveal a creature card from among them and put it in my hand. Put the rest at the bottom of my library in any order. At my end step, if I control four or more creatures, this card transforms. All right, Joey. Let's see if you get any creatures. Hmm. Fuck. No creatures. Damn. L. I will go to combat and attack you with my commander. I cannot block. You will go down three life. And at my end step, growing rights of Itlimok will now transform to Itlimok, Cradle of the Sun. It is a legendary land that can either tap for green or tap to add green mana to my mana pool for each creature I control. I pass turn. Massive Joe turn W, let's fucking go. I'm surprised squirrels are so busted. I will draw for turn and tap five to play Tender Shoot Dryad. It has ascend. If I control 10 or more permanents, I get City's Blessing for the rest of the game. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 green Saproling creature token, and Saprolings I control get plus 2 plus 2 as long as I have City of Blessing. I pass turn. I will create the Eldrazi and Squirrel token. I will create my Saproling token. I will draw for turn and tap my Itlamok to float 5 mana and use 3 of it to play Skewt Swarm. When a land enters the battlefield, I get to create a 1-1 insect. If I control six or more lands, instead I create a token that's a copy of Skewt Swarm. 
I will then play a swamp and that will trigger skewt swarm. I will then tap four to play species specialist. It is a two three. And when it ETBs, I get to choose a creature type, which will be squirrels. Whenever a creature of the chosen type dies, I may draw a card. I will tap four to play parallel lives. It is an enchantment where if an effect would put one or more tokens on the battlefield I control, I put twice that many instead. I will go to combat and attack you with Chatterfang. No blocks, my guy. I will pass turn. Holy fucking shit, Joe had a massive turn. The sheer amount of triggers is just unhinged. I can't keep up. All right, Joe, this is your last chance to give up because I am warning you. The hand I have will annihilate your board. Sorry, Bernie, but I came here for one reason. I guess that makes sense. You three would go so far just to save your buddy. I need to save some money for the new Lord of the Rings set coming out this summer. That shit is expensive. Really, Joe? How low can a politician get? Jesus Christ. I'm so proud of him. He's investing. Hold up a minute. There's going to be a new Lord of the Rings set for magic. Oh, yeah. It's got all kinds of cool stuff. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I'm really excited for that. I am, too. Um, anyway, I will get a sap rolling token, draw for turn, play a swamp, and tap two to summon Bloodseeker. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, that player loses one life. Wow, what a throwaway card. Bernie's running such a shit deck. Not at all, Donald. That card shuts down 90% of Joe's strat. Damn, Bernie is running such a shit deck. But that card shuts down 90% of my strat. I will then tap four to play Hunted Troll. When this creature ETBs, put four 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature tokens with flying into play under target opponent's control. I target you, Joe. Shit, because of parallel lives, I get eight of them instead. And Chatterfang triggers, so additionally, I get eight more squirrels. You will then lose 16 life because of Bloodseeker. I will pass turn. I will get two Eldrazi tokens and two squirrel tokens, which makes me lose four life. I get a sap rolling token again. I will draw for turn and go straight to combat. Joe is going to swing wide. Get ready, Donald. I'm on the edge of my fucking seat. I will attack with my commander, 13 squirrels and eight fairies. I will block six of your squirrels with all of my creatures except Bloodseeker. I will lose six squirrels and you will go down 14 life. I will then draw six cards thanks to Species Specialist. I will then tap three to play Ruthless Knave. I remember that one. I don't. I will pay one swamp to use my commander's ability, sacrifice a squirrel, and give your Bloodseeker plus one minus one. Damn, Joe, that was a good play. Honestly, I'm kind of glad you got rid of that creature. Sounds like you're bluffing there, old mittens. I can pay three to sack a creature and create two colorless treasure artifacts. I can sacrifice three treasures to draw a card. I will then tap seven to play old Gnawbone. It's a seven seven with flying and whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, I get to create that many treasure tokens. I pass turn. I was holding my breath there for a second. If Joe hadn't have gotten rid of Bloodseeker, this match would have been over. Joe may be old, stupid, dumb, bad at MTG, a piece of shit, smelly, weird, creepy. Donald, what is your point? He kind of knows what he's doing. Like you're any better. I will get a sap rolling token, draw for turn, and tap two to play Cryptolith right. I can tap my creatures for one mana of any color now. I will tap five to play Revel in Riches. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasure token, and at the beginning of my upkeep, if I have 10 or more tokens, I win the game. I will then tap five more mana to play Massacre Girl. And do you know what this card does, Joe? No, I just got here. Each other creature on the field gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than Massacre Girl gets an additional minus one, minus one until end of turn. Uh, I'm going to tap three to play Crossan Grip, targeting your revel in riches. All right, that's fine. It just prolongs your suffering. Everything on the board dies. I will pass turn. Um... God damn, Ben, that is not good. Bernie just wiped Joe's board out with an... And at the time I say this, a 44-cent card. What, you just have TCG player or card kingdom in your head or something? I was going to buy that card for a deck I was making, but I gave up on it since the deck ended up being mid... Skill issue? I will create two Eldrazi tokens, draw for turn, tap my Itlamok to float three mana, and tap my Soul Ring to resummon my commander. I will then sack my Eldrazi tokens and tap two to summon Toski, Bearer of Secrets. It is a 1-1 one, one creature that cannot be countered. It has indestructible attacks each combat if able, and when a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Temple of the False God, and I will tap nine mana to play and equip Helm of the Host to Massacre Girl. Helm of the Host is an artifact, and at the beginning of combat on my turn, create a token copy of equipped creature, except the token is not legendary if the original creature is legendary. That token also gains haste. 
I will go to combat and make another massacre, girl, and your Toski will die. Wait a minute there, President, who can't speak prop. Uh, correct on words and shits their pants. My creature has indestructible. Judge, please explain the ruling to him. Indestructible simply prevents your creature from dying due to combat damage, instants that deal damage, and board wipes that destroy creatures. However, since your creature is a 1-1, one, one, and Bernie's creature causes a global minus 1-1, one, minus one, your creature's toughness value still goes down to zero, and by default, it goes to the graveyard. That's stupid and sounds wrong. Meh, I will retcon this if it's wrong like last time. Fair enough. I pass turn. I will get two Eldrazi tokens and two Squirrel tokens, draw for turn, and tap six to play Nut Collector. At the beginning of my upkeep, I create a 1-1 one, one Squirrel token, and all Squirrels get plus two plus two as long as there are seven or more cards in my graveyard. I will then tap four to play Liege of the Hollows if this card is put into any graveyard from play. Each player may pay any amount of mana to create that many Squirrel tokens under their control. I will go to combat and attack with Chatterfang, which is now a 5-5. Five, five. I will take the damage. I pass turn. I get the feeling that Joe blundered. I have that feeling constantly. I don't know. I think he misplayed his cards this turn. This is not good, Donald. Oh, come on, Ben. It's not over yet. It's so even. And Joe has more creatures than him. I guess you make a fair point, but still, I feel uneasy. I will draw for turn and tap four to play Falconrath Noble. It is a 2-2 with flying, and when this card or another creature dies, target player loses one life and target player gains one life. I will go to combat and get another Massacre Girl. All creatures get minus one, minus one. This shit fucking sucks. Falconrath Noble will trigger ten times, and I will not pay any mana for Liege of the Hollows. I have no mana, so I can't do anything. I pass turn. Come on, Joe, don't give up. Beat his ass. Let's go, Joe. Put Bernie to bed. Well, Bernie, it looks like you got me. I'm all out of options. Is this you conceding? Well, great game, Joe, but you could never hope to beat me. Psych! I feel like we've seen this before. Yeah, Joey, let's fucking go get this shit. I will create my Eldrazi tokens, draw for turn, tap seven to resummon my commander, and tap two to enchant my commander with Druid's Call. Whenever this creature is dealt damage, I put that many 1-1 squirrels into play. Oh shit, Joe is going to have a way to deal massive damage to his commander and create a shit ton of squirrels. The madman's done it, he really won. I pass turn. Huh? Maybe he will do it on Bernie's turn? Okay then, I will draw for turn and tap two to play Bile Blight. Target creature and all other creatures that share its name get minus three, minus three until end of turn. I will target your commander. No. I will go to combat, make my token, and attack with both of them. Any responses, Joe? I... I will... I... Uh. Well, it looks like I win. Fuck, that's bad. One of us will have to go up against Bernie now. Poor Joe. Let's go down there and get him. It looks like your buddy here just couldn't handle the pressure. I get it, going up against the great Bernie and all. Fuck you, Bernie. You only won because you ran a bullshit anti-token deck just to beat Joe. There's no rules in the tournament about changing decks in between matches. Joe did it, so what's so wrong if I do it? Uh, fuck you, shit for brains. You are gonna lose to my wall deck. Yeah, right. Bernie, why do you know where Obama is? I'm not telling you. Just know this, if Donald can't beat you, I will. That's what I like to hear. Now get lost. I have some business I need to attend to. Holy shit, Joe is out cold. We might just leave him back at Obama's house. There's nowhere safe we can put him in here. Don't worry, boys. There's an infirmary here you can leave him at. Oh, Chuck Norris. Thanks, Chuck. Don't sweat it, boys. I don't really like that Bernie guy either. So I hope one of you two will beat him. Oh, don't worry. This man is going to get deported. Really, Donald? Oh, well, I hope wherever Obama is, he is okay. Great work, Bernie. It looks like Joe had you a couple times, but you never lost your composure. Joe is pretty damn good, but he needs to get better if he wants to beat me. They are all going to have to get better. The time will come soon, you know. I know, I can't believe we are really doing this. I hope Barack comes out of this okay, but I doubt we will ever see him again. George, are you sure this is a good idea? This could cause chaos that this world has never seen. I know what I'm doing, Bernie. All you need to do is beat the last two and we are golden. Oh, why don't we go and check on Barack? I think he is getting... cold.
Doctor, is Joe going to be okay? Yes, he is not injured. He just played really hard and passed out is all. He will regain consciousness soon. I think it's concerning that Joe can play MTG so hard he loses consciousness. Also, what the hell are you doing here, Dr. Ben Carson? Bush asked me to be here just in case someone has health issues. That's pretty awesome of Bush, wait a minute. What kind of tournament is this? Regardless, Joe losing to Bernie is not good. We need to win our next matches, Donald. Otherwise, our only lead on finding Obama is gone. You're right, Ben. And next time, I'm going to crush him with walls. Donald, let's think about it for a second. Bernie knew Joe would run squirrels, and so he brought a deck to counter Joe's. What are you going to do when Bernie has a counter to your walls? It doesn't fucking matter. My walls will always win. Gentlemen, please go argue back in the lobby. I have other patients here that are trying to recover. Oh, sorry, doctor. Let's go, Donald. We will come back for Joe later. Man, sleep is great, but I feel like I should be doing something right now. Oh, look at my little guy. Hey there, buddy. What the fuck? Oh, God, my trooper. What have I done? No, I am so sorry. No. I failed my little guys. I'm so sorry. I guarantee you Bill is running my snake deck, so be ready for that. I'm not worried, especially since it's a deck you built. Ouch. Fuck you, Donald. Do you know what Maurice is running? Nope. I think none of us had seen his first round match. Damn whatever. Maybe we don't need to know what it is. Let's go look at the brackets. Yep, that is sure updated. As sad as it was to watch Joe lose, I still get dopamine by seeing my name play so high in the brackets. Bro, you only won one match. On to another topic. What do you think Obama's doing? It was so weird when he left because he said something like, I'm going back to some place I should have returned to or some shit like that. The dude is a mix of weird and cool. As much as I disagree with him, I do miss Obama. I do too, which is all the more reason to find him. That's right. Now we just sit back and... Ben Shapiro, Donald Trump, Bill Clinton, and Maurice, please report to the ring. What? All four of us? The fuck is this? Let's get moving, Ben. Hey, guys. Hello, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. I'm here. I, I just barely made it. So uh, there's been a quick change of rules for the tournament. To advance this whole thing forward, we are just going to do two-headed giant. They called me the two-headed giant back in college. Yes, another new game mode. What? You guys can't just do that. Who are we teaming up with anyway? First off, I can change whatever rules I want because I am Chuck. On God, for real, for real. Secondly, you and Donald are on the same team. You are playing against Bill and Maurice. Oh, cool. I like this, actually. All right, gentlemen, let's get started then. Is everyone ready? I'm done shuffling. Me too. I checked every card to see if there are any microchips implanted in them, and there's nothing so we can get rolling. Hold on, I just need to finish up here. I swear to Christ, if this bitch ass is cheating again... Yeah, Chuck. Please keep a close eye on Bill. He's been known to blatantly cheat. I know, I know. You heard them, Bill. Not my fault they almost lost that game and Donald pulled the worst fucking win condition I've ever seen. It's not even that bad. It just takes some work is all. I don't know, Donald. That shit was pretty awful. Uh, I don't know what you all are talking about, but guys, I think this whole tournament is one large conspiracy. Like, Robert, please focus up. Robert? I thought it was Maurice. What's up with that shit? Uh, it's actually Robert. I lied before, but that's totally my actual name. You know what? Give me your deck, Bill. This is really awkward right now. Wait, don't look at the top cards. Huh. So you were top decking soul ring, Orochi hatchery, reliquary tower, emerald medallion. You were trying to have a stacked hand right at the start. Wow, what crazy luck. Yeah, fucking right. You top deck those cards, you loser. The game hasn't even started yet, Bill, and you're already cheating. This is a conspiracy. And done. Your deck is reshuffled. And I will be shuffling your deck now, Bill. Every single time. Uh, well, at least I tried. All right, guys, we need to talk about if mermaids are real or not. Have any of you seen that documentary? It was on Animal Planet and the History Channel. That shit is wild. Come on, Robert. Mermaids aren't real. And if they were, we would have 100% unquestionable facts and logic. Oh my God, not this shit again. Just flip the fucking coin. All right, it will be heads for Bill and Robert, tails for Donald and Ben. 
Bill and Robert will go first. Since players take their turns simultaneously, let's have everyone narrate what they do one at a time. I will play a forest and pass. I will also play a forest and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a spar's headquarters and pass. I will draw for turn, play a forest and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an animal sanctuary and tap two to play Lotus Cobra. It has landfall and whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I add one mana of any color to my mana pool. I will pass it to Robert. I'll draw for turn, play an island, and pass. It looks like Maurice's deck is garbage. He's got nothing on his board. First off, it's Robert. And secondly, have you heard of the Illuminati? I know it is really cliche, but I think they are behind. Look at what you did, Donald. Yeah, Donald, you fucked up. Shut up. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap two to play lightning greaves. It is an artifact equipment, and it basically gives my creature hex proof. I will pass it to Ben. I will draw for turn, play a Vault of Champions, and tap two to play Farseek. I will get an island and put it on the battlefield tapped. I will pass turn. Hey, Bill. What's up, Chuck? Where'd that forest come from? Oh, that? It must have slipped from my hand. Judge, disqualify him. No, don't. I need those documents. I don't know if we can get through an entire game like this. That's enough, gentlemen. Put it back in your library. It did not come from your hand. All right, my bad, my bad. What a prick. Fuck off, Robert. I'm trying to get us to win. Hold the fuck on. Whoa. Holy shit. Goddamn Ben is mad. Did you change my snake deck? It was not mono green when I built it. Oh, um, you see your original snake deck was really bad, so I changed it completely. I want those cards back. That shit is really low, Bill. I can't believe you would do such a thing, but it is pretty fucking funny. Just watch, Ben. This deck is so much better now. I will draw for turn, play a reliquary tower, Lotus Cobra triggers, and I will use four mana to play Seed the Land. Whenever a land comes into play, its owner makes a 1-1 green snake. This applies to everyone. That's weird as shit. Bill just ruined my snake deck. I didn't even get to fucking play it. Ah, uh, damn. I'm really sorry, Ben. I will pass it to you, Robert. Now this is getting spicy. I will draw for turn, play an island, make a snake, and tap three to play Adaptive Automaton. <laughs> when this card ETBs, I get to choose a creature type, which is frogs. This creature is now a frog in addition to its other types, and the creatures of this chosen type get plus one, plus one. I will pass a turn. I'm so mad right now. I am playing my turn and then stepping out for a second. It's all right, Ben. I get it. I will draw for turn, play a rogue's passage. I will make a snake and tap four to play Forgotten Ancient. Every time a player casts a spell, I may put a 1-1 counter on this creature. And at the beginning of my upkeep, I get to move these 1-1 counters on any creature. I will be back in a little bit. Take your time, Ben. Damn, I feel bad now. It's one thing you steal his sister, Bill, but changing his snake deck without his permission is pretty fucked up. Not gonna lie. Right, right, I'm sorry. Anyway, I will draw for turn, play a wooded bastion, I make a snake, and tap three to play aura shards. Whenever a creature ETBs under my control, I get to destroy target artifact or enchantment. I will pass turn. Forgotten ancient triggers, I will put a 1-1 one, one counter on for him. I will draw for turn and tap three to play Kodama's Reach. I get to search my library for two basic lands, reveal them, put one on the field tapped, and put the other in my hand, and then shuffle. I will then play the land that I got from Kodama's Reach and Lotus Cobra triggers twice. I will get two snakes and tap three to play Oron Viper. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature at the end of combat. When this creature deals combat damage to a player, I get to draw a card. Forgotten Ancient triggers two times. I'm passing it to you, Robert, my boy. I will draw for turn and tap two to play Jade Avenger. It has Bushido two whenever this creature is blocked. It gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a planes and tap four to play Wall of Stolen Identity. I may have this creature ETB as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it's a wall in addition to its other types and has Defender. If I copy the creature, it is tapped and it does not untap during its controller's untapped step for as long as I control this creature. I wonder what Donald is going to choose. I wouldn't be surprised if he chose my Orhan Viper. I'm going to borrow Ben's Forgotten Ancient. What? Donald, are you sure that's a good idea? Ben is already mad. We don't need him angrier. I'm back, guys. Wait a minute. Why is my Forgotten Ancient tapped? I wanted a copy of it, so I used my Wall of Stolen Identity to do that. Donald, you! You know what? If it gets us to win, who cares? Ben, your Forgotten Ancient triggers because Donald played a spell. Because a creature ETBs under my control, aura shards will trigger and I will target Bill Seed the land. Damn, fuck you, Donnie. I pass it to you, Ben. I will draw for turn, play a Horizon Canopy, and tap it for white. 
which deals one damage to us. I will use four to summon my commander. It has flying vigilance, death touch, and lifelink, and at the beginning of my end step, proliferate. Both of our forgotten ancients will trigger. Our end step happens. I will proliferate my forgotten ancient and yours. You got that right. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap five to play Prowling Serpo Pard and Matsu Tribe Sniper. This card cannot be countered and creature spells I control can't be countered. This card can tap to deal one damage to a creature with flying and when this deals damage to a creature, tap that creature. It doesn't untap during its next untap step. Forgotten Ancients trigger twice. I will pass it to Robo. Don't call me that. I'm not a government-issued device to monitor everyone's progress in advancing towards making this country an oligarchy. What? What? What in the fuck? Just do your turn, Robert. Uh, I will draw for turn and tap two to play Talisman of Curiosity. I can tap it for colorless or tap it for green or blue. If I do that, it deals one damage to us. I will end our turn. Forgotten Ancients trigger. I will draw for turn and tap four to summon my commander. You all know who the fuck this is. It's our glorious commander that makes my wall deck shine. Donald, please shut up and read the card. Fine. It has flying and vigilance. When a wall ETBs, I draw a card and creatures I control with defender can attack and their power is the same as their toughness. Pretty cool. Aura shards will trigger and I will target Maurice's automaton. Forgotten Ancients trigger. I am free. I will pass it over to Ben. I will draw for turn and tap three to play Ristic Study. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, I get to draw a card unless they pay one. Our Forgotten Ancients trigger and I will pass turn. Wow, what a meta card. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am glad you are on my team. For now, Donald. For now. What a bullshit card. Ristic Study should be banned from Commander. I think it's a good card. Logically speaking, this card is just an enchantment, and it could be removed very easily. In other words, stop being a coward, Bill. Fuck off, Ben. You're just mad that I fucked with your snake deck. Yes, and my sister too, you piece of shit. All right, boys, let's calm down and focus on the game, please. I will draw for turn and tap four to summon my commander. Whenever a frog I control attacks, mill three cards. Uh, whenever a permanent card is put into my graveyard from my library, exile it with a croak counter. I may play lands and cast spells from among cards I own in exile with croak counters on them. I will pass it to Bill. Wow, that's not bad at all. It's pretty trash. L Tribal. L Deck. Will you pay Ristic Study? No. I will draw a card and our Forgotten Ancients trigger. I will draw for turn and tap four to play Door of Destinies. As this card ETBs, I get to choose a creature type, which in this case will be snakes. Whenever I cast a spell of the chosen type, put a charge counter on this card. Creatures I control of the chosen type get plus one plus one for each charge counter on this artifact. Will you pay Ristic Study? Fuck no. I will tap one to play Hex Drinker. It is a 2-1 with level up. It gains benefits depending on its level. So if it reaches levels three to seven, it gets protection from instance. If it is eight and higher, it gets protection from everything. Door of Destinies gets a charge counter and I will pass turn. Our Forgotten Ancients will trigger twice and I draw another card. I will draw for turn, play a Bountiful Promenade and tap three to play Cultivate. I get to search my library for two basic lands. Then I put one on the field tapped and the other in my hand. Our Forgotten Ancients trigger and I will pass it to Ben. I will draw for turn, play an Underground River and tap two to play Ella Damry's Call. I can search my library for a creature, reveal it, put it into my hand and shuffle. I am getting Vorinclex, Monstrous Raider. I will then tap three to play Evolution Sage. Whenever a land ETBs under my control, I get to proliferate. Our Forgotten Ancients trigger twice and Atraxa's proliferation will happen. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap five to play Return of the Wild Seeker. I can either draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creature I control or give non-human creatures I control plus three plus three until end of turn. I will choose the first option and no, I am not paying Ristic Study. Forgotten Ancient Triggers. I will draw for turn and tap one to play Spore or Frog. I can sacrifice it to prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. I will tap three to play Kadama's Reach as well. I will get two forests and pass turn. Forgotten Ancients trigger twice. Will you pay the- Can you fucking stop asking them about Ristic Study? Fine. I was just making sure. At the beginning of my upkeep, I will move my 1-1 one -one counters from my Forgotten Ancient all on my commander, which makes it, uh, 25-25. Goddamn. Oh, shit. He has a lot of power on his commander. Judge, is commander damage the same in this game mode? Absolutely. Well, fuck. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap two to play Tetsuko Umezawa Fugitive. 
Creatures I control with power or toughness, one or less, can't be blocked. I will also tap three to play Wall of Frost. Arcades will trigger. Whenever this creature blocks a creature, the blocked creature does not untap during its controller's next untap step. We have two forgotten ancient triggers, and I will pass it to Ben. I will draw for turn and tap two to play Lightning Greaves and equip them to my commander. I will play a Flooded Strand, pay one life to sack it, and go get a Sea of Clouds. Since I had two lands ETB on my turn, Evolution Sage will trigger, and I will proliferate our counters two times. We will have a forgotten ancient trigger, and we will go to combat. Finally, some action in this game. It took forever. I'm sorry, Chuck. We will kill them, I promise. Please don't do that. I know too much. I will attack with my commander. In response, I will sacrifice my Spore Frog to prevent combat damage. Damn. I pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Forest Lotus Cobra triggers, and I will use seven mana to play Kindred Summons. I get to choose a creature type and reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal X creature cards where X is the number of creatures I control of that type. Put those cards on the field and the shuffle the rest back into the library. Fuck, this is bad. Yes, this is good. I want no part in this shit. I will tap three to play Wash Away, paying its cleave cost to counter your spell. Fuck. Fuck, this is bad. Yes, this is good. I pass turn then. Restic Study and Forgotten Ancients trigger. I will draw for turn and tap four to play Guardian Project. Whenever a non-token creature ETBs under my control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature I control or a creature in my graveyard, I draw a card. I will pass turn. Our triggers happen. I will draw for turn, play a planes, and pass it over to Ben. I will draw for turn, go straight to combat, and attack with my commander. In response, I will tap one to play rapid hybridization. This will destroy your commander and make you create a frog. You can't do that, Maurice. My commander has lightning greaves. Well, shit. I, uh, uh, do you have anything, Bill? Nope. Wait, I will tap my Matsu Tribe Sniper to deal one damage to your commander and tap it. I will tap three to beast within your Matsu bitch or whatever. Shit, that's all I have. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the world's longest MTG game and our winners are Donald and Ben. Yes, yes, I won, I did it. Donald, you did nothing the entire game. Fuck off, Ben, I won. Well, damn, I guess I won't be getting those women anytime soon. And I won't get those documents either. What? What are you two talking about? Bush said if we win our matches, we would be awarded women and special government documents for winning. That piece of garbage. Let's go, Donald. We need to talk about the next match. Wait, guys, this was actually really fun. Uh, yeah, I had a good time, and I have to go now. <laughs> I feel like they know too much. He left Joe's playmat. Let's grab it for him. Do you want your snake deck back, Ben? Well, it's kind of pointless now since it's completely fucking different. Just return the cards to me later. Okay. You know Bill for being such a slimy, cheating son of a bitch. You did well in this game. Oh, fuck you, Donald. All right, guys, let's go. Now time to get my wall deck ready. Do whatever, Donald. Just don't get pissy when you lose. Whatever, that fucker will never beat me. No matter what plane we play on. Wait a minute. I don't care what it takes. I will chase his ass down and beat him. Chase him? Donald, you are a fucking genius. All right, let me switch out this card. And done. This better work, Ben. I did not agree to this just to lose. Don't worry, Donald, this plan is perfect. The audience will go nuts and Bernie will go into cardiac arrest. Wait, do you think if he's injured, I would win by default? Let's not do anything rash, Donald. Is this really gonna work, Ben? I haven't played plane chase before and my deck is now very different. Calm down, Donald. Plane chase is a lot more simple than you think. Explain it to me, I can't remember all of the rules. Okay, since you are bringing your own planner deck, there's a good chance that Bernie won't have one. That is fine since you two can share this one. At the beginning of the game, Whoever goes first can turn the top card of the planar deck face up and its effects will be happening throughout the game. You can roll the planar dice to either activate the chaotic effects or get a different plane. However, listen closely, Donald. I'm sadly listening. You do not have to change planes. It is optional. Therefore, if you find a plane and are beating Bernie's ass, do not change it. Bernie will be able to change it on his turn, but if he is unsuccessful with that, do not change what works for you. What bullshit advice. My wall deck was working for me and you want to change our strat. That's different. This is an emergency. If you don't beat Bernie in this round, the pressure is on me. Do you remember the rest of the rules? Yep. Now all of that's out of the way. Let's go get that dub. As soon as I'm called out there. It's going to be weird sitting by myself. 
Without Joe, I won't have the excuse to explain confusing parts of the game. Speaking of that shit for brains, I wonder how he's doing. I... I can't do this. I won't. I've been watching my troopers get killed for so long. I, I don't know if I can play that deck anymore. I... Joe. I don't know if I can even play this game anymore. I'm so horrible. Joe. I'm hearing more things. I just want to stay asleep. Joe, are you okay? Is that Obama? What are you doing here? I thought you were gone. It's a lot to explain right now, but I see you are not doing well. Are you okay? No. That Bernie prick killed so many of my squirrels, Ben and Donald were relying on me to win, and I let them down. I don't know if I can, uh, uh, look at them. Joe, did you forget? Remember when I was teaching you about this game? Oh, yeah, I do remember. What was the number one important rule? Uh, number one, it's, um... Have fun with the game, Joe. Sure, you will lose like we all do, but in the end, if you had fun, that's all that matters. Even if, even if my squirrelies die? You're forgetting something, Joe. There's graveyard recursion. Graveyard re- what, huh? You can bring them back. It's not a big deal if they die. Oh. Uh, oh, that's right, uh... Now, Joe, all you need to do is wake back up and cheer our friends on. That's right. 100, 100. Wait, where have you been, Obama? I am running out of time. Whoever beats Bernie, follow his ass. He will take you to my body and bring the best deck you own, Joe. But the best deck I own is... That's right. Now wake up. And then the Pinkertons came to my house and took those cards. That's what you get for having those cards. They aren't even out yet. Fuck off, Donald. It was terrifying and it made my wife cry. Yeah, yeah. If they had come to my home, I would have given them a small loan of a million dollars and have them raid Wizards HQ. You're such a rich bastard. Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders, please report to the ring. All right, here we go. Where's my walkout music? I'm sorry, Donald, but the people here only care about Bernie. Oh, fuck. And speaking of... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, everyone. It's time to do this dumb bit again, and here is Bernie. I'm here again, bitches. I'm going to fuck shit up. This got old when it first happened. I swear, I'm going to clobber this bitch. Oh, look, the only political figure to ever get ratioed by Twitter. Oh, look, we got old mittens and begging his fans for money. Uh, bitch. You're on Donald. I can see right through you. Is what I would say if you would put down the McDonald's burger. Ouch. Shit, that probably hurt Donald. Oh, yeah. Um, fuck you. All right, gentlemen, let's get started. Is everyone ready? Hold on, why are there plane chase cards? Oh, what? Are you too pussy to play plane chase with me? That is a good question. Why are there plane chase cards? Shit. I should have asked Chuck first if we could do this. It's fine, Chuck. I'm only messing around because... Because... I knew you would run plane chase. What? How the fuck? After Joe's loss, I figured you and Ben would try to run a different strategy. In fact, what deck are you running? It's goblins. Well, then I didn't expect that. Yes. Judging by Bernie's question, he couldn't have known we would run goblins. That's a real shame, Donald. Why don't you take a look at my commander? Let's fucking see it. It's a 2-2 and it has protection from red. And fuck... Oh no, is that Tividar of Thorn? When this ETB's destroy target goblin? You, Donald, you are a stubborn old bastard. You love your walls so much, so making you change decks would be very challenging, unless it's a deck that could get you a guaranteed win, or would have been guaranteed if I didn't see it coming from a mile away. Well, damn. It doesn't matter, Bernie. You could run counters all fucking day and you will lose to my goblins. Are you two done? I'm done. Yep. All right, so we know how plane chase works. We can get this rolling, I will flip a coin. Heads for Donald, and tails for Bernie. <laughs> Donald goes first. Hell yeah! Donald going first is perfect for the goblin deck. I will reveal the top card of the planner deck. It is Jun. All right, while this plane is in effect, whenever a player casts a black, red, or green creature spell, it gains devour five as the creature ETBs, its controller may sack any number of creatures. The creature that ETBs enters in with five times that many 1-1 one, one counters on it. If either of us roll chaos, put two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens on the battlefield. What a perfect first card. You are running mono white, the worst color in MTG. 
funny thing to say coming from you. Now, now, gentlemen, let's keep things a bit more calm. Right, sorry, Chuck. I will play a mountain and tap one to play Skull Clamp. Equipped creature gets plus one minus one, and whenever it dies, draw two cards. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, and I will roll that planner die. Damn, it's blank. I will play a planes and tap one to play Soul Warden. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you gain one life. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Cavern of Souls. I will name goblins. I will not roll the planner die and pass turn. I will draw for turn, roll the planner die. Damn it, blank again. This is going really well. I keep holding my breath every time he rolls the dice. I will play a planes, go to combat, and attack with my Soul Warden. What a dick move. I will take one damage. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap three to play Ashnod's Altar. I can sack a creature to add three colorless mana to my mana pool. During your main phase, I'll tap two to play Disenchant, destroying your Ashnod's Altar. Damn it, I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and roll the planner die once more. Ha, you keep rolling blank. Fuck off, Donald. You picked the worst fucking game mode in MTG. Skill issue. Once again, gentlemen, I'm asking you for your calm support. That's my joke, Chuck. I'll play Amiria, the Sky Ruin. Normally we don't read what some of our land cards do, but this is important. At the beginning of my upkeep, if you have seven or more planes, return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Card sounds pretty awful if you ask me. That card is fucking busted. Oh, the combos. I will tap two to play Arcane Signet, go to combat and attack Donald again with my Soul Warden. I will take one damage. I will pay one mana to re-roll the planner die. You piece of fucking... I pass turn. This is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Not gonna lie, this is pretty goofy. I don't know what's going on, but Bernie's luck is just dog shit. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap three to play Magus of the Moon. It may not be a goblin, but that's fine because all non-basic lands are mountains. Bullshit, that isn't a tribal deck then. I also gain one life because of Soul Warden. W. Donald, play, let's fucking go. Keep crying. I will tap one to equip Skull Clamp to it and pass turn. I will draw for turn and roll the die. I get chaos. I will create two 1-1 one, one goblins. Hey, that's my thing. You can't do that. As much as I don't really want these, I will gain two life because of Soul Warden and tap three to play Idyllic Tutor. Bro really put fucking tutors in his deck. Must be a massive L deck. Keep bitching. I will play a planes and I will get an authority of the consoles and tap one to play it. Creatures your opponent's control ETB tapped. And whenever a creature ETBs under your opponent's control, I gain one life, I will pass turn. You think that bullshit meta enchantment will stop me from winning? Don't make me laugh, Donald. You're going to feel the burn soon. L joke. I will draw for turn. And this time, I am going to roll the plan or die. Interesting choice, Donald. But it might be better to change it up. Shit. I will pay one to roll again. Let's fucking go. Let's planes walk somewhere else. It is the Maelstrom. When you planes walk to the Maelstrom, or at the beginning of your upkeep, you may reveal the top card of your library. If it's a permanent card, you may put it on the battlefield. Otherwise, throw it at the bottom of your library. And whenever you roll chaos, you can return target permanent from the graveyard to the battlefield. This plane is fucking bonkers. Either side could gain an enormous advantage from this. I will reveal the top card of my library. It's Gem Palm Incinerator. I get to play it for free. I will gain two life. When you cycle this card, you may have it deal X damage to target creature, where X is the number of goblins in play. This card isn't as useful as I thought it was, but fuck it. I will tap three to play Cloudstone Curio. Whenever a non-artifact permanent ETB is under my control, I may return another permanent I control that shares the same permanent type to its owner's hand. I will pass turn. I will reveal the top card of my library. It is a planes, and I will play it. I will draw for turn, play an Inventor's Fair, but it's just a basic mountain thanks to Donald's bullshit creature. We do some trolling. I will tap one to play Burnt and Forge Tender. I will gain one life. It has protection from red, and I can sack it to prevent all damage from a red source would deal this turn. I will then fuck it. I'm sorry, you will what? You are going to lose anyway, Donald. I will tap three to summon my commander and use it to destroy your gem palm incinerator. What the hell? What a blunder on Bernie's end. It's good he did that, but why wouldn't he wait until Donald summons his commander? It looks like you finally lost your mind, old mittens. I will go to combat and attack with my two goblin tokens. I will take two damage. I will pass turn. I will reveal the top card of my library, and it is... Oh, fuck yeah, goblin matron. Oh, damn. Shit gets real now. 
All right, what does it do? When this card ETBs, I get to search my library for a goblin card, reveal it, put it in my hand, and shuffle my library. Wow, so you put fucking tutors in your deck. This is different. I'm fucking awesome. Hmm. I already have some crazy cards in hand. I will go get a lightning crafter. I will draw for turn and tap four to play lightning crafter. I have to remove another goblin from the game to keep it on the field. But when this creature dies, the other goblin returns. I will gain two life at your upkeep and two life after you summon lightning crafter. I will pass turn. I will reveal the top card. It is a plains. I will play it and draw for turn. I will tap four to put Sunbond on my commander. It is an enchantment aura. And whenever you gain life, put that many 1-1 one, one counters on enchanted creature. Shit, that's not good. That card comboed with his authority of the councils and Soul Warden, this shit's bad. I will then tap two to play Devout Decree and exile your lightning crafter. Oh no, this is bad. That's fucking right, Donald. This is such a bad play. Lightning crafter will get exiled, but Goblin Matron returns to the battlefield and since it enters, I can go search my library for another goblin card. Holy shit, this might be the biggest brain play Donald has ever done. I will gain two life, and my commander gains two one one counters. I will get a goblin recruiter. I will go to combat and attack with my commander and two goblin tokens. I will take the damage. I will pass turn. I will reveal the top card. It is a scavenger grounds, I will play it. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and tap two to play goblin recruiter. I get to search my library for any number of goblin cards, set them aside, shuffle my library, and place the cards on top in any order. I gain two life and two 1-1 one, one counters. I will bounce Goblin Matron back to my hand using my Cloudstone Curio and pass turn. I will reveal the top card of my library. It is a Suture Priest. I will play it. Whenever another creature ETBs under your control, you may gain one life, and whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your opponent's control, you may have them lose one life. I will gain one life and a 1-1 one, one counter. I will then draw for turn and tap four to play Gale Powder Mage. Whenever this card attacks, exile another target creature. Return it to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. I will gain two life and two 1-1 one, one counters. Jesus fucking Christ, what is this deck? It was made as a perfect counter to your original Goblin deck, but it looks like you changed it considerably. Wait a minute, how the hell do you even know we have these decks? You knew about Joe's squirrels and my goblins, but we never played those in our opening rounds. Donald has a great question. Why the hell does Bernie even know about decks we have only played at Obama's house? It's simple, Donnie, I won't say, but who else do you think might know about all of these decks? Wait, why the hell did Obama tell you? Let's focus on the match, gentlemen. We will worry about the drama after. Sorry, Judge, I will go to combat and attack with my commander, who is now a 9-9. I will take the damage. I pass turn. Can't believe it. There's just no way Obama would betray us. Shit, this must be getting into Donald's head. He must be trying to unfocus him up. I will reveal the top card of my library. It is Goblin War Chief. Goblins gain haste and they cost one less to cast. I will play it. Don't forget your goblins enter in tapped. I am aware. You know all about wanting to take away everyone's freedom. Fuck off, that was uncalled for. I will draw for turn and tap five to summon my commander. When this creature ETBs, Reveal the top six cards of my library. Put all goblin cards with a CMC of five or less on the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. Whenever this creature attacks, it gains one one until end of turn for each other goblin I control. Since I played goblin recruiter, I went on ahead and got skirt prospector, goblin sharpshooter, mog war marshal, and dockside extortionist. I will put them on the field. I will gain 14 life and 14 one one counters. You will also lose seven life. Wait, fuck. This is bad. This is hopeless. What can we do to beat Bernie? I know. Can I answer? That was a rhetorical question. Joe, you're such a dumbass. I, Joe, what the fuck? Hold on. Is that sleepy Joe? I'm back, guys. I know how we can defeat Bernie. Don't make me fucking laugh. I am unbeatable. Did you just wake up then, Joe? Nope. I've been awake for a while, but I went on and grabbed the tournament bracket to see where we are at in the tournament. Oh, that's right. I forgot to look at that. Donald, there's one thing you should know. What? What is it? I am the true international depressor. Um, uh, what? That doesn't really help, but thanks, Sleepy Joe. Are you done prolonging your complete and utter defeat, Donald? Nope, you're not going to beat me mittens. I will create two treasure tokens and use them to cast Warrior's Oath, which allows me to take another fucking turn after this one. Donald, you realize that if you don't win on this next turn, you will just downright lose. Unlike you, Bernie, I actually read the cards. 
Statistically speaking, past games show Donald misplaying the shit out of cards. Ben is right. I heard that Ben fuck you. I will reveal the top card of my library. It is Lightning Greaves. I will play it. I will draw for turn, equip Lightning Greaves to my commander. So now it has Shroud. I will go to combat and attack with everything. Donald, you fool. There was more to be done on that turn. Damn, it looks like Donald is getting his ass kicked. Well now, this is so unfortunate. I will sack my Burrington Forge tender to prevent damage from your goblin war chief. Block your commander with mine, and I'll just take the rest of the damage. Damn, uh, I pass turn and lose to myself. Um, no, Donald, that's not how that works. The only reason why I lost is because I played that sorcery, so you didn't beat me. Our winner in the semifinals is Bernie Sanders. Damn it all, let's go get Donald. I'm certain he's upset. He might be a bitch boy, but I know his pain now. Let's go. Well, guys, I didn't quite get that dub. It's all right, Donald. It looks like I will need to be the one to end this. I have high expectations for you, Ben. You better not disappoint me. Bernie, you might be a cool guy. I don't know, but emotionally speaking, you have done nothing but bring sadness to Joe and make Donald angry. I'm going to pulverize you when our match begins. I would like to see you try. Come on, guys, let's go back to the lobby. Damn, now I'm kind of cringing at what I said. I thought it was, uh, awesome. It was pretty fucking cringe. Whatever. Joe, did you say you had a way to beat Bernie? Yeah, Obama came to my dreams and told me how to beat him. Oh boy, it looks like Sleepy Boy forgot to take his meds. Fuck off, Donald. He told me he told Bush and Bernie about every deck we have brought to his house. That actually aligns with what Bernie was saying earlier. Okay, so we just need to run a completely new deck then. Where would we get one? Well, there was a reason why it took so long for me to show up to Donald's match. Wait a minute. Is Joe being a team player here? Well, what did you get, Joe? Obama told me to go back to his house and get this deck. Wait a minute. It all makes sense now. We can defeat Bernie with this. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? Barack, please say something. Sir, get back. Something's coming through the portal. No, no, I have to do something before... Did you honestly think you could control me? A god? What an intoxicating innocence. Hey, what's up, George? It's done. George, why did you summon him so soon? This isn't good. What about Obama? Oh, I see. If I don't stop Ben in this round, we will see what true chaos is. All right, Ben, how are you feeling? I'm a little nervous, but really mad at Bernie. Don't worry, Ben. When you get in there, you're gonna, uh, um... Fuck him fuck up, him. Ben. What? What the fuck, Joe? Anyway, I don't really understand this deck, Ben. It looks tough to use. Yeah, I don't really get it either. Honestly, I don't really know its strat or win condition, but judging by the cards in here and the commander, there is bound to be some crazy combo. Speaking of crazy combos, I actually upgraded my squirrel deck. When the fuck did you get time to buy new cards? I grabbed a bunch of random cards from Obama's house, too. Oh, I need to look through those. I could upgrade my already perfect wall deck. Yeah, right, Jack. Your wall deck is shit. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. Anyway, Ben, why aren't you using Michelle's deck? Isn't this the perfect time to use that instead? As much as I hate Bernie now, only the worst monsters in the universe deserve to play against that deck. Oh, come on, Ben. It can't be that good. It was made by Michelle, after all. Hey, be nice, Donald. Michelle's a good friend of mine. I want to go look at the brackets. Yep, that's you in the finals. I am ready for this shit. Ben and Bernie, please report to the ring for the finals. Oh, shit. Let's go. All right, kiddo. So when the round starts, you're going to lead with your jab and follow up with a cross. Wrong sport, Joe. All right. Good luck, buddy. As annoying as you are, Ben. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Let's put Bernie away and go save Obama. Hi, Ben. Hi, Chuck. Bernie isn't here yet. So let me say this quickly. Please beat this man's ass. I'm tired of doing his dumbass ring entrance joke. Don't worry, Chuck. His ass is mine. Please don't tell me he did this in the last match. You better believe your sweet and sweaty bippy he did. Blah, blah, blah. No one fucking cares. It's Bernie. Damn, Chuck's getting sick of this. Boo! Fuck off Joe and Donnie. 
So we finally meet Bernie. Don't try to sound evil, that's my job. I'm going to annihilate you in this match. Cut the bullshit, Ben. After this, you're never gonna touch another magic card again. I'm going to send you to a retirement home after this. Go back to crying on your wife's lap, you pig. Can you two please shut the fuck up and get started? Are you guys done shuffling? Yes. I am. All right, guys, this is the finals. Whoever wins gets $50 and any wish they have ever wanted in life granted. Yeah, how the hell does the second part of the reward work exactly? I don't know. No one tells me anything. I know how it all works. Fuck off, Bernie. There's no point in asking you since you won't say anything. Oh, that reminds me. What deck are you running, Ben? Your commander card is turned over. Bernie, you used Obama's knowledge to get the edge on us during this tournament, which, logically speaking, would also mean you know what kind of decks I run. That is correct. This deck is one I have never played before, and I don't even know how it works, honestly. Well, before I reveal what my commander is, I also don't know much about this deck. I figured you would shoot for something random in the hopes of countering me. All right, guys, flip the cards over. Holy fuck, is that Kenrith? Yep, one of the best commanders in Magic the Gathering. The amount of random shit he can do is wild. You are running Boros? Yep, I'm going to end this shit quickly. It took a completely random deck that hardly anyone knew about to finally get the jump on Bernie, but we finally did it. I might need to take some headache medicine. This is getting confusing. Joe, that is horse tranquilizer. Oh shit, that's for when I'm sleepy. All right, guys, are we done with all of the drama then? Yep. Yep. Let me go over a couple of things here. We will be playing a normal game of one-on-one -on -one commander, meaning no plane chase, no two-headed giant, none of that bullshit. I want no cheating, no poor sportsmanship, and make sure to have fun. I will flip a coin, heads for Ben, and tails for Bernie. Bernie will go first. Fuck, Ben lost. Uh, Joe, I think they need to play the damn game first. Oh, that's right. I will play a City of Brass, an Ornithopter, and a Chrome Mox. I must exile a non-land, non-artifact card from my hand. I will exile Zealous Conscripts. I will then tap two and take one damage to play Goblin Crayer Maker. I can pay one to sack it and deal two damage to target creature or destroy target colorless non-land permanent. I will pass turn. Wow, I couldn't expect less from you freaking try hard. Did this motherfucker just say freaking? Whatever. I will draw for turn, play a Verdant Catacombs, and pay one life to sack it, and put a Bayou on the battlefield and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an Ancient Tomb, and tap four with three damage dealt to me to summon my commander. Jesus fucking Christ, it's turn two. I feel like Bernie is popping off on purpose. I will exile Mystical Tutor and pay one life to play Force of Will, countering your commander spell. God damn it, my commander is now a six cost. I will go to combat and attack with Goblin Crater Maker. I will take two damage. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Tundra, and pass turn. I will draw for turn and... Before you do anything, I will tap one to play Silence. Wow, someone must be a little bitch boy today. Bernie, don't make me... Shit, sorry, I will go to combat and attack with my goblin. Ouch. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a flooded strand, and... Are you going to play that card right? Um, what? Back when you battled against Bill and Maurice, you used flooded strand to go get a sea of clouds, which shouldn't have been allowed since it wasn't an island or plains card. All right, while you are not wrong, it basically is. It doesn't say it on the card. I didn't care because why the fuck not? You are all a bunch of old men with dementia or young awkward people with internal problems. Just play the damn game and have fun. Not everything needs to be played to absolute perfection. That was a little out of pocket, Chuck, but I like it. I will go get a volcanic island since it counts as an island card and pass turn. There, now that wasn't so hard. Shut up, Bernie. Go back to being a communist. Fuck off, Ben. I will draw for turn, play a Iganjo, Seat of the Empire, and tap three, which will make me lose three life to play Ranger Captain of Eos. When this card ETBs, I may search my library for a creature card with CMC, one or less, reveal it and put it into my hand, and the shuffle my library. I can also sack this card to prevent my opponents from casting non-creature spells this turn. I will go get a Esper Sentinel and tap one to play it. Whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn, draw a card unless that player pays X, where X is this card's power. I will then go to combat and attack Ben with my goblin. Ouch, once more. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Mana Confluence, and pass turn. Come on, Ben, we need you to do something. You can't win without playing something. Let him cook, Donnie, let him cook. I will draw for turn, go to combat, and attack with my Goblin and my Ranger. Ouch, the sequel. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Volrath Stronghold, and tap five to summon my commander. It is a 5-5 five, five human noble with five different abilities. The first one costs one red mana. I can give all creatures haste and trample until end of turn. I can pay one colorless and one green to put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. 
I can pay two colorless and one white to gain five life. I can then pay three plus one blue to draw a card and pay four and one black to put a target creature in any graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. You truly have me shitting my pants, Ben. Not. What could you do with such a shitty commander? Oh, Bernie. Oh, Bernie. You have seen nothing. I pass turn. I will draw for turn. And as a power play, I will sack my ranger to prevent you from playing spells this turn. Weird play, but okay. I will then tap six, taking three damage to summon my commander. It is a 4-4, and whenever a non-human creature I control attacks, I get to look at the top six cards of my library. I may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until end of turn. I then put the rest of the cards on the bottom of my library in a random order. I will then go to combat and attack with my gobo. My commander triggers and I get to look at the top six cards. Damn, no humans. Any blockers? Pain noise. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap two to play Gilded Drake. When this card ETBs, exchange control of this card for a creature your opponent controls. I will take your commander, Bernie. Um, excuse me, that's absolute bullshit. Bernie, read the card, it says to do that. Fine, this is bullshit. I will then tap three to gain five life and lose one life. I will also play a tropical island and pass turn. Ben just hit the nastiest play in MTG. I remember when I was young, I did so many cool things like, uh, um. That is just depressing, Joe. I was slinging fireballs, levitating, it was great. You're tripping Brendan. I will draw for turn, oh yeah. Now you're gonna be in a tough spot, Benny boy. Don't call me that mittens. Fuck you, I will play a mana crypt. I can tap it for two colorless. And at the beginning of my upkeep, I have to do a coin flip. If heads, nothing happens. But if tails, I take three damage. I will play a planes and tap nine and lose three life to play Shatter Skull smashing and... Before you do anything with that, I will tap one to play Swan Song, targeting your sorcery, and it will create a 2-2 two -two bird with flying. Are you fucking kidding me? How many counter spells does that deck have? I don't know, but I like it. Of course you do. I will pass turn. Oh shit, Bernie is mad, mad cuz bad. L human being, fuck you people in the crowd. Bernie, I will give warnings if you don't cut it out. I will draw for turn and tap two to play Demonic Tutor. I will go get a Grand Abolisher and tap two, losing one life to play it. During my turn, opponents can't cast spells or activate abilities of artifacts, creatures, or enchantments. Awful card. I will then tap two to put a 1-1 counter on my Grand Abolisher, making it a 3-3, and I pass turn. Why aren't you attacking? This would be the time to do so. Bernie, did you forget? I'm going to annihilate you in this match, remember? Don't get cocky. I will do the coin flip and shit its tails. I will take three damage and draw for turn and damn it, I will pass. I will draw for turn and tap one to play Worldly Tutor. I will get an Allosaurus Shepherd. I will then use Kenrith to tap four and draw a card. I pass turn. I will do the coin flip. It is fucking tails again. I will draw for turn and play a Phyrexian Walker. I will then tap two to play Thorn of Amethyst. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. I will then go to combat and attack with my Gilded Drake and Bird. Return of the ouch. Could you stop with the ouch jokes? Fine, lame ass. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap one to play a Allosaurus Shepherd. This spell can't be countered. Green spells I control cannot be countered. This card also has an ability where when I pay four colorless and two green, I can buff every elf I own to a 5-5 and they become dinosaur in addition to their types. I will then tap four to put two 1-1 one -one counters on Grand Abolisher and attack with it. I will block with the Ornithopter. Blunder. I will pass turn. How the fuck was that a blunder? You will see. You will see in due time. Whatever, I will flip the coin and get fucking tails again. I will draw for turn and tap two to play Deafening Silence. Each player can't cast more than one non-creature spell each turn. Well, shit, that might fuck with a lot of Ben's strat. Ben could just do what I do. Oh, and that is... Play cards at random and hope it wins. I understand now. I can't believe you are this country's leader, and I am not. Fuck off, Donnie. My way is cooler. I will go to combat and attack with my birds. I will take five more damage. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap five to put your ornithopter on my field. Interesting choice. I will play a command tower, and I will then tap two to put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. I will then go to combat and attack with my grand abolisher, which is a 5-5. Five -five. You know what? I will take the damage. Um, what in the fuck? I pass turn, I guess. I will do the coin flip and fucking goddammit, I have to destroy that artifact. Wouldn't it be funny if Bernie lost to his own mana vault? That shit would be outstanding. I will tap two to play Cliffside Rescuer. It has vigilance. I can tap and sack it to give protection to target permanent I control from each of my opponents. I will go to combat and attack with my birds. I will block your 2-2 two -two bird with my 1-3 Ornithopter. You will take three damage. 
and I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a bad lands, and tap eight mana, which deals one damage to me, to put four 1-1 one, one counters on my Ornithopter and pass turn. You're lost, Ben. You should have attacked while you could. Let's see it then, Bernie. The only thing that scares me is if you get a heart attack during this game. I will flip the coin and get heads. I will tap eight and three damage will be dealt to me to play Amarius Call. Any responses? What does that card do exactly? Ha! This sorcery lets me create two 4-4 four, four angels and non-angel creatures I control gain indestructible until next turn. In response, I will play Pact of Negation, targeting your sorcery. You can't be serious. Just how many, how fucking many, uh, I pass turn. I will pay Pact of Negation's upkeep cost, draw for turn, and pass turn. Judge, he's trolling. He's trying to get me to die because of my mana vault. That is a perfectly fine way to win, Bernie. Fucking whatever, I will do the coin flip. It's heads, I guess. I will pay one to sack my goblin and destroy the ornithopter. Aw, oh, man. I will attack with both of my flying. I will take the damage. I will pass turn. Well, this is it, Bernie. Righteously speaking, your reign of bullshit is over. I will draw for turn, tap four to give all of my creatures trample, and attack with everything. Shit. Fuck. Uh, um, uh, I have no responses. Do you take the damage, Bernie? I take the fucking damage. Ben. Ben. Did he really? Ben won. Ben won. Benny fucking won. Yes, yes. Let's go down there and celebrate. Yes, yes. Look at me. I won. And it's already gone to his head. Well, Ben was cool while it lasted. I am so fucking awesome. Congratulations, Ben. You defeated me, but this battle is far from over. Enough of the cryptic bullshit. Where the fuck is Obama? Where's my buddy? What the? Oh, no, the civilians. I have to save them. You idiots will just have to catch me first. Quick, guys, after him. Let's get his bitch ass. Let's fuck him. Damn, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. Not as big as Trump Tower. You're just contemplating. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. Guys, let's stay focused. It's compensating, by the way. Damn it all, Bernie is just gone, but he led us to this old-ass stairwell. Trump Tower still looks better. Still constipating. Hey, look, a door. Wait a minute, Ben, I feel something behind that door. The fuck are you talking about, Joe? I don't know, but it feels really important. Like we will find more than just Obama in there. All right then, guys. I don't know if what's behind this door will be safe, so let's get ready and follow my lead, okay? Fuck no, let's go in there and bust Bush's ass. I agree with him for once. All right, all right. We kick down the door in three, two, one. Dagothor welcomes you. Nerevar, my old friend. It looks like the building is coming down, ma'am. We can't stay here. I can't leave yet. I want a chance to beat his ass. You will get your chance soon. Have some patience, please. Come on, bro. You're supposed to be an alpha male. Only beta males listen to women. Shut the fuck up, Tate. Go back to your dog cage. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't have anything good anymore. Come along, gentlemen. We will get our chance soon. Three, two, one, hiya! There is no way you actually were able to kick down the door. It was already weak as shit. I could have blasted that shit myself. Don't fuck with me, guys. I did one year of Taekwondo. Come on, guys. We need to get in there right now. Damn, Joe's excited to see his boyfriend. Don't give the fans ideas, Donald. Did you guys say something? Nothing. Nothing. Where the hell are we? It looks like some kind of weird ritual chamber. I thought it was a Chinese. Joe, don't finish that fucking joke. Oh, God, guys, look over here. Oh, my God, it's Obama. What's wrong with him? Oh, shit. He... Barack, can you hear us? This is bad. We need to call an ambulance. Barack, please say something. 
You were supposed to be just fine. What did Bush do to you? He feels so cold, it's almost like metal. What the fuck is happening? Guys, he has no pulse. Why, why would Bush do this? Why do they have to take from us? Why? All we wanted was to play games of magic with each other, just the four of us. It's okay, Joe. I'm calling an ambulance right now. I have the greatest doctors in America. They can fix him up. You could call the entire U.S. military, and it wouldn't matter. You! You bastard! I'll destroy you with my squirrels. Guys, I truly messed up this time. We... no. The entire world is now in grave danger. What have you done to Obama? Why? Why did you do this to him? We were so worried about him. Why did you do this to our friend? Where's Obama's shotgun? Let me explain, please. Logically speaking, you better before Joe and Donald tear your head off. This world is filled with unhappiness and conflict. Every day, everyone has something that makes them unhappy and miserable. I was hoping I could find a way to bring peace and happiness to the world. So I did some research and found that it was within Obama. How so? Obama has always been so special, and one of those reasons is because of his heritage. Would you believe me if I told you he shares blood from a god from another world? Are you fucking kidding me? I know, so that's why... No! This whole time, this whole fucking time, this arc has been one giant Obama's ancestry joke. What? Oh my fucking god, that is hilarious. I'm dead, little Mao. You guys are getting off topic. Uh, um... Oh, right, Obama's heritage. There is a legendary figure that is so powerful he can basically grant any wish. So in order to grant this wish, I used Obama as a sacrificial pawn to bring the figure over to our world and get him to be controlled under my will. Okay, so where is this God? Yeah, Bush, you have talked up this God like he's the best thing since McDonald's and I don't see him anywhere. Donald atheist joke. I tried to control him. I was hoping Bernie would be here to help me, but I'm not strong enough on my own. In fact, yeet, here he comes. What do you mean, here he comes? <laughs> Uh, oh God, what the fuck? Oh shit, Bush, Bush, can you hear me? It's not good, he's unconscious. Ouch, fuck, that hurt. I didn't hear no bell. Oh my God, Joe, you are bleeding. Oh, come on, Ben, a little loss of blood has never killed anyone. It would kill any mere mortal, but certainly not a God. Who, who the fuck are you? I'm the Lord High Counselor of House Dagoth of the Tribe Unmourned. I was summoned here for such foolish reasons why do you look so familiar? Jesus Christ, does this man need a drink of water? Bro looks like a shriveled dick. You would know all about those, wouldn't you? Wait, wait, you are Dagother from Morrowind? How the fuck do you physically exist? This should be impossible. My, my, what an intoxicating innocence. Are you not aware of how inconceivably massive the universe is? I come from a different world. I was summoned here by your friend or traitor. Now hang on just a second person who created awful lunch policies for American high schools. Joe, I'm not even going to say anything. This is too much for him. Wait, you have an awfully familiar presence. Could you be... Uh, what are you planning on doing to the America thing? Is that your world's name? America? Statistically speaking, it's called Earth. Just like how I plan to eradicate all of the inferior mongrel races in my plane, I will plan to do the same here, and extend the worship of Akulakan to this world too. I have no clue on what the hell you just said, Jack, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, fuck you. They both have a point. You ignorant mortals have the slightest clue of the power I possess. I could end the both of you with a single spell. I could say the same. Enough of the magic jokes, Joe. Oops, I dropped my force of will. Holy shit, you have a force of will? Oh yeah, I opened a pack of Dominaria Remastered and pulled it. It's a fun card. That's such a great set. Wizards has been pushing out so many Dagoth awful sets like damn. Don't even get me started on Magic 30th, just fucking awful. Hold on, you know about magic? Magic the Gathering? Well, yeah. I've been stuck in a cave for centuries. I have to stay entertained somehow. That's it, I have an idea. Hello 911. This is the President Donald J. Trump. Make sure to send police. There's two old crazy fucks here. I'm the President, motherfucker. Guys, shut the hell up. I suppose we could make this interesting. If we battled normally, I would obliterate both of you. What idea do you have? What if we settled it all in a game of magic? Do you play Commander? Absolutely. It's my favorite format. I just got done talking to the police. They are coming for your ass Daggett. I'm seriously going to cast Shulk's Firebite on this bitch. Let's play a four-player game of Arch Enemy in the Commander format. Do you know how to play Arch Enemy? 
It's only one of the most underrated modes in Magic. Of course I know how to play it. Awesome. I have decks and the Arch Enemy cards. Can we go over what happens if we win or lose? There is no need for you to provide me a deck and Arch Enemy cards because I have my own. And yes, if I win, I get to drive the Empire from America, eradicate all inferior races, and extend the worship of Akulakan to this world. Well, all of that isn't so bad. I am also door dashing McDonald's. Okay, but if we win Dagoth, you have to leave this plane and return to where you came from. Oh, come on. What's your name? Ben. Ben, if the stars align and you somehow manage to defeat me, which is impossible, by the way, you will need a better reward than that. What do you truly want? Give us $50. Shit. We forgot to get our reward for completing the tournament. We want $50, I guess. And I miss how things used to be, guys. How we just played Commander with us for. I want Obama to return to normal. This man right here. Interesting. I have never seen this affliction before. A mixture of metal and organic matter. A dark nature. How awful. A descendant of mine should have never underwent such torture. Very well then. I can save him. Really? Baraki can come back? I'm not tearing up. You are. But only if you manage to defeat me in this game. All right. Done. And to check again, you have a MTG deck, right? Yep. I always carry one around just in case. Even interdimensional beings carry magic decks. Why the fuck does everyone just have one? I don't know, but it is kind of goofy. This is the time. I'm going to use it. I'm not letting you win Dagoth. Oh, shit. Michelle's deck? Oh, damn. I don't know who that is, but I do not fear anything in this world or any other. Let's get started, then. That should be everyone. Thanks for saving us, Chuck. We really owe you. He's so muscular. Holy shit. Man, I really need to bring you onto my podcast. No, he's coming to my show. No problem, fellas. Just be careful. I'm off to go see where the presidents ran off to. They seem to be in a hurry. I wouldn't go after them, Chuck. They will be long gone, just like this world. There you are, Bernie. What happened? Just what have you been up to this whole tournament? Don't be tripping, Chuck. The boys had a good run. But they are up against something so powerful, I'm not even sure if you stand a chance. Well, if that's the case, I need to get there right now. Where the hell are they? If you seriously insist, you will want to check under the tournament building itself and follow the stone hallway down. I am being called to go help another client of mine. She needs some work done. Bernie is a Magic the Gathering mercenary. It's a conspiracy. That was rude, Robert. Uh, Jesus, who do you work for then, Bernie, if you don't mind me asking? I can't say who it is, but she really doesn't like the boys, especially Donald. So I'm not really excited for what she wants us to do. Wait a minute, us? I've said too much. See you, boys. And if the president somehow managed to beat back this monstrosity, stay away from them. I need to go help the boys. Is everyone ready? Hold on a minute. Is that really your fucking commander? What's wrong with it? It's perfect for me. Chill out, Donald. The less you piss him off, the less you will get incinerated in this match. Fair enough. Guys, look, my squirrel deck is so cool and upgraded. Look at my little blinged out troopers. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. My walls are so upgraded, not even a god could break through them. Did somebody say god? All right, guys, are you ready to see Michelle's deck? I will warn you. There is no going back once you see who it is. I don't know who this Michelle is, but it is impossible for me to lose. All right, here you go. It says Urza, High Lord Artificer. Wait a minute. That's the commander. I thought it would be something crazier. That's where you're wrong, Joe. There is a lot more, and logically speaking, a lot more than what you realize. Didn't you have this card a while ago? Yes, and I was surprised to see him as the commander, but like I said, until you see the rest of this deck, do not underestimate it. It doesn't matter, you foolish boy. It's still not enough to beat me. You will see. You will see in due time. I don't know. That commander seems kind of mid. That's what I'm saying. Enough of these games. Let's get this game started. Let's begin the battle. I will draw for turn, play a bloodstained mire, and pay one life to sacrifice it and go search my library for a scrubland. I put this land on the battlefield and pass turn. Since we've done one of these arch whatevers before, everyone does their turn at the same time, but on each of our boards, we will explain what we did before we do anything past the main phase. That's a great idea. I wonder who came up with that. I Absolutely did. mine. Now hold on there a minute, Jax. I don't remember who came up with it. Fuck all of you, I make it cool. That doesn't matter right now. Joe, go first. I will draw for turn, play a bayou, and tap one to play Vampiric Tutor. 
This will cost me two life, but I get to search my library for a card, set it aside, shuffle, and put it on top of my library. I will pass it to Ben. I will draw for turn, play a snow-covered island, and Mishra's bauble. I will tap one to play Soul Ring, and tap that Soul Ring to play Aether Spell Bomb, and use the one floating mana to sack that artifact, and draw a card. I will then sack Mishra's bauble to look at the top card of Dagoth's library. All right, guys, it is a Urza's saga. I will pass it to Donald. Okay, so the other two are named Joe and Donald. I see. That's right, and you're going to remember that name because, uh, um, what was I saying? Where am I? Jesus Christ. Ain't no way this Enwa is the Nerevar. I will draw for turn, play Aspara's headquarters, and pass turn. I will draw for turn and reveal the top card of the Scheme card deck. Oh shit, guys, here we go! Wait a minute, where is the Scheme card deck? Oh shit, we forgot to set that up. Fear not mortals. I was having it shuffled in my pocket realm. Your pocket, but what? Well, shit on a collector edition with you and call me the summertime minister. What? Was that weird? It was an impeachment kind of weird. The scheme card is, your fate is thrice sealed. Reveal the top three cards of my library, put all lands on the battlefield and the rest of the cards in my hand. I will put a plateau and windswept heath onto the battlefield. I will also put path to exile in my hand. I will then pay one life to sacrifice windswept heath to go get a bayou and put it on the battlefield. I will play Urza's Saga as my land for turn and pass turn. I will draw for turn and play Jeweled Lotus. I will sack this artifact to get three floating mana and summon my commander. I will tap one to play Path of Exile, targeting Joe's commander. In response, I will tap one to play Culling of the Weak and sacrifice my commander to float four black mana. Whoa, wait a minute. I am all for saving Obama, and I want the advantage. But what the fuck just happened? When Joe summoned his commander, Dagoth played an instant to exile it, but in response, Joe played an instant that lets him sack his commander and gain four floating black mana. That was quite a bitch move, Joe. Well, I didn't want to use that card so soon, but I will play a forest and use one of the four black mana to play Assassin's Trophy. This card lets me destroy a target opponent's land, and I will choose Dagoth's Urza's Saga. Well... I will pay one life and exile spell Swindle from my hand to play Force of Will, countering your spell. Damn it. Fuck you, Dagoth. Damn. Better luck next time, Joe, but you did force him to use that card, so that's a plus. Yeah, Joe, don't worry about it. Thanks, guys. I will use one of my floating mana to play Skull Clamp and pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap four to summon my commander. When this card ETBs create a 0-0 colorless artifact construct token that gets plus one plus one for each artifact I control. I can tap untapped artifacts to add blue mana to my mana pool. I can also pay five mana to shuffle my library and exile the top card of my library. I can play that card without paying its mana cost. I will pass it to Donald. I will draw for turn, play a command tower, and tap two to play overgrown battlement. I can tap it and add green to my mana pool for each creature I control with defender. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and reveal the next scheme card. It is power without equal. I get to draw three cards, and I have no maximum hand size until next turn. If I control six or more lands, I get to cast up to three non-land cards from my hand without paying their mana cost. What a bullshit card. Jesus Christ, what kind of god is such a loser to run Eldragon Tribal? Fuck you, Donald. No matter what realm exists, Wall Tribal is straight garbage. I have to agree with this dried nutsack. Guys, please stop. Anyway. I will tap five to play Hellkite Corsair. When this card enters the battlefield, I may put my commander from the command zone onto the battlefield under my control. It gains haste and I return it to the command zone at the beginning of the next end step. When it returns, it does not affect the commander tax. Bullshit! It says it on a well-known MTG website. Oh damn, it's true. I have not explained what my commander does. It is a 10-10 with flying, and as long as this card is either in the command zone or on the battlefield, other dragon spells cost one less to cast. When I attack with one or more dragons, I draw that many cards, and I may put a permanent card from my hand onto the battlefield. I will go to combat and attack Ben with my commander, and because one of my dragons are attacking, I will draw one card and put a Tarka World Render. This card has flying and trample, and whenever a dragon attacks, it gains double strike. Holy shit, I have no choice. I will take 20 commander damage. Oh my god, Ben, are you all right? You just got sandbagged. Too soon, Joe, too soon. Oh, right, sorry. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap one to play Dark Ritual. I will add three black mana to my mana pool. 
I will use two of the three mana to play Cabal Ritual, which adds three more black mana. I will tap one green and use four black mana to resummon my trooper in his full glory. Here we go again. It has forest walk. If one or more tokens would be made under my control, I get to make those tokens plus that many 1-1 troopers. I can also pay one black mana to sack X squirrels and give target creature plus X minus X until end of turn. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and play a scalding tarn, but of course I will pay one life to sack it and go search my library for a snow-covered island and play it. I will tap five to do my commander's ability and I will get a copy artifact. I will copy my soul ring and pass it to Donald. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap four to play Tommy O Field Researcher. Wait a minute there, Jack. That's not a wall. Nope, it's a planeswalker, dumbass. I will use her minus two ability to tap Dagoth's commander and a Tarka. Damn you, Donald. That was a fine play. Well, I am the greatest MTG player in the world. No one said that. Fake news. You and Sleepy Joe said it when you busted me out of prison. Oh, I remember that. That's the one time you shouldn't remember something, Joe. Fuck it, who cares? Dagoth, you can go. I will draw for turn and reveal the next scheme card. It is Roots of All Evil. I get to put five 1-1 one, one green Soprolling tokens onto the battlefield under my control. That really isn't that good, to be honest. Those weed plants are not nearly as reefy as my troopers. Walls reign supreme. Greatest tribal in America. Silence, you fools. I have also forgotten to mention about my Urza's saga. It is on stage two of its lore counters, where I can pay two and tap it to create a colorless construct token. I will explain stage three next turn if it doesn't get destroyed. I will play a mana confluence and tap two to play Farseek. I can search my library for a plain swamp, island, or mountain card, put it into play, tapped, and then shuffle. I will get a savanna. I will... forget it. I will pass turn. Oh, I almost forgot. At my end step, I will return my commander to the command zone because of Hellkite Courser's effect. I will just leave it where it is for now, since it is a guarantee that I will resummon it later. Why didn't you attack Dagoth? What plans do you have, you monster? That was incredibly racist, Ben. Uh, yeah, Ben, that was fucked up. L human being, I can't believe you, Ben. Fuck off! You all are no better. Keep crying. I will draw for turn, play a swamp, and tap one to play Gilded Goose. When this card ETBs, I get to create a food token, and because a token was created, I get to make a squirrel. I can pay two mana to tap this creature to make more food tokens, or I can tap it to sacrifice a food token to add one mana of any color to my mana pool. I will pay one mana to equip Skull Clamp to my squirrel. It will sadly die, but I get to draw two cards. I will pass turn. Come on, guys, we need to do something about Dagoth's commander, or else I'm dying on his turn. So much for that women's deck being the best one. It's all right, Ben, I can just keep on tapping it. Oh, that's right. You do have Tamio. I will draw for turn and tap five to use Urza's ability. I will get Tezzeret the Seeker. Whoa, that card is actually really sick. That man seems really important. I agree, Joe. There's just something about him. Anyway, I will plus one him to untap both of my soul rings. I will tap five once more to do Urza's ability. I get Sensei's Divining Top. I will pay one to look at the top three cards of my library and put them back in any order. I will then tap it to draw a card and put this artifact on the top of my library. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and play a Flooded Grove. I use Tamiyo's second ability to tap Dagoth's commander and Atarka, but sadly, she will die. Thank God that card was annoying as shit. What a try-hard deck. Fuck off, you dried nut. I will tap four to play Teferi, who slows the sunset. I will plus one him and tap Dagoth's Hellkite Courser and his Bayou. I will untap one of my lands. I will gain two life and pass turn. I will... This is the police! Come out with your hands up! Ah, uh, these mortals seem to want to interrupt our game. I will be right back. Holy fucking shit, guys, this is bad. What are we gonna do? Michelle's deck won't pop off. It's all right, Ben. I don't like how things are right now, but soon we will neg this dude. You two are still alive because I can keep tapping his creatures, so be thankful. I can't believe I'm saying this, but thanks, Donald. You are saving our asses right now. Right now, Joe might just be our main offense. I just drew some control, so if Dagoth plays any massive spells, I can try to counter then. And Donald can keep us alive by blocking for us and tapping his creatures. It's a pretty solid plan. My walls are nothing but perfect. Dagoth's going to have to try a lot harder to kill us. Oh, I think I remember how to get my infinite combo for this deck. It's a new one, too. Sweet, just let us know when you get the card. You and Donald might be the only way we can win this. I don't want to do this, but I agree with this man. I don't like it either, but... Let's take this fucker down together, Joe. Awesome. Oh shit, here he comes. I'm back. Did I miss anything? Nope. We just waited patiently. Okay then. 
I will draw for turn, and my Urza's saga will reach its third stage. I have to sacrifice this land, but I search my library for an artifact with a CMC of zero or one and put it on the battlefield, followed by shuffling. I will get and play a mana vault. I will then reveal the top card of my scheme deck. It is because I have willed it. It is an ongoing scheme, so it remains face up until it is abandoned. Spells I cast cost one less to cast, and at the beginning of my opponent's end step, if they cast four or more spells this turn, I abandon this scheme. I will then play a strip mine and tap eight to summon my commander. I will then go to combat. I will attack Joe with my Hellkite Courser. It has double strike thanks to Atarka. I will also draw a card and put an ancient tomb from my hand onto the battlefield. I will take the damage. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play a Lanoir Waste, and tap two to make a food token that also makes a squirrel token. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn, play an island, and tap my soul ring to play Divine Top again. I will tap it to draw a card and put it on the top of my library. I will tap two to play Isochron Scepter. When this card ETBs, I can exile an instant card from my hand with a CMC of two or less. I will exile Counterspell. I can pay two and tap this artifact to copy the exiled card and cast it without paying its mana cost. I will then use Tezzeret's first ability to untap my soul rings and use Urza's ability once more. I will get and play Personal Tutor. I can search my library for a card, reveal this card to everyone, shuffle my library, and put it on top. I will get Windfall. I will also tap one to play Preordain, which lets me scry two and draw a card. I will pass it to Donald. I will draw for turn and tap four to summon the best commander this game has seen. Statistically speaking, that's bullshit. Fuck you, Joe. That's my line. It has flying and vigilance. Whenever a creature with Defender ETB is under my control, I draw a card. Each creature I control with Defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness, and they can attack as if they didn't have Defender. I will do Teferi's first ability and untap one of my lands and tap Dagoth's Bayou. I will pass turn. Well, damn, because four spells were cast during that turn, I must abandon this scheme. I will take one damage because I tapped Mana Vault last turn, draw for turn, and I will reveal the top card of the scheme deck. The card is, I call on Ancient Magics. When this scheme is set in motion, each other player searches their library for a card, reveals it, and puts it into their hand. Then I search my library for two cards, put them into my hand, and shuffle. I got an Ivy Lane Denizen. I got Etherize. I got Oath of Teferi. All of those are garbage. I will play a Marsh Flats and pay one life to sacrifice it and go get a Tundra, and of course play it. I will tap four to play Scale Lord Reckoner and I will go to combat. I will attack Ben with my commander, Joe with my Hellkite, and Donald with my Atarka. I will give Hellkite Courser double strike. I'll also attack Joe with all five of my Saproling tokens. Before you go any further with combat, I will tap two to play Dramatic Reversal, untapping all of my non-land permanents. I will tap my soul rings and an island to play Etherize. All attacking creatures must be returned to their owner's hand. Well, I can't say I didn't see it coming. It's no bother. I will pass my turn. That's sus. He didn't recast anything. While it's cringe you said sus, we can attack his ass now. It might be a trap, but we have no choice. Let's go, Brendan. I will draw for turn, play a Woodland Cemetery, and tap four to play Ivy Lane Denizen. Whenever another green creature ETBs under my control, I get to put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. I will pay one to equip Skull Clamp to one of my squirrels and draw two cards. Let's do combat after Donald is done with his stuff. Good idea. I will draw for turn and tap five to do Urza's ability. I get a War Room. I will use Tezzeret's first ability and pass it over to Donald. I will draw for turn and tap five to play Teferi's Oath. I will exile my overgrown battlement, but I will get it back at the beginning of my next end step. The important part is, I can do loyalty abilities on Planeswalkers two times each turn. God damn, that card is epic. Obscenely wacky. Big whoop. I can do that without a card. I will use Tefari's first ability to untap two of my lands and tap two of Dagoth's lands. I will also gain four health. Fuck you, Donald. Keep whining, bitch. Let's move to combat and declare our attackers. I'm attacking with my commander, which is a 3-3. Three, three. I'm attacking with my construct, which is a 4-4. Four, four. I'm attacking with my commander, which is a 3-5. I will take all of the damage. I will pass turn. During my upkeep, I will pay four to untap my mana vault, which my two lands will deal three damage to me. I will draw for turn and reveal the scheme card. It is, I know all and I see all. 
It is an ongoing scheme that lets me untap all permanents I control during each other opponent's untap step. And at the beginning of each end step, if three or more cards were put into my graveyard this turn from anywhere, abandon this scheme. I will tap three to play Jessica's Will and add red mana to my mana pool for each card in a target opponent's hand. I will choose Ben. Damn, I should have hid my cards. You can't do that. That's cheating. I will add seven red mana to my mana pool. I will tap five to re-summon Hellkite Courser. While you are summoning that creature, I will tap two to activate Isochron Scepter to counter your spell. Damn you. I will tap six to re-summon Atarka and lose three life once more because of my lands. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and... Oh, that's it. What? What's it? Let's fucking go. I'm hype, not gonna lie. I will play an ancient tomb and tap three to play Scurry Oak. Whenever one or more 1-1 one -one counters are put on this card, create a 1-1 one -one green squirrel creature token. This combos with Ivy. Whenever another green creature ETBs under my control, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. This triggers and I put a 1-1 one -one counter on a... Uh, Scurry Oak. Scurry Oak, this will create a squirrel and my commander triggers creating a second squirrel. I can put 1-1 one -one counters again and repeat this as many times as possible. So now I will have infinite squirrels. Statistically speaking, you can't have an infinite number of things because that's never ending and this game will never end. You have to choose a set number, Joe. It's fine, Ben. I'll allow it. Wow, Ben. No need to drag Joe's play down. I'm not. I'm just trying to be right. That's not important right now, guys. I will pass turn. I will draw for turn and tap four to play Polymorph, and I will target Atarka. You now must reveal cards from the top of your library until you find a creature card. You then put it on the battlefield and shuffle. Okay, okay. I will get Savage Ventmaw. I will use Tezzeret to untap my soul rings and pass turn. I will draw for turn and do Teferi's plus one. Tap Dagoth's dragon and gain two life and then do his ultimate. I get an emblem with untap all permanents I control during each opponent's untap step. I also draw a card during each opponent's draw step. Let's go to combat. I will attack with my commander. I'm not attacking. I will attack with my commander. Damn it all. Damn you all, I will take the damage. I will pass turn. Damn you all, all of you are inferior to me, that's it. You have angered a god, and you shall feel his wrath. What the, what the fuck? I'm floating. The board is stable. I can breathe. Just an average Tuesday night for me. How is this physically possible? Are you keeping us alive with magic? The minute details do not matter right now. Fated opponents, this battle must come to an end, and so I shall do that. I will draw for turn. My scheme is still ongoing. I will go to combat and attack Donald with my savage vent maw. I will take the damage. I will pass turn. That was your last mistake, you compootnid. I will draw for turn and tap four to play Pitiless Plunderer. This is another infinite combo. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Let's see it, Nerevar. The fuck did you just call me? Uh hmm. So you don't remember me then? I see. Could it have been someone else? I have no clue what the hell you are talking about, senile ass. Whenever another creature I control dies, I create a treasure token. I will tap one black mana to sacrifice any number of squirrels, and I choose to sack 100 squirrels to make 100 treasure tokens. And I will give Dagoth's dragon plus 100 minus 100. I will then go to combat and... Absolute fool, I will tap four to play Aether Shockwave, tapping all non-spirit creatures. You can't attack with your infinite squirrels now. I figured you would have had something like that. I will sack three treasure tokens to play Bastion of Remembrance. When this ETBs, who gives a shit about that? Whenever a creature I control dies, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. I will create more treasure tokens and sacrifice an enormous number of squirrels to deal damage and gain life. This is it, we just fucking won. I'm door dashing alcohol. You absolute, you complete and utter fools. Did you honestly think you could kill a god? I will play Intervention Pact. I will choose your enchantment, so instead of being dealt that much damage, I will just gain that much life. Shit. I will play Fierce Guardianship for free, countering your spell. Blunder. I will play Pact of Negation, countering your spell. No. Damn it. Fuck. Bastard. We both have infinite health now, I guess. I pass turn. I will draw for turn and pass it to Donald. I will draw for turn, play a Sun Petal Grove, and tap one to play Resolute Watchdog. I will draw a card and tap four to play Watley, Radiant Champion. I will do Watley's plus one, but I put four loyalty counters on it since I control three creatures and I include the plus one. 
I will use Teferi's plus one ability twice, gaining four life, and I will pass turn. Who knew the Nerevar's pesky commander could get in the way so much? No matter. Let's finish this. I will untap and pay the cost from the last two cards so I don't lose the game. I will pass turn. Guys, the only way we are winning this is with commander damage. And I have a perfect idea. Go on. I'm all ears. Joe, use your commander to buff Donald's as much as you can without killing it, Donald. Use your planeswalker to buff your commander as much as possible. We can kill Dagoth with commander damage. Let's see it happen then. I'll just draw for turn. I will do the same. All right, then I will draw for turn, play a planes, and tap two to play Jeskai Barricade. I won't return anything to any hand. I will minus Watley twice to give arcades plus eight plus eight, making my commander a 1113. I will sack 12 of my squirrels to give Donald's commander plus 12 minus 12. My commander is now a 23 1. I will go to combat and attack Dagoth with my commander. Oh no, oh no, oh whatever. You still believe you could kill me? A god? You're all fucking fools. I will tap one to pongify your commander, destroying it. Your reign of power ends here, you fool. I will tap three to play Force of Negation. This will counter your spell. I will, I will, no, 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 no! I'm sorry, Dagoth, but counter spells don't care about your feelings. Combat damage will go through and you will die. My Dagoth, I, I, I lost whatever then. Let's return to your world. Guys, 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 we did it. Oh my God, yes, we did win. Yeah, we can get Barak back. Wow. Okay then. As promised, I will bring your friend back. Is he going to be all right now? While he will not be the same physically, I returned his conscience to his body. His body should function like it should, but he could have new abilities thanks to the power of this affliction. He will awaken in a little bit. Guys, I made it. Is everything all right? Hi, Chuck. Thank God you're here. Punch that dude. Oh, oh my. I'm glad I didn't play against him. I for sure would have lost. What the hell? Anyway, I will keep the other promise and return back to my world. However, before I go, there is something I would like to give to the man who brought me down. Me? It has to be me. I'm the one who did the damage. This is a scroll that will summon me here at any time in case you need someone to play magic with or need my help. This is yours, Donald. What the hell? Fucking stupid. What can I say? I am the Risley Bear, you know? Joe, you are the Nerevar. You possess magical capabilities because of your lineage. Ben, there is just something special about you. I am certain you will obtain a source of power soon. Donald is the only one lacking here. What the hell? Anyway, I must go. I hope we can meet again, friends. Hey, wait a minute. You really do look familiar. Don't think about it too much, Joe. The answer will come to you soon. Bye, everyone. Is that it? Is it over? Come on, Barack. Wake up. We missed you. Come on. You've got more poor Middle Eastern villages to drone strike. Please, Obama. Come back to us. Oh, for the love of Barack, please wake up. Oh. Hi, guys. Wait. Where am I? Barack, Let's fucking go. Ouch. Man, why are you all hugging me? I couldn't have been gone for that long. Obama, why did you leave us? Your Michelle was so worried about you. Why did you go? My thoughts exactly. I wasn't there for any of this shit. Oh, that. Bush said that I could make everyone happy if I were sacrificed, but I wasn't actually going to go through with it. I am pretty sure that asshole hit me in the back of the head. Ow. Owie. Oh, Obama? No, that means we failed. Bush, we are reporting you to the police and you will get thrown in jail. Yeah, impeachment. He could just bond out of prison, guys. I could have just done that, too. Guys, I'm so sorry for everything I've done. In my journey to make world peace, I've only caused more harm. I hope there's something I can do to make it up. I know. Come with me, Bush. We have business. Okay, Chuck. Later, guys. Huh? That was fucking weird. Well then, guys, thank you for coming after me. I'm certain Bush and Bernie didn't make it easy. Those pricks made us go through a whole tournament to get to you. Guys, I just realized something. What is it, Joe? I think the real president's play, Magic the Gathering, was the friends we made along the way. Joe, that makes no fucking sense. Oh, well, he meant well by it. Well, guys, I'm kind of wanting to play a game of Magic. Yeah, me too. Same here. I can go another round. All right, guys. Let's go home.
My, my, they've grown in power in such a short period of time. Master, what do you want me to do about them? Kill them for me. No one will stand in my way. Ah, yes, I will dispose of them. Anything for the one to rule over every plane in existence.